hello everyone. Today we are playing Act Razor. Hopefully you can all see and hear me okay. I've actually got a top-down camera because I thought it would be fun before we start the game itself to have a look at the box. And I'm just going to take the game out of the console for a second as well so we can take a look at this too. How's everyone doing today? Are you all good? I'm very excited to get into this. So here we go. Act Razor. Create order from chaos. That is exactly what we'll be doing a bit later on in this game. And here's a look at the back, a look at some of the, um, a bit of a spoiler there, one of the bosses. There's some of the screenshots at the back there. There's a fully complete town that someone managed to make. Um, there's the section where you're flying on that little um, platform. And it says, action and simulation game. This essential, this sensational game combines pulse-stopping action sequences with an intelligent simulation mode, allowing the player to forge a new civilization. Finally, experience a game that utilizes the advanced capabilities of the Super NES. Restore peace and order to your people's world. And here's a look at the cartridge. It's seen better days, it's a little bit dirty. I'm playing the PAL version, as you can see here. And there are actually a few differences between the different versions as well, so so it will be interesting to see what the uh, differences are between this and the Japanese and American versions, which is something that I will be covering in the future. So let's turn that on. Let's click on main here. Cross our fingers, and hopefully the signal comes through. Here we go. The beginning of the quintet saga. I'm going to be playing through every single one of Quintet's games, and there are a lot. So, hopefully you can see everything okay. Hopefully you can hear the game okay. And the game is recording in the background too, so... Let me just put that on a different screen so I can get a full HDMI signal to the uh, screen in front of me. Yay, Retro Jim Tendo's here! Hello. Right, we are going to be playing in normal mode, because hard mode is just insane. And I'm not that good at the action stages. There we go. Get a bit of a better look. Alright, please create a name for yourself. Press the B button to enter any letter. And I'm actually going to be playing this in 50 hertz because apparently the PAL version has some issues with playing in 60, so if things look a little bit slower than what you're used to, and that is why, although I think it is fairly, um, uh, I can't remember the word for it, but it works in 50 hertz anyway. It was designed for it. Uh, right. Let's start with my name. Shall I call myself Nick or Retro? I guess if we're doing it like a role playing thing, it should be my actual name, so Nick it is. Are you awake, sir, Nick? I'm an angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Now all types of monsters are in total control of the Earth. This one came about because because of a demon they call Tanzra, the one who sealed your power. In order to restore your power, you will need to rekindle the people's faith in you. But first, let us go down to, to the Earth and destroy all monsters, that we may establish a peaceful land for our people to dwell in. Have you played any of the Quintet games, or are you just playing them all? Um, I've played Act Razor before, and I got all the way up to the final boss, but I never actually managed to 100% complete it, so we'll see whether I can manage to do that. I remember the uh, boss rush at the end was insanely difficult. Um, I've never played Soul Blazer. That's the second game on the list. I've played and finished Illusion of Time many times. That's actually my favourite game ever. So that is kind of why I wanted to play all the Quintet games anyway. Oh, a funny... <laughs> before we start playing, a funny story about the name of this place, Fillmore. When we moved into this house, um, we had neighbours next door and I couldn't remember their names. And their names are Maureen and Phil. So Phil and Maureen. Fillmore. So the way that I remember their names next door is because of Fillmore from Actraiser. So, yay, thank you for the follow. I can't see who it was because the screen's filled up. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this. So yeah, that is why, um, that's why I remember the name Fillmore. How funny is that? 
Anyway, what we need to do, first of all, is fight monsters! So, Nick, if we destroy all monsters in this land, people won't be able to live here again. So, Nick, are you ready? Yes, may luck be with me. Here we go, we're going down, already, into our first action stage. Da -da -da -da. I love that transition. And the intro music's awesome. And this music is just amazing! Yuzo Koshiro, you're a musical genius. And he follows me on Twitter. Just a little name drop there. My good mate, Yuzo Koshiro. I'm looking forward to the Mega Drive game that he's working on. That'll be really cool to see. As you can see, the game is kind of weird in the way it controls. It's quite stiff. But the main thing is everything's very responsive, which is definitely good. And it does get really challenging as well. Uh, love your videos. I've been all the Quintet games except Terra Enigma. I like it. Okay, just haven't played all the way through. Oh yeah, about the ones that I've played. I've never, I've never finished Terra Enigma. Um, I've never played Soul Blazer. I've played a little bit of Robo Trek, but not much at all really. Although I really like the concept of it, so I'm looking forward to playing Robo Trek. Um, Act Razor Two, I've attempted to play several times. But I'm sure you know uh, the difficulty of Actraiser 2 is just insane. So we'll see how we do with Actraiser 2. I'm going to give it a fair shot. I'm actually going to play it on a dedicated stream, so at least a few hours. I wonder if I can hit him from there. Come back. Have you played any of their PlayStation games? Have you played um, Grand Stream Saga? That's another one that's on my list. Ah! That was close. I'm actually doing surprisingly well. Nothing's hit me yet. I've been so excited to play this all day. I've been really itching to get in here and put this game on. So I'm so glad I can finally do that. Ah! Oh! Can I stand on him? There's something over there. Take me back that way. Um, I've got all of Quintet's main games now. There's a bunch of really obscure ones for the PlayStation 2 and... A few for the Dreamcast that I haven't got yet. Am I dead? Oh no. I've got all their main games complete in box. I've got all the SNES titles, yeah. Um, and I've got all their PlayStation games as well. I've got Planet Laika. I've got Grand Stream Saga. Um, what else was there? There was a whole bunch on the PlayStation. Uh, the Zero Yon. The racing RPG. That one looks really interesting, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Uh, Brightus as well. That's another one for the PS1. Oh my god. I'm in a bad spot. Wow. That was pretty terrible. <clears throat> wow, am I dead? This isn't going well. Well, it was actually. I was doing okay. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to checking out the Grand Stream Saga because that was actually one of the first ever fully 3D RPGs. So I think that'll be really interesting to see what they managed to make with that game. And that was after they left Enix, I think. Um, what was your favourite of all the SNES games then, if you've played them all? A lot of people say Terra Enigma's their best one. I felt like Terra Enigma was a little bit... The pacing was a little weird. It wasn't as story-focused as uh, Illusion of Time. Or Gaia. Oh my god. I need to come up with a better strategy for fighting this boss. Or else we're going to end up having to do this level again. Oh well, we get to enjoy this cool music at least. Oh yeah, there's also the um, sequel slash remake of Actraiser that's out on the Switch, which I'm also looking forward to playing at some point. Look how big his health bar is compared to mine. That's ridiculous. Come and get me! Where? Maybe that's a better way of doing it. And then just hide in the corner. I can get 
brave and try and do three at once. Oh, oh, oh. How's the sound volumes, by the way, guys? Is everything sounding and looking okay? Is the frame rate okay? Because I'm playing in 50 hertz, because it is a power optimized game, but it might mean that it stutters very slightly on stream, so hopefully not. Ow! Yeah, we did it. Much better that time. There we go. Now we get to do some town building, which is quite exciting. I've actually been... Oh, excellent. That's good. I think that's the first time a stream has actually looked and sounded good from the get-go. I'm very happy about that. I've been kind of thinking about having a dedicated shelf or two over there of just all of the Quintet games now that I've started this project. In fact, a bit later on in the stream when I take a break, I might end up getting some out so you can have a look at them. Because the packaging is, is really nice for all of them as well. Right, now we get to learn about the town building stuff. Sir Nick, Fillmore, uh, may become a land where people can live in peace. Our first duty is to protect our people from any monsters. I will do as you instruct. Please rid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monsters' lairs. If you direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the lairs. You will discover the monsters that control this land. If destroyed, control of this land's destiny will return to her people. All right, my master, let us work towards peace. JPFD underscore. Hello, first time chat. Good luck with your playthrough. Thank you very much. I think I'll need it, especially a bit further on in the game towards the end, because I remember it gets extremely challenging with all the boss fights. Sir Nick, I know it's unexpected, but our, pe our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Yay, our first time meeting some of our residents. My master, we are having difficult time building homes because of many bushes. Please burn the bushes and guide us as we begin to, begin to build our roads. So, now this is going to take me a little bit of time to remember how to play properly, but... Um, yeah, if I remember right, you direct them, so you get like the lightning, and then you can destroy a certain area like this. And then that will clear up this area for people to go and build. And also you have to destroy the monsters that are flying around. And that in turn, I think, brings more people in. Or at least it's like putting some sort of power into the middle area there. Hey, Blinkoom! Glad to see the retro... Uh, glad to see the quintet video finally coming to me. It's going to be a long, long process. But I'm in for the uh, long haul on this one. Uh, right, what do I need to do? I need to set the building direction, don't I? It's been a long time since I played this, by the way, so I really need to try and remember exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, in which direction do you want the city to develop? Let's go here as I just cleared out this land. Fillmore will be built just as you direct it. So, we should see some progress, and the idea is that you build towards this lair over here and then you can take out all of the monsters that reside within. And there's another one down there as well. So now they're done, we can actually uh, use the lightning. And we can start making our way up here. Apparently the remake for this, the Switch version, has a whole like tower defense mode as well as this town building mode which might be interesting to check out at some point. I don't know whether I should go on to the remake first, or whether I should do it in chronological order. What do you guys think? Would you rather see ActRaiser... I can't remember what it's called, ActRaiser Renaissance? Whatever the modern ActRaiser version is. Would you like to see that next? Or would you like me to move on to um, Soul Blazer, which is the next official game in the series? In chronological order, at least. Sir Nick, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Our master, we finally mastered the skill of hunting animals. We now have enough con confidence to fight monsters. Please lead us to the monster's lair. Okay, let's move them up. You want to see Soul Blazer next? Cool, let's do it. I've never actually played Soul Blazer before, so that will be brand new to me. I believe it has a similar theme 
to this in terms of the world building, but it's actually a top-down action game instead. So that'll be really cool to see how they uh, went about doing a completely different genre. Yeah, do it chronological. I think chronological makes the most sense. There's a lot to get through before we get to Act Razor Remake, then. It'll be a good one to finish the series on as well, then, won't it? In, like, 2026 or wherever, whenever we get around to it. There's a lot more Quintet games than people realise. I haven't actually got a number, but... I know it's unexpected. I don't think it's unexpected at this point. It's very much expected that the uh, town folk want to talk to me. Um, my master... Recently, strange things have been happening to me. Many of my thoughts actually come to life in the real world. If these powers are real, I feel the presence of something maybe radiating from the woods east of here. Just because things are coming true, why do they think that it's because of the power in the woods to the east? That's a bit strange. What's the leap in logic to get them to that conclusion? Anyway, logic aside, we're getting uh, we're getting ever closer to the lair. So let's keep building up. We've got a long way to go until we get to the one down there. Ah! He's stealing my people. Get back here. Oh no. We can start a new life over there. Ah, panic. Put him down! Please. Apparently, these top-down sections are actually more difficult in the PAL game. Um, I read earlier that the Japanese one doesn't have so many enemies that take multiple hits. Or I think that's the case, at least, but it's interesting to, to know that. Playing this is bringing back some really good memories of being at uni. So, a friend of mine who used to have a YouTube channel, he's kind of stopped now, um, under the name of Beard Gaming. He bought me this for my birthday one year at uni. Yay! First time chat and explosions everywhere. I didn't see what all the explosions were for. The screen is a little bit too small for me to read properly. Let me see whether I can adjust the chat a little bit to make that screen a bit bigger. Let's see what we can do. Move the scenes down there. That's a bit better. We got a new follow from... And a new subscriber from Lieli. And I will read out who the follower was in just a second, but I can't quite see it. Uh, James Yoda 8 Thank you both so much. And now I've completely lost the chat. I really don't have the best, the best setup for this. Let me go on the uh, top-down cam. I'll show you what my setup looks like. It's that tiny screen right there. And the chat is uh, on the side of the monitor. Hey, and for those of you who want to see the box, there's a box. And I got a resub. Amazing. Or I think I did anyway. I really need to sort this layout out. Yay. Thank you, everyone. And welcome to the stream. Subbed for two months. Awesome. Thank you. Ah, uh, Piano Freakman. Let's see who the other guy is. Hello. I recognise you from the Discord. Good to see you here. How is everyone doing this evening? It's great to have so many people here on my uh, on my first Quintet game stream. I'm really excited to do these. Here we go, we're nearly at the lair. Uh, what, what was I saying before I was interrupted by all your kindness? Um, my friend Zach at uni bought me this game for my birthday one year. And after he got it, we, we had a really nice CRT in the living room at the time and I uh, put this nest down there and we literally sat there all day playing through Actraiser and it was so good. So much fun. And we got all the way up to the uh, boss rush at the end but we couldn't do it. No, so put them down. Here we go. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. I'm kind of getting mixed up on the buttons. So it is B to select. There we go. Now we can go to the lair. He's destroying everything. There's a lot to keep up with. I like it. It makes the um, it makes these sections a bit more entertaining rather than just watching people build. 
Our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Sir Nick, the civilization level of Fillmore seems to have improved. Yay, we are now a more civilized civilization. If that makes any sense. How good is this music as well? It's kind of relaxing, but also... Oh, congratulations. Your level has increased. Your level is now 2 and your HP... Your HP are 9. That's a bit of a weird way of phrasing it. Um, your level will increase again when the total population becomes 200. Let's see what else we can do. We need to burn these bushes down. So we can head down here to the next layer. There is also one over there as well. Oh yeah, that sound effect. You'll be hearing that a lot in the uh, upcoming Quintet games. They definitely like to reuse the sounds. And the font as well is something that you'll see over and over and over again. Uh, where are we going to build this time? We could actually start going this way. Yeah, so that font is basically a telltale sign that you're playing a quintet game. That's a really nice sound as well. The game did it a lot better than I did. I can't remember when you actually get to the next gameplay section. Is it after you've destroyed these two bases? Things have slowed down a bit now. Wow. I don't really know how you can fail at these areas either. I never, like, got a game over or anything from doing this uh, type of gameplay. Ooh, they're building a field, look. And some more little farmhouses. And they've got some crops. It is not unexpected. I expect to be interrupted every few minutes. My master, I feel the presence of a magic power radiating from under the big rock below the precipice southeast of here. Something may be buried there. My master, please use your powerful lightning to destroy this rock. Okay. Is that to the southeast of where I was, or the southeast of the temple in the middle? I'm guessing... Oh my god, there's a lot going on. So... Where's this rock in the southeast? Is it there? Ah, put them down! Oh, he's destroying things too. Ah, stop tricking me! Oh my god. This isn't going well. I think I've done something to get rid of my... I can't remember what the point of all this other stuff is. Let's just do building direction, because I know how to, how to do that. I think I lost some people there. I presume it wanted me to get rid of those trees. Are you done building? Let's keep going. I keep pressing the wrong button. Ah, uh, all the time I'm pressing the wrong button. I feel like the enemies are being kind to me now, they're just, just staying in place for a while. And one of them just flew completely off the top of the screen. Southeast, there's some rocks. Are they on about here? That cliff face, maybe? If it wasn't for all of the enemies flying around everywhere, I would say this was like the introduction of cosy gaming. Like, just watching people make their little forts and fields and stuff. It's quite relaxing, seeing them performing rituals like that. Maybe it's kind of like how um, Cult of the Lamb plays as well, although I haven't played that, but I guess it's something kind of similar to Arthraiser. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they sealed another lair. Someone found something. We found a strange statue. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. Where is it? How do I... use offering? You have no possessions? Lies. Take an offering. Do I have to do it that way? 
We have the following to offer you this year. Which of the offerings would you like to accept? If you hold this aloft, all flying monsters will be destroyed. Ah, that's what it's for. That'll be useful. Not yet, though. Let's burn some more bushes. I think it wants me to go here. Maybe. Oh, I haven't got the ability yet, but I'm sure at some point you gain the ability to hold down the action button to shoot three at once. I think, although it has been a long time since I played it. Yay, did we get 200? Now your level is three. Bear with me one second. I'm just going to turn the radiator off. There we go. I forgot how much this computer heats up the room. Your HP R10. By the way, your level will increase again when the total becomes 400. Which direction do you want the city? Can you put them there? Yes, there we go. Hey, Retro Break, the Game Boy is turning 35 years old this year and the DS is turning 20. I know they are, and I actually have on my whiteboard over there. I don't know if you can see... Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, maybe we shouldn't do that. What have I done? Oh no. Oh great. I was about to show you my whiteboard and everything's broken because all the wires are too close together. Right. Hopefully I didn't lose loads of progress. We might have to do that again. If so, just think of this as a uh, as a practice run. I was trying to show you over there. You can't even see it because the screen's in the way. Never mind. But I have on there two videos written down. Game Boy 35th and DS 20th anniversary. Um, history videos. Oh no, it did reset. Right. I am not touching the camera from now on. And anyone who was here at the start, uh, just pretend you're experiencing deja vu for a bit. Something had to go wrong, didn't it? Oh well. Let's just think of it as a practice run, shall we? Oh, I'm not touching it again. Here we go, Fillmore, Act 1. Let's see if we can beat the boss in one go this time. I love the concept of um, splitting up action stages and simulation stages. It's really unique. There's still not that many games that do something like this. Like modern examples I can think of, Call to the Lamb, um, Sukuna, Rice and Ruin, which I really want to play, it looks really good. But I can't really think of many others. I always think those bees are like power-ups or something they look like the fairies in Raiden, the way they're all shiny like that. I swear I didn't fight the evil tree man last time. Did we go a different way? I can't believe I moved a cable and the whole thing crashed. That reminds me, I need to find out how to save. The joys of gaming on real hardware instead of emulators. Or with real cartridges, shall I say. Because I'm actually playing this on the Super NT. 
which I thought was the best way of doing it, because at least then I get to use the actual physical game. But it's also a lot easier to record, because you can just go straight through HDMI. And I think it looks nice, too. Oh, he tried to trick me. Nasty, evil, creepy tree man. There's something over there. I want to go back. Let me up. That was worth going back for. Alright, I think we can jump off now. Here we go. Boss fight time again. Got a nice early hit in that time. Why do I think it looks really comical when he runs away like that? Wow, got a good few hits in then. Can I just stay there? Is that safe? Yeah, it's fine. I don't think his spear can actually reach that far. Yay! He's dead! Now we get to do the uh, tutorial stuff again. I do apologise so much. I'll try not to touch it again. For anyone who just joined, we've already done all this, but I uh, tried to move the camera and the um, cartridge wobbled in the Super NT and everything went corrupt and broke. I should probably check that it's still recording okay. It seems fine. Here we go again! I'll just skip over this. I don't need to read it twice. It's a shame there's no, like, fast forward option or anything. You can't even skip. Our first duty to suppress people for any monsters. All do is you instruct, please don't move to the monsters layers. Blah, 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 several circles on the ground, which blah, 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 blah. If you don't have people correctly, they'll be able to seal the layers. You will discover the monster that controls the land and destroy control the land. Blah, 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 blah. Go and destroy the monsters layers, and then you get to have some fun. Basically. And they're like, hey, you're our god now. Awesome. We'll do everything you tell us to because we want a house. Basically. And then I'll tell him. Go and build somewhere. Go up here. And then I have to watch out and destroy all monsters coming out of these pits. And I'm going to see, is there a save? Yes, there we go. Alright, we're safe. We don't have to do film or act one again. Uh, do you want to continue building your world? Yes. You are so diligent and hardworking, if you must please continue. I am very diligent and hardworking, else I wouldn't have bothered replaying this from the beginning. I was just about to move on to level 2 as well and then that happened. Oh well. We can make it fun somehow. Maybe I can try out some of these. I'm not really sure what the purpose of these other ones is just yet though. Um, let's see what these status things are. So there's a stat screen. You can see what magic you've got, what items you're holding, uh, how much XP you need, all that good stuff. You can see a list of uh, score for the area, so I don't really know why you would care about what score you got, because it's not really that kind of game. A lot of these games, I don't really think you would pay any attention to the score. It just exists as a holdover from the arcade days, I think. You got the uh, DS for Christmas along with Mario 64 DS. Excellent. That's a good question for anyone else who's watching as well. What are your, some, of, some of your favourite memories of the original Nintendo DS as it's its 20th anniversary this year? My parents were kind enough to get me the original DS on launch day, but um, I had um, a swimming lesson uh, the, day, the day it was out, and I wasn't allowed to play it until after that. 
and the swimming pool was kind of like below a viewing area above there was like a, a cafe and a playroom upstairs and my parents were upstairs watching me and uh, as I was swimming lengths every time I would be swimming back facing the window they would hold the DS up and and taunt me with it I remember laughing so much I couldn't even swim a whole length without just like sinking because I was laughing so much it's like I really want to go play it why am I here I already know how to swim I don't care I just want to play on the DS. And again, Mario 64 was the first game I got with it as well, and I was just super impressed with the graphics at the time. It was so cool to see that running on a handheld. And then some of my fondest memories after that are probably related to um, the Nintendo Wi-Fi network. So, it, it was basically before people had Wi-Fi in their houses as standard, so they came out with a USB stick attachment for the computer, and you would plug in the USB port, um, and then you could connect to the internet, and I just loved playing things like Mario Kart DS and Metroid Prime Hunters. Yeah, there were so many great games on the DS. So many. You can't see them, they're on the floor down. I mean, you can kind of see them, there's some there on the floor. A few uh, DS game boxes. There they are. I said I wouldn't move the camera again, so hopefully that didn't do anything. And there's a box of DS games behind me on that side, so. Yeah, I love the DS. And uh, I'm, looking, I'm very much looking forward to uh, another code remake coming out on the Switch in a, just a few days' time. I'm so excited for that because another code on the DS was one of my favourite early games for the system too. Um, recently strange things have been happening to me, many of my thoughts uh, are coming to life in the real world. There's something radiating from the woods to the east. Too bad we're going west. I'm just going to methodically make my way around the map I think. They took a while to start constructing that one. I'm trying to think of some of my favourite early DS games, because I will be featuring that uh, in the video. Yoshi's Touch and Go, that was a really good early game. A lot of people didn't like it because it was mostly uh, arcade style score attack gameplay, but I really loved it. I was obsessed with trying to beat my score on that game. And even for years and years and years after, I still kept having New Year's added to the high score list. Someone's found something in the monster's lair. What have they got? I don't think we actually reached this one last time. Shall we see what they uh, what they have for us? Is it the bomb thing? The statue? Yes, it is. So you don't want it? No, 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 I'm fine without it. Uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time and Super Princess Peach. Yeah, I loved the Mario and Luigi game on the DS as well. I was a big fan of the Game Boy Advance one before it. I didn't really like Super Princess Peach that much. I remember it being very easy. And then I remember towards the end getting really annoyed because you have to go and find all the little toads before you can get to the final stage. But the graphics were really nice. Hey, Cold Fuse is here. Hello. Back to an extreme. So busy with assignments. Oh no. Hopefully they're doing well though. Hopefully you're doing okay. It was great to see you again in London. Um, my master of fire has broken out at a home in the north. Please send rain to quench the fire. Ah, that's when you need to do this sort of thing. Oh no. Everyone's houses are on fire. If you send rain, the crops will grow and any dried up fields will be uh, nurtured back to full productivity. Do you want to send rain? Yes. Show me where you want the rain to go. Well, apparently the rain wants to go up there, even though the fire's below it. Or they were just panicking for no reason. Okay. Apparently the rain doesn't want to go. 
uh, where they were actually shouting. It needs to go below it. However, my master, you need 20 SP in order to create a rain cloud. Oh no, I've just doomed everyone. They're all going to be burning alive in their little hut. You guys weren't even the ones. Why were you shouting about it? It should have been the people who were living here. Idiots. I've raised a bunch of buffoons. They don't even know when to tell me they need rain. Terrible. Right, let's try that one more time. We've basically got back up to where we were before when the game crashed, so hopefully everything works out well this time. There we go, we got 200. HP's increased. Slightly. Let's go this way. They're not being lifted up as much as they were before. Hey, did he just fall down? Fall down the pit where that house burnt down? Oh no, he's building a new one. It's okay. I thought he just fell down and he was like, Ah, help, I'm stuck in a pit. I know it's unexpected, but the people of Fillmore want to speak to me. I feel the presence of a magic power radiating from under the big rock below the precipice southeast. There is no big rock. I don't know where it is. I tried looking for it before. But I say try use lightning to get rid of the big rock, but I can't find a big rock. Let's try. Is it here? Is there a big rock there? Is it going to be behind the trees? There's nothing there. Hey! Leave my house alone. Well, there was no rock there. It said something to the southeast. Uh, James says you also remember getting Kirby Squeak Squad and Yoshi's Island DS. You really enjoyed your platformers at the time, then. They're both good games as well, but I would say they're not as good as the GBA games that came before them in terms of their franchises. Like, nothing can beat Yoshi's Island. Even the GBA version, and I preferred Kirby um, Kirby's Night Nightmare Nightmare in Dreamland. Is it over Squeak Squad, which I felt like was a bit hmm unoriginal, maybe. But then Nightmare in Dreamland wasn't really either. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed them both. So I can't really complain too much. I just felt like they weren't quite as polished as the games that they were inspired by. There were so many great games for the DSO. Did you ever play Henry Hatsworth? That was a really cool platformer, which also has a puzzle element on the bottom screen at the same time. That was definitely one of my favourites. He's like this British explorer type person who's like wandering through caves and finding gems and things and then the gems go on to the bottom screen and then uh, as you're collecting all these gems and things on the bottom you're also like matching them up to get power-ups to take back into the platformer game with you it's just such a cool concept where are they going and i really want to get the follow-up they made for the ds called monster tail it's been on my wish list for a long time. Cold Fuse missed the original DS era, but you did play some on the 3DS. That's not too bad then, although they look horrible on the 3DS with the weird smoothing filter they put over everything. 
I was always really upset with that, because, ah, finally, it's backwards compatible, I can just play everything on one system. And it turned out that they looked really bad. But, oh, this isn't how DS games look. It might give people a bad impression of them if they've never played an original DS before. Right, all the pixel art was all smudged and horrible. But it's still cool that they did that, obviously, with the screen resolutions being a different size and not possible to do integer scaling because it was a weird in-between. They didn't really have a choice. Uh, never, but you heard Guiana Sisters is good. Yeah, that's a fun game. They also came out with a weird sequel to Guiana Sisters on the uh, Wii U as well. Um, which is kind of unexpected. But that was really fun too. I remember thinking the graphics were really good on that one. I would love to try and get the original Commodore 64 version of Guiana Sisters at some point. Like, I don't even understand how that game was allowed to be released in the uh, complete rip-off state that it was at the time. For anyone that doesn't know, Guiana Sisters on the Commodore 64 looks like a carbon copy of Mario just replace the Mario Brothers with sisters instead. And that's basically the game. But it did actually go off to form into its own series, eventually, which is pretty cool. You never really see derivative works like that actually spinning off into their own franchises. Hotel? Hotel? Where am I reading Hotel? I thought it was building a hotel for a second. You can tell I've had a long day. There we go, we have a population of 400 now. I suppose we should. Well, I didn't really want to go over this way, but maybe this is where that rock is that they were on about. Either that, or I need to do a lightning bolt on the wall or something. It said there was a rock to the southeast. Does it mean the mountain? Does it mean this? There's more rocks there. Let's see if that does anything. Oh, it got rid of something. Just throwing that big rock below the precipice revealed something that may be very useful. Your people have something to say. All right, let's see what they have. Our master, a magic token was found near the precipice to the southeast of here. We present it to you as an offering. Please accept it. I know it's unexpected, but our people have something to say. I think this is separate to that thing that I just got. A scroll was found in the woods to the east. We presented to you as an offering. Cool. Ah, this might be what that person was saying, that they have magic affecting them in the forest. Ah, uh, and something else as well. Oh my god, they're very chatty at this time of day. We have developed a fishing trade here in Fillmore. A few days ago, a fisherman repairing his boat along the seashore found an unusual scroll. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. We've got a whole bunch of things to look at. But first... Let's do this. And if I remember right, you can build a bridge over here as well to get to that one. But I don't even need to worry about the top of the screen anymore, do I? That's the only one left. Uh, where are they building? Oh yeah, I forgot I told him to go down there. Keep increasing that population. Uh. We're nearly there guys, we're nearly at the second action stage. Hope you're enjoying seeing this game so far, it's very unique. There really is nothing else like it. And I can only really think of... Well, actually, I can think of three modern examples, because there was that... Solar something game that was like a... Modern interpretation of um, Actraiser, but it didn't really do that well, and I don't think it has this town building element either. Sol... Sol Seraph, is it? Something like that? Um, the closest example is probably Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, where you have a farm 
and you also go out into the action fields in order to bring stuff back to work on your farm again, which is a little bit different. It's probably more closely based on Rune Factory than anything. Hey, there's that boat they were on boat. Can I shoot it? Why was that my first thought? They might be bringing me something good. Can we keep going? We're nearly there. Uh, Confuse says it would be nice to have a 3DS top scale. Clearly, but most handhelds prior to the Switch have got really strange resolutions. Yeah. Even the PlayStation Vita has a weird resolution. It's like 500p or something. I'm pretty sure that the 3DS was just 480, wasn't it? Or was, no, it was 200 and something, but it was per eye, so it was like 480 overall, but then you sort of halve it. 240, maybe? It looks nice on the screen, but yeah, it's definitely below HD. Are they going to start building or not? Hey, fight magic items, hello. So far, I have uh, raised one act. <laughs> I'm not allowed to build over there because I haven't got a bridge. How do I get a bridge? 3DS was 240 by 400. Oh, that's the doubling that I was thinking of then. So it is doubled from 800. 400 horizontal. That's a really weird resolution, isn't it? Um, Did they make an offering of a bridge to me? Let's see what we have. Source of magic? A magic fireball or a bomb? Is that a permanent upgrade? I really can't remember that much. Uh, we have received another MP. Where's it changing? I don't see anything changing. I want to build a bridge. How do I do that? I don't want to cause an earthquake. Uh, let us listen. Do I need to go somewhere else first? Thank you very much for giving us such a beautiful land. Because of this, we can work and be happy. Hooray, but you can't get over the river. How do I get over the river? Do I just need to wait for more people to build? Do I need to venture down here more first? Let's try going down, there is another route. Let's try going this way first. I love that sound effect when they start building. Hey, that boat's back. Hey, whoever you are, go and build a bridge for me. I'll pay you later, I promise. Come to think of it, the title Act Razor doesn't really make any sense, does it? <laughs> what does any of it mean? A raising village? Raising a village? Raising villagers? The act of raising a village? I have no clue. Let's keep moving. Laylee? Is that how you pronounce your name? Um, I had an original DS Fat when they first came out, but I was unimpressed with the selection of games. Were you not blown away by Mario 64 like everyone else was at the time? I guess I wasn't that much good early on um, with the selection of games, so you eBayed it for travel money and when the DS Lite came out you got it and you enjoyed Fantasy Star Zero. Awesome! That game looks amazing, Fantasy Star Zero does, although I never really played it online much. I know someone who did and he said it was fantastic, but yeah, I never really had the luxury of playing that one. I was more into the online in the early three, uh, years of the original DS, so I played a lot of Metroid Prime Hunters, mostly. And that was really ahead of its time. It even had voice chat and lobbies and stuff. Crazy for the time. I would always go on there after school with my friend Jack. We would play a few hours of Metroid Prime Hunters. We both got really good at it.
I was always a fan of the single player fantasy star games, so I was always kind of put off by the online ones, thinking like, oh, they ruined one of my favourite RPG series. Why can't we get any proper RPGs? That's why I never really played it on the Dreamcast much either. I shouldn't have been such a whiny crybaby at the time and just given it a chance, because I'm sure I would have loved it. There we go, seal those monsters away. Do your job, little guy in red. Huh. I suppose, come to think of it, another game that's kind of similar to this is Dosh and the Giant on the GameCube. Retro Jim Tendo. Uh, it was the domain of the gods to bring things into act, that is, to raise them. <laughs> Did you just come up with that on the spot? Let's see if there's anything on the back of the box. Maybe act is short for action because its subtitle is action and simulation. We never actually looked at the story. If I go on here, there you go. That's what the back of the box says. There is actually a story there as well. Restore peace and order to your people's world. Long ago, you and your people built a peaceful land. Since then, your world has been taken over and inhabited by the evil Tanzra and his guardians. Your once tranquil land has become a breeding ground for monsters. Injured, you have retreated to your sky palace and have fallen into a deep sleep. Now many years have passed and you have recovered from your injuries and slumber. You must punish Tanzra and restore the world uh, to your people or lose their faith forever. Oh, I do have the instructions in here as well, although I don't think it has any mention. Oh, look what else is in here. Club Nintendo. Do you want to join Club Nintendo? Look at that. <laughs> Mario with a UK flag on it. If you're not already a member, join today! Back when they only had three consoles to choose from. That's really cool to see. And I guess while we're on this camera, let's take a little bit of a break. Here you go. Nice colourful manual. Always good to see a font colour instruction booklet. I thought that was going to explain what ActRaiser meant then. Sadly not. There you go, there's a little description of all the things that you can do in the simulation mode. And the progress log to save, which uh, I forgot about. And there's a little description of the different modes. They're both very simple. And uh, instructions. How much spell power it takes to cast everything. That's good to know. Um, how to grow the population faster, how to seal them away, and then some notes pages. Unfortunately, no one wrote on them in the past, which is always sad to see. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed having a little look there at the packaging that comes with it. But there is no mention of what ActRaiser means. <coughs> what have they found? We found a strange bow and some arrows. Ah, this is what I was telling you earlier, where you can charge up to shoot in three directions at once, which is pretty cool. Thank you, Master. We've acquired a new skill. And now we can build bridges. I knew it. Um, let's see if we can use that better bow right now. Strength of Angel. This appears to be an angel's arrow. Will you take another offering? Can I take the bridge now? This is the bridge building technique. With this new skill, people will be able to build homes on the other side of the river. Yay! Let's do it! Oh. It doesn't give me three arrows just yet. Maybe this one's just slightly stronger. Wow, they already built it before I even got there. Very, very fast workers. Very efficient. I've trained them well under my regime of fear and death from weird demon creatures every few minutes. It's the only thing that got them motivated to build. Why does it take you all the way back down there? We're going this way. Then once this one's dead, there's no more monsters to worry about, then you can just fill out the entire map. Why is everyone going down there? 
I told you to build up there. Listen to me, or I'll cause an earthquake and destroy the world. Shame you can't send a giant Bowser after them like in SimCity. Oh, I used to love playing SimCity. So fun. I love those sort of town building games as well. I really enjoyed City Skylines as well. And the VR version of City Skylines on the Quest was really cool. Has anyone played the second City Skylines actually? I was considering it and then I heard it had really bad performance issues. And I thought, if they're not competent to program the uh, level of detail properly, does that mean that the game itself isn't that great either? So I haven't tried it yet, but if anyone recommends it, I'll definitely give it a go because I really enjoyed the first one. I just love any kind of building game, really. There hasn't been another proper SimCity game for a long time, has there? At least not outside of that weird mobile one that was just filmed with microtransactions. Is there going to be another enemy? Let's go down. There we go. That's the last area. Seal in the monster's lair. Then we get to go and do another action stage. Sir Nick, our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Eh, they kind of had our help, didn't they? The civilization level in Fillmore seems to have improved. I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Come, my master. Since the last lair has been sealed, something strange has been happening to me. I have the same nightmare every night. In my nightmare, the gruesome monster Minot Minotaur Minotaurus? Appears through a big hole to the southeast. He says he will curse the people with death. Because of my ability to see into the future, I feel as if I'm already afflicted by the monster's curse. Please, my master, go down into the ground and destroy this gruesome monster before something terrible happens. You heard the lady. I don't know where it is. <gasps> there it is! Oh my god. And nightmares are coming true. I can't remember how I get down there. Do I go back up into the sky and then... Ooh, look at that. They're getting fancy now. Getting purple roofs and everything. Oh my god. Wow, you guys. Calm down. <laughs> right. Let's save first before we do anything. Okay, let's continue. Right, I think we need to go back up here and fight monsters. If we destroy the monsters in this area, people will no longer be scared of evil. Sir Nick, are you ready? May look be with you. Let's go into the weird pit of doom and enjoy some Mode 7 flashiness. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And enjoy that nice little trumpet sound as you go in. Here we go, Act 2! I don't know why he starts as a statue. Can anyone explain that? Was the statue already here and you're just like inhabiting it through your soul or something? It didn't explain that in the instructions. And I'm dead. Wow. That was a great start. Is everyone happy now? I think I'm just proving that lady's nightmares to be true. Like, do not come here. It's deadly. Oh, ah, ah! That was very, very badly done. Uh, the, the weird thing about this is you can't control the height of your jump. It's all or nothing, basically. Unlike a lot of other platformers. And I kind of like that. It kind of gives you the same kind of feeling that an old-style Castlevania game would give you. Where you're very limited in your movement. Everything has to be much more pre-planned. You can... Well, you can't really move in the air either. You can kind of... You can stop moving in the air, for what that's worth. Like, you can move backwards a little bit. 
And they definitely improved that in the second one. There's a lot more movement options in Actraiser 2. You can even fly in that one, which is really cool. But that game's extremely difficult, so I don't know how far we're going to be able to get in that one. Ah, I didn't even see that. We got some points. But like I said, the points are don't really do anything, as far as I'm aware. Apart from letting you see on the leaderboard how many points you got. But I'm not really sure how many people would care about how many points they've got in this kind of stage. Like, does it really matter? Can I get over there? That was a close... Woo! And a nice duck under there. I'm doing pretty well now. I feel like we're approaching the lair now. And they got half an apple. Mmm. Delicious. Oh! He's not even the boss. He just didn't take any damage from me. And it restarts you all the way back at the beginning. Oh, I really thought I could jump over that then. I was trying to be clever. Let's try going a different route, because I did see a few different paths through here. Right, let's go and get that first. More points. Ooh. Ah! I was close. I thought I found a shortcut then. Oh, that's too bad, Nick, but I know you'll never give up. I'm watching for your gallant return once you've defeated the monsters. You have no magic. If we destroy the monsters... Alright, I guess we can just jump straight back down. We didn't get anywhere. Let's go again. Round two into the lair. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Gonna play it a little bit safer this time. Yes, just managed to drop down in front of him, that was good. This looks dangerous. There's a weird guy in the background there as well, that's scary. Uh, and you do get pushed back- oh no, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Okay, we'll remember that. This is the joy of these old style games. A lot of repetition to remember where all the traps are. I do enjoy it though. It definitely feels weird having to put this much confidence in your own skills to be able to get through a level, because a lot of games these days, that would not have been a one-hit kill. You would not be sent all the way back. There would be checkpoints everywhere. Oh, he just disappeared. That's better. Now we're going to wait here. Ah, no! I tried jumping then. I really did. <clears throat> Are we going to be allowed another go? See, we're making a little bit of progress. No! I wasn't ducking. That was my own fault. I always go for that, even though I don't know what the... Uh, what the points actually do. I'm getting... Uh... Don't do that! Oh, that was lucky. So there's a few seconds of iframes in between. I'm just gonna... Oh no, I can't ignore him. I don't like this guy! Oh, not too bad. Is that the halfway point? We're finally making progress! And I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not. I thought I was then. Oh my god, stay ducking. Is that gonna do something? I don't trust it. 
Kind of reminds me of... Oh, my God. Um, what was I, what was I trying to say? It reminds me of Labyrinth Zone from Sonic 1. The bit near the end where you're going up the water and there's uh, the spikes coming out of the um, gargoyle things on the wall. Is it safe here? What weird physics. That was close. You'll hear these sound effects a lot, by the way. Throw uh, quintet playthroughs. Basically, all of these sound effects they use for the um, those noises of the enemies dying and stuff—they're all reused in all their other games too. What is this? An original Game Boy game? Seeing the different colours for the sprites compared to the background. Have we done it? Have we reached the boss? We have. Look at that awesome background. Got a few early hits in. Oh no. That's going to come back. Stop! I'm not timing this very well. That's better. Oh my god, I might actually do it. Ah, so close! He only had two hits left. Ah, don't tell me that's game over. Alright. That was close. Deep breaths. We can do it. Fight monsters! Not fight magic items, fight monsters. <clears throat> Looking forward to the next homebrew video. I've actually got a bunch of homebrew games that I haven't played yet, so I'm sort of saving them all up and I'm going to do a big compilation when I've got a load of them. I've got a few companies sending me a bunch over as well, so I'll include all them too. I was taking a little bit of a break, but don't worry, I'm still making them. Just at a, a bit of a slower pace. So that I can work on some of the stuff that I wanted to as well. I don't know what the best thing to do is, though. I wonder if there's something to collect there as well. Ah! I was rushing it a little bit then. Oh my god, that was too, too close. Oh, no, that's not fair. Why don't I have a shield? Yeah, that's better. I'm scared. Oh. Why are they so slow? Let's hope it doesn't remember. Yeah, at least the enemies don't respawn. It could be worse. <gasps> that was close. No, just keep going up, up, up. I thought that was one of the item box things. That was my own silly mistake. Oh my god, I'm messing up so bad. Please be health at the top here. I can't remember if there was or not. Come on. Come on, come this way. I dare you, come over here. 
Fine, fine, I'll come to you. Ah! How am I supposed to dodge both of them? Oh, there's full health. Here we go, got back to the boss. And I know what to do this time. I say that. Oh my god, that was close. So the idea is, go back a bit, get a run up and then jump over him. You have to remember all this because at the end of the game there's a boss rush. Where you, uh, you have to fight all of them back to back. One more hit! Yeah, look at that. Hit his foot in the air. Nicely done! We are on to level two. I have raised another act. Whatever that means. The act has been raised. More has been filled. Clear has been exclaimed. And I've turned back into stone. I know it's unexpected, but our people have something to tell you. Nick, you're a gaming god. I mean, Master, Phil Morris, now rid of all the monsters. Sadly, one person was afflicted by the monster's curse and has just passed away. Oh. Right before he passed away, he was heard to say, I was finally able to be of help to some of the people of Fillmore. The whole town's only existed for an hour. Wow. Um, with the elimination of all the monsters, we can now control the town by ourselves. So please, visit other lands and make them as peaceful as our town. Fillmore. There are people praising you outside of the shrine. Hooray, thank you for praising me. Now, I could just stay and watch, or I could move off and uh, start again in another town. So let's do that. Let's uh, fly off up to the sky, and then you can move around on the map. And now we can go to Bloodpool. But before that, I'm just going to go and grab myself a drink, so I'll be back in five minutes. And hopefully this works. I've got a new BRB screen, so here we go. Yes, it did! Excellent. I'll be back in just a second. There we go, I'm back. And I have a Pepsi Max. Cheers. So now we've got to go and fight the monsters here before we can start building in blood pool. So let's go. We are making progress. Um, oh, James said while I was gone, did you know that there is a Gargoyles Quest 2, but it was only released in Japan? I did know. In fact, I think I have it. Although it is a bit difficult because obviously it's kind of an RPG, so I don't really know that much about what's going on. I don't know whether there's a fan translation. 
I was playing the original one on the uh, on the Switch last night, actually. I'm really, really terrible at the game. Have you got any tips on how to be better at Gargoyle's Quest? Because I really, really struggle to make any progress in that game. Why are these people throwing rocks at me? I guess because I'm running at them brandishing a sword. Ow. At least they're kind of slow about it. Finally managed to get rid of him. One up. Ah, uh, oh no! I remember. I uh, I had to keep coming back to get that one up last time I played. So it must mean that something bad's about to happen. I want that. Ah, oh, did I miss it? No, oh, it's gone. I don't need it, I'll be fine. Famous last words. Ooh, time for the boss fight already. Oh my god! The boss didn't kill me, the floor killed me! Oh, oh my headphones nearly fell off. What a great first attempt. Quite a short level though. Oh my god! Right, one, two, jump over his boomerang, three, duck under his boomerang. Easily done. Yay, we got a new first time chat from... Filthy Bear. Interesting choice of username. Hello Filthy Bear, how are you doing this evening? How did I get over there? How did I get over there? The first time I get there, I'm always like, yeah, I can get there easy, and then I try again. And I'm like, That's impossible. I want that apple. Give me the apple. Uh, uh, do you have to come up that way? I'm sure I could reach it before. I have no idea. Anyway, now I remember why um, I always needed those one-ups. Oh, 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 oh my god, that's why. That is why I need all the one-ups. Okay. Let's see if we can get that apple on the other side easier this time. There is no other platform there, so I don't... Oh no! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you guys must think I really suck at games. It's a hard game, I promise. Uh, occasionally check out streams playing games on marks are my favourites. Oh, awesome! You didn't find me from YouTube then, like most people do. That's cool. Welcome! I hope you enjoy my admittedly terrible gameplay. I hope it's at least entertaining. You're probably wincing watching me play so badly. How do I get over there? Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Instead. Yay, there we go. Twitch is terrible at user discovery. It really is. Like, the only way anyone's been able to find me on Twitch is through my YouTube channel. Right, do you have any tips for this fight? Oh, uh, that's not the right thing to do. I know that much. Oh my god, that's not the right thing to do either. Ah. Ah. Ah, this is horrible. 
Please give me advice. Swim like crazy. I will do my best. At least you've kind of got unlimited attempts at this one, because that one up that's right there. And this is only level two. I say unlimited lives, but I'm sure I had four before and I only got three. Don't even need it. Let's just keep going. Da -da 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 -da. Is it better to stand at the top? I'm guessing so. And then jump over it. Oh, maybe not. Oh no. The jump is horrible and you get stuck in the middle like that. Trying to think. Maybe stand at the bottom is better. Oh yeah, filthy bear. Do you know why it's called Act Razor? Does the name have any meaning? We were discussing that earlier and no one really knew what it meant or why it's called that. It's just such a weird title. I have no idea what to do. Standing like there is the best thing to do. Right here on the end. Like that. It's going to be slow, but at least I'm guaranteed to hit him. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing this. There's probably a much better way of doing it, but whatever. It's working. If I was fast enough, maybe I could go over there and get a hit or two in at the same time. Oh, that was close. Let's see. Now I'm taking it slower, I'm doing a lot better. Just don't stand too close. Oh, that was a bit risky. that he's nearly dead. I think it's just one of those Japanese words where they bash English together. I think so. My hypothesis was that the uh, the word act comes from action because it's action and simulation. Well, there was a subtitle for it, so I guess razor because you're raising a city, so it's like action and raising. Maybe. Just my guess, anyway. Yay, we made it to our second town. That was fun. Now we're gonna find out where the lairs are. Hmm, maybe different acts in the game because it says act one, act two, act three. Yeah, and raising the city. Maybe. Doesn't make sense for the sequel, where there's no city raising, though. Cernic? Bloodpool. 
may become a land where people can live in peace. All right, my master, let us work towards peace. Sir Nick, I know it's unexpected, but people in Bloodpool have something to tell you. My master, it has become very difficult to try and build homes because of the marshlands. Would you please use sunlight to dry up the marshland? Let's do it. <clears throat> they can't really say it's become difficult if they haven't even tried yet. Look at all this land. They can just use that. I suppose we need to start building in the direction of the layers. There's one over here. He's a new guy. Look at him. And he starts dancing when you shoot him. Oh, I always thought it looked like he was dancing anyway. He's just spinning around. Minding his own business. And I'm accusing him of doing a dance. Resident Evil was a title that was concise for the first game. Yeah. As soon as they went outside the mansion in the second one, it instantly lost all of its meaning. Although that was never the original name anyway, because it was called Biohazard in Japan, which makes sense for all the games. I don't know why they just didn't call it Biohazard, it's a cool name anyway. In fact, I know you're, I know you're new to the streams, but in my last stream I actually finished playing Resident Evil for the DS, which was really fun to play through. Deadly Silence. It was a really cool, unique version of that game, with some interesting touchscreen and stuff, and microphone puzzles and things. A lot of unexpected twists in that one. Really enjoyed it. Ooh, they want to talk to me again. We have a problem with my oldest son, Teddy. We're worried that his curious energy may be getting him into trouble. I know it's nothing to bother you with. I'm sorry for bringing up such a silly matter. He's going to end up going down one of the demon's pits, isn't he? Maybe the demon's armpit. Haha. <laughs> what am I on about? I got drunk off Pepsi, I think. We're going to make our way here first. Let's have a look around and see what else there is. He's coming from the uh, titular blood pool. As you can see over there, at least I presume it's blood. Maybe it's wine. Right, now we need to get more sunlight. I can't remember if there's different soundtracks in the overworld. I think maybe once your population reaches a... Oh, do I not know how to build bridges anymore? Was that just a one-off thing? Do these guys need to learn separately? Maybe... Let's let them try a little bit longer. Do you know how to build a bridge? No. Yes, I've seen a straw hut before. Do I need to accept an offering again? They haven't got anything for me. <clears throat> okay, in that case, we'll go somewhere else. The new cherub's getting enough sunlight. How funny would it be if he ended up getting sunburnt if he used it too much? Is there a thing over here? Oh, yeah. It's kind of far away. There's some horses. Let's go see the horses. They don't complain about living in a marshland. Look how nice the land is here. Just don't look down there. So that's why the trees are there. Wait, hide the blood. I presume they're horses. Yeah, they are. From the side, at least. Oh no! I killed him! With construction! Wait a minute, is this just an allegory of the modern world? It 
let's not think too deeply about it. Let's just stand here and spam this while I take a drink. Mm. I killed the horses again. They'll be back, I hope. Hey, that's not fair! I wasn't looking that way! You didn't warn me there'd be people coming from down there. Whoa, look at that. My, uh, my arrow set the ring on fire. My master, we know how to develop a crop called wheat. Ooh, exciting. Please share our newfound crop with lands that cannot produce wheat. I don't know if Fillmore learnt how to produce wheat or not yet. I know that I need to use lightning on these trees. Hey, Gion's in the chat. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Have you played or seen Actraiser before at all? Are they... Uh, is everyone okay over here? I haven't been paying much attention to the side. That monster's just chilling out down there, minding his own business. Oh, that little demon thing hasn't caused any trouble either yet. The further I go over here, I'll need to worry about that side some more. Um, you've only ever seen footage. It looks pretty interesting and complex. It's actually really simple. It, it looks complex because you've got a load of different options, but it basically tells you what you need to do and when. The main thing you need to do is worry about the building direction. And the, the kind of gist of the game is you get to a new land, you expand the town, you learn something new, you try and take over these circles here, which is where all the monsters are coming out of. <clears throat> and then once you've done that, you get to go and fight the boss for that area. You get a little bit of story, and then you move on to the next one. It's a really nice system. It's really unique as well. There we go. So we can see all that monster's lair, and then we don't need to worry about that side anymore. And they might also find something useful to give you in exchange. Our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. The civilization seems to have improved. And then they'll take you into that temple and they'll tell you something. As you know, Bloodpool is a land of many rivers. We want to build homes on the other side of the rivers. But we don't know how to build bridges. Please teach us how. The people in Fillmore know how to build bridges. Ha! <laughs> I would... I would... Unironically love a civilization game with side scrolling action levels. Imagine that, like full on like war simulations but side scrolling action game. <laughs> that could actually be really fun and you could do all different time periods and stuff. Um How do I teach the people here? to build the bridges. Do I need to go back to the other place? And someone can tell them how? Let's uh, get rid of some of this marsh land first. <clears throat> I should dry that up. Good, good. There's a hole. How did that already exist if no one lived here until now. Was there a reason they didn't build on this side? I suppose I'm supposed to go back. Let's see. Go back over here. And... Get these guys to teach people how to build a bridge? Look, they've got a bridge. Do they need to build some more first? There's nothing to worry about in this area anymore either because we've got rid of all the, uh, all the enemies. They're basically free to build however they want now. And grow crops. Oh! Actually, 
Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I can tell them about wheat now. Thank you for giving us such a beautiful land. Because of this, we can work and be happy. How do I teach you? Oh, I can just do it from there, maybe. I already know how to build a bridge. I don't need to tell you how. Oh, well. Just close my window a little bit. Wow, I did a lot better in Bloodpool. Uh, we can expand in here a little bit more. I'll try and get the population to 700, and that will actually level me up, I think, if that's how it works. Is anyone going to build that? There we go. Let's see what that brings the population up to. Six hundred and seventy-two. We're getting closer. We have. Do you want to see how many acts we've raised now? Uh, wrong button. There we go. We've raised three acts, I guess. Two first acts and one second act. So there's still a lot more act raising to go. There's not really anything to worry about on this area now. I thought I had to come back here to learn how to tell the other people about building bridges, but I can just tell them anyway. I just didn't know where to go to do that. Yeah, three acts raised. Yay, there we go. Congratulations, your level has increased. You're now level five. By the way, your level will increase again when the population becomes 950. I'm not going to hang around there for that long. Let's go back into the sky. There you go, you can see all the places that I've raised and acted on. So we're going back into Bloodpool. You can you can look around everywhere, you just can't... I guess? Can you go there? Straight away? Yeah, you can. But I'd rather just do it in order, I guess. That's cool, though, that you get to choose. Uh, what do we do next? Observe the people. And then, go here. Use an offering. Use the bridge. The people will be able to build bridges. <clears throat> Whoa, it's already there. Why is he so sad about it? They don't like the new bridge. Our son Teddy has run away from home. We've looked everywhere for him, but we cannot find him. He must be very hungry by now. Oh, my master, we've made a loaf of bread. Please find Teddy and give him the bread. Oh, why is everyone so upset? Did they all love Teddy? Um, I'm wondering if I can actually use this now. The power of the angel's arrow seems to have increased. No, I could have had that the whole time. Look at that, I can take them out in one go now. We need to find Teddy and give him his bread. Where are you taking me? There's no need to go all the way back over there. Look how sad these people are. What can I do? Um, is there a way of listening to people? Is that it? My master, our son, has run away from home. Oh, it's just say, saying that again. I know he ran away from home. That's your fault for being bad parents. Don't blame me. Is that his- is that their son? <gasps> He's gonna stumble into the evil castle made of blood. Or maybe it's wine. Or maybe it's Vimto. We're nearly there. I should just throw the bread out the sky. At him. What? Why is my power gone? I thought it was a permanent upgrade. That's not fair. Come on, lazy workers, get to it. 
Can't you see the giant flashing arrow on the ground? Don't question how it works. Look at him, just wandering around. Have some bread. He's gone again. Come on! Oh, do I have to go and save him? How do I do that? Do I need to... Uh, I don't know what to do! Do I have to... Fight monsters? No more monsters exist. I have no magic. Do I... Move the thing? I can't build anywhere. Do I literally throw the bread out the sky and give it to him? You have no possessions? I don't know what to do now. Do I have to try and come down here? Let's use the sun. Maybe I can burn the kid. That will teach him a lesson. I'll just do that. Everyone's so unhappy though, I can't get them to do anything. What's wrong? What do you want? I can make an earthquake. Oh, I have to actually take the bread off them, they won't just give it to me. Let's see what else they have for me. They have wheat. We share our harvest with other lands. We can actually take that back and grow the population over there faster. So, what do I have to do with the bread? Where would you like to use this item? Here. What will Teddy think when he sees the bread his mother baked for him? He just went, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. I know it's unexpected, but we have something to tell you. You did literally have to throw the bread out of the sky. I was only joking about that. Thanks to you, my master, our son Teddy is now back home. That was fast. He's a oh my god, bread! I gotta go home now. Uh, the life of bread reminded him of home and caused him to return. He didn't mean to run away. He was trying to discover how the lake was poisoned. We've always thought our son uh, we've always thought of our son as a small child. It was a surprise to see him as a grown man. Would a grown man run home because he had a slice of bread? According to Teddy, the lake was poisoned because of its closeness to the monster's lair. We present you with the skull that he found in the cave. Not his skull, at least. What am I going to do with a skull? Why? Why? We have the following to offer you this year. Which of our offerings would you like? Wheat or a skull? Let's go for the magical skull. According to the fortune teller, who exists, I guess, um, this this jewel can even destroy a monster's lair. Please use it on a monster's lair that we can't seal. Do I need to take more wheat off them? Master, this crop is called wheat. I know, you just told me. This is all we have for this year. I, I think you should probably eat it yourself rather than giving it to a weird naked cherub in the sky that doesn't actually need human food. Please look after yourselves first. Uh, where are you guys going? Down here. I take it back. Give me all your wheat. You're useless. I could build faster. Ugh, I could burp faster on my own. Build faster on my own. Come on, let's keep going. I don't even know what that red one does. He's never posed any sort of threat. He just spins around. There's nothing over there, but he's still going over there anyway. No one's been picked up in this world yet, either. And that one's not even causing any issues. He's just standing around. Let's go right. There we go, first layer sealed.
I don't know what they're doing. It sounds like they're just hitting it. Yay, well done. Did they find anything? The civilization seems to have improved. But they didn't find anything. Let's burn some more grass. Let's use the sun. Right here. We're going to go and fight that one next, I think. Let's do that again. Use it right there. And now we can start telling them to come this way. You're going to beg to have the train and wheels back on when the devils are going to start wrecking your villages. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. I shouldn't complain that it's easy. I mean, bring it on. They can't stop me. Why am I even trying to go down here? There's nothing here. Oh, I guess that's down there. Do you have any tips for the boss fights at the end? I remember that was a real struggle when I played this originally. In fact, I never actually managed to complete it, so I'll be very interested to see whether I can actually get all the way to the end or not. Are they coming down? Show me your magnificent bridge building skills. Come on! Why are you all being lazy? Get down here. Where is everyone? Oh. They just wanted to wait until I'd killed that. There we go. Now they're doing the jobs properly. Hey, Tom Sutton's here. Yes, I am a little flame baby. Mostly in the game, sometimes in real life. Maybe. In my dream. Maybe. I've never dreamed about being a flame baby, but I did one day consider cosplaying as the uh, main character from Actraiser. The guy, not the baby. That would be weird. I'm not going to a convention dressed as a naked baby with a, um, with a bow and arrow. That would be very funny. <laughs> what game? Um, let me point to what game we're playing. There you go. Act Razor. A game where the title means nothing. Wrong, wrong con for the naked baby costume. I don't want to know what the right con is in that case. Although we have heard some very strange stories from people who run hotels at conventions saying some of the weird people that uh, have conventions at the hotel and they come down like wearing like nothing but like skin tight latex and things and boasting about how they had orgies and stuff. Anyway, getting way off topic here but yeah, they told us some very very strange tales from the travel lodge. I thought it was quite funny. Yay, we sealed another demon's lair away. Did we get something for this one? Upon sealing the monster's lair, we found a strange statue. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. What did they give me? Let's go and have a look. We have the following to offer this time of year. What would you like? It's a bomb! Why have they been creating bombs? They've only just learnt how to farm. Civilization's progressing fast. Where are they coming from? Do I need to use lightning? Ah, I think I know what to do. They gave me the ability to destroy ones that are out of reach. So when they're done building their little farmhouses there, after I've leveled up, yay, we're level six now. 
I know what to do. We have to use lightning on those bushes everywhere. Boom. You want to hit him as well? No. That will expose the lair. And then... We can use the magic skull. Hopefully this is the right thing to do. To destroy it. I know it's unexpected, but our people in Bloodpool have something to tell you. Since Salem, the last monster's lair, something very dreadful has occurred. Oh no. The monsters appeared from the old castle by the lake and demanded a sacrifice of us. We spent hours discussing this hideous demand and sadly determined three people should be selected by drawing lots. Oh my god, this is going south very fast. Unfortunately, one of those to be sacrificed is my son, Teddy! Oh no! Please go to the old castle and save our son and our land. Oh my god, I only just saved Teddy's life. He was the one who discovered the castle in the first place. How, how sad. Sir Nick, look, something about to happen at the lake in Bloodpool. Why is there a boat on the lake? What's, are they, is this for the sacrifice? Don't tell me they just threw people in the lake. I see the real cause of Bloodpool's poisoned water is the location of the Red Demon's Lair. Okay, let's see what they have to say about it now. My master, we've begun to use our boat for fishing. That was fast. Some time ago, while fishing on the... That's very fast. We found a magic scroll caught in our dragnet. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. So what happened to all that offering stuff? Did it just stop? Uh, we have the following to offer this year. What would you like to accept? Magical stardust. They found it in the lake. Okay. What is this magical stardust? Which item do I use? Uh, what did I do? Oh no. I think I just used my bomb. Oh. Did I just use the uh, magical stardust? I don't know what's happening now. How can people still be attacking me if there's no layers left? Everything happened so fast. Why are those people upset? Why is there a boat there? What's going on? What do I need to do? Um. Uh. Now what? Since the last month has there, something very dreadful has occurred. A monster appeared from the old castle by the lake and demanded a sacrifice. Oh, the sacrifice is still happening then. <clears throat> Please go to the old castle and save our son. Do I have to do that back in the sky, maybe? Let's just do this to make this place look a little better. I don't want all their fields to get flooded. I suppose I'm supposed to go back up to the sky and then go into the castle. I think. going to start building. Right. Uh, let's return to the Sky Palace and see if it wants me to do this. If we destroy the monsters in this area, people will no longer be scared of evil. Are you ready? Alright, are we ready for the next action stage? Here we go. Watch me fail horribly like I did last time. I'm ready. Bring it on. Dun, 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 dun. Bloodpool Act 2. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha. What evil will befoul us this time? Uh, a gargoyle that shoots fire from its eyes. That's kind of evil, I guess. It's weird playing this and not having any sort of other attack. It's so simple. But it works. And you have to remember, this was maybe a launch title, or at least a very, uh, very early game for this NES as well, so it's really impressive. Um, he's a naked baby at heart. That's, uh, that's the explanation there. I have no idea, you just suddenly inhabit 
a statue that exists in these caves already for some reason. Am I safe to go down there? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it suddenly looks like I'm playing Super Metroid for a second. That doesn't look safe. Let's go down there anyway. It was safe-ish. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Go on then, explain the metaphor. <laughs> you said it, so you got to explain what you mean. We have to make sense of this. For my quintet documentary, I need to know what they were thinking. A, ja a Japanese metaphor. Deep down, you're all naked babies. Don't forget your roots as a naked baby. And as a stone statue come to life. Maybe the stone statue is the cold heart of the grown adult. And the naked baby is the vulnerability of your child self that you forgot. There you go. That's my explanation. Ah! I'm dead. It's so meta. If it was meta, I should actually be cosplaying as the naked baby with just a, a sensor bar. You know, that's what Twitch has become these days. That would be the ultimate meta. And then if anyone asked, if Twitch tried to cancel me, I could just say, I'm just cosplaying a character from the game. You know, it's all fair. It's, or, you know, they could ask and I could just say, it's just a Japanese metaphor. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I don't like these guys. Oh. Oh my god, how did I manage to get past him? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm just going to keep running. No. Oh. Right, so now we wait. Okay, I don't like that. That was close. <clears throat> Ooh, I want I want bonuses. Gimme, give gimme. Give one up. I'm not going to risk going up there. It looked like there was something up there, but no way. How much does this look like Castlevania? Oh, I can jump over him. I didn't think there would be enough range for that. I hate these enemies. Whoa, that was close. And they take two hits as well. We have disappearing walls. Mega Razor. It's a little bit easier than Mega Man. Health. I thought this was going to be the boss room. We have some more annoying grabby hand little skeleton gargoyles. This level's long. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Uh, i got to try and figure out what to do. Let's have a drink first. Okay, bring it on, Act 3. Ow. Oh my god. Uh, 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 when am I supposed to attack him? No. 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 Uh. Oh 
Oh my god, I'm dead. I shouldn't have stood there. Okay, there was no need for that last one, was there? You're just showing off now. Oh, come on, you weren't even facing my direction. Ah, oh, no, I landed on the spikes. That's not fair. I wasn't sure where to go, though. Right, we need to remember there's a little grabby hands guy going on right here. There we go. Okay, we've got full health. Oh, there's another one. Uh, and a big one. Oh, no. There's too many. Go away. I'm trying to save my health for the boss. How dare you. Doing better already. Oh, I shouldn't be there. No, I don't want to be there. Maybe one hit. Yes. Oh, I thought I was far enough away then. Ah! Oh my God, what's going on? Why? Oh no! Ah, oh, I didn't expect that. That was too bad, Nick. I know you will never give up. Okay, let's come back there in a minute. We can try again. Let's go back here. And we can teach them about the joys of wheat. Hmm. They'll love to know this. How do I do it? Do I just choose a field? Oh, we choose a whole area. Okay. Are they happy? Let's have this as the wheat growing area. I presume it has some benefit for teaching them how to do that. Oh, I'm not looking forward to facing that wolf again. That was scary. Where is everyone? There they are. We're on nearly a thousand people. Let's see if there's some past a thousand mark. I don't want. Uh, give me some extra stuff to go back into the action stage with, too. <clears throat> 1,008. Did nothing. Next, 1,200. Okay. Let's keep going. I thought something was going to happen when I taught them what wheat is, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Come on. Go and eat some wheat on the way. Maybe you'll get even stronger or something. Why did he go that way around? How many is that now? 1,024. Where it hasn't been built on. I haven't said anything. Oh, did I run out of time? Let's try going here. We'll make a whole circle all the way around. I presume this is... Oh, I can't build there because I need to use lightning to get rid of the trees. Boom.
Now you can build there. I'm going to try and max out the population of this town and then I can... Attempt that action stage again. Hope everyone's enjoying the game so far. I know it's very, a very different kind of game with a kind of strange pace, but hopefully you're enjoying seeing what it's all about. It's a really interesting game. Come on. I'm really looking forward to checking out the next game as well, Soul Blazer. I can, uh, while well, we're waiting for these guys to build their towns, I can show you actually. Let's see, main camera. Over there somewhere. There's so much stuff in the way. Ooh. And. Well, I don't know where the other, I don't know where the other ones are because I've been clearing my room out. But while the town's being built, there you go. There's Soul Blazer. Let's take it out of this. Let's take it out of this protective cover so we can have a look at it. This is what we'll be playing next. This will be something more interesting for you guys to look at instead of uh, instead of the town being built. I'm just directing them to the last few squares. Let's open this up. I was really happy to actually get this because it's took a long time and a lot of money as well. This is in pristine condition. Look at that. This is basically the sequel to ActRaiser, the game they made next. Money, the root of all evil. Free the Freelians and make death toll pay. Oh, it's even got a poster in there as well. Look at that. I have to be careful opening this. It's like 30 years old. There we go. And on the back, it's actually got a map as well. Look at that. With a list of all the different areas in the game. I'm really excited to play this next. There's the game. The American version this time, so we'll be playing this one in 60 hertz. I don't know if it came out in the UK, actually. That's a question for anyone watching. Let's go on top down. There you go. There's the instructions. Oh, actually. I'm going to be fancy now. Look at this. Top down and front on as well. Look at the uh, artwork there. That's really nice. I should be saving this for, for when we're doing our next one. I'm just waiting for the population to go up a bit. Look at those screenshots straight out of the TV with the scan lines on it and everything. Look how good condition this is. That's immaculate. Well, anyway, that's for next time. I'm going to put that to the side. This is what we're playing today. There it is. Let's see how the town's getting on. Slowly but surely. I can go there as well, though. I need to get all the games out. I'm planning to put them all on a separate shelf as like a display piece for all my quintet collection. I know where Illusion of Time is. Right. Here we go. Here's some other ones, including some Japanese ones as well. Look how nice that is. Look at the artwork for that. That's awesome. I love that so much. And the artwork for the Japanese version of Illusion of Time is just amazing as well. Look how cool that is. I would love to get that as a wall scroll or something. 
How nice is that? And there's the English one, obviously. So I'll put that over there as well. I've got Terra Enigma somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. Anyway, let's see how the town's going on. We're nearly there, 1096. Is there actually anywhere left to build at this point? No. You like the music? Yeah, awesome music. By Yuzo Koshiro, the same person who did the soundtrack for Streets of Rage. Which you probably wouldn't guess, because it sounds very different. And Etrian Odyssey is well known for as well. Along with a whole bunch of other games. I think that's everything we can do here. For now. You have to do something I don't think you'll like. Oh. Do I have to, like, cause an earthquake or destroy other people's houses or something? Oh! Filthy bear, why are these people sad? Can you explain that for me? I really don't want to destroy people's houses, is that what I need to do? I refuse. <coughs> Oh, they're sad because of the sacrifice. Oh, because it's still happening. Yeah, technically I haven't stopped that from happening yet. <clears throat> We're nearly there. How many did it say I needed? find out in a second. 1,200! We're almost there. It will give me a little bit of a boost when I go back to fight that boss again. <coughs> I can't get over how good the artwork is for that. Look at that. You probably can't see it because of all the reflections, but so nice. So much better than what we got, which is just like a photoshopped version of Earth that says time over it. Oh, the earthquake only destroys the crappy houses. How come they're building good houses from the start here, then, and not the crappy ones, like up here? Yay! Anyway, we've leveled up now. And we made another save. Shall we go and attempt... <coughs> Attempt the action stage again, then. Let's try it. Here we go. We're going back in. Slightly more powerful. Oh, my, all, all my drinks gone. I love the background. It's almost like FMV, the way the dithering is there. That's really nice. <clears throat> ah, I didn't jump fast enough. Do they not even attack? They just sort of wander back and forth. Found a scroll. Maybe that's useful for the boss. Fight! Oh my god, that was close. I was so close to dying then. That was scary. Oh, just realised I'm out of frame. That was scary. Uh, oh yeah, there's another. Oh no, there isn't an item over there. I was thinking about somewhere else. Ow! Okay, so if I don't manage to get uh, far enough, I'll go back and use the um, Earthquake.
Hopefully it doesn't kill anyone. It's a sacrifice that has to be made in the order of progress. Close enough, there we go. Is there anything over there? Yeah. Stupid gargoyle thing, that's what's over there. And another scroll, they'll both come in handy. He was about to turn around. Oh, I hate them so much. Oh, we can just go straight past them all. That's good. They don't serve any purpose anyway. thought I was dead then. This is the one where I need to be on the on the left if I want to get the item. Was it a one-up? I can't remember what it was. Yeah it was. Nice. Whoa. Good job it doesn't matter if you fall down there. No, we have more of those annoying stretchy guys. Not just yet. Oh, that's what they do. Ah! You have to be moving to the right, else you don't have enough distance there. I remember this one. Did he just hurt himself? Right, we are nearly back. It's just at the top of these stone steps. Ah! Ah! No! I didn't even mean to do that. I just walked the wrong way. <sighs> he did hurt himself. I'm sure they usually take two hits. Ah, I'm getting impatient. Easy. Easy peasy. There is a major hidden mechanic related to the max population. Sure, tell me. I don't mind. I didn't know. That would be an uh, interesting thing to know, whether I use it or not. That's a different matter, but yeah, definitely happy for you to let me know anything about the game. No worries there. I'm not taking this super seriously or anything, I just want to have fun with it. <clears throat> Uh, great, we have to start the boss fight with some. How do I... How do I... Use... The... Things I got. Oh, I don't want to say that. Oh, something's happening on Twitch, but I'm too scared to look. Ah! Okay, he can't use his lightning if he's on the floor. Can you use it there? Yes. That's a good spot! Stay there! Do it again, do it again! Nice. Ah! Oh no, now, now he's going to turn to a wolf. Right, let's see what happened first. Um, VR bug followed me, thank you. I finally figured out what it was trying to tell me. Because if I miss it on OBS I have to go and look on the dashboard. But thank you so much VR bug. Really appreciate it. Everyone's been so nice this stream, it's great. Uh, uh, go away, go away, leave me alone. Uh. No! 
<gasps> Keep going. Yes, I did it. Wow. I really didn't know what to do there, so that's very lucky. Wait, the score in the action section correlates with the area's max population. What? Can you go back and do a... Can you go back into the action stages and do them again? I honestly had no idea that the scores in the action stages meant anything. That's, uh, that's cool. You can't! Oh my god. So I'm doomed then. I, do, I really didn't do well in the last action stage. I'll show you my scores and you can tell me if they're any good or not. My master, we no longer have monsters here in Bloodpool. Thank you so much. My son Teddy has returned from the old castle carrying a precious scroll. Teddy's really been through the wars on this one. Um, please accept our offering. Thank you very much for taking care of us. Now we can look after ourselves. Please help make other lands peaceful as Bloodpool. That's been one crazy storyline. Now they've got, like, swords crossing. Uh, I know it's unexpected, but the people in Bloodpool have something to tell you. Again. Well, we saw Teddy earlier. He came out of a cave, and I had to throw some bread at him, and then he got all weird and ran back to his parents. And then the whole village did some sort of straw-pulling thing, and he got picked to be a sacrifice. So that he went back off to the castle to be thrown into the pool of blood. And then I saved him from that as well, so... I hope whatever he's given me is, is worth all the effort that I went through for him. Um, please hear our plea. Some people are becoming bitter and selfish. We have so many quarrels and fights. I'm afraid I worked them too hard in building our town and now I've caused them too much stress. My master, do you have anything that will calm down the people? Let me introduce you to... Alcohol. No way, that probably won't help. <laughs> what can I do? Let's see what they were offering me first. We have the following to offer you this year. What would you like to accept? The source of the magic. And some wheat. I guess I'll take their wheat as well. Try some cannabis. That was my other option. I will swap the wheat for weed. There you go. Or, maybe I could introduce them to video games. Oh, well, I don't think they have electricity just yet. Why are they still upset? I can give them wheat. Have some wheat. I can't give them wheat because it's not a field. Okay. I think they're already growing wheat anyway. What do they want from me? Let us listen. Listen to the people. My master, it sounds strange, but here I play, our people are becoming bitter and selfish. I haven't got anything. I can just make them work more. Maybe that's all they need. More work to make them forget their troubles. Sorry, I missed your chat there, VR bug. Um, you love VR, but also love everything retro. And you got a Miu Mini. Have you seen my video on the Miu Mini? About how to get it set up and some of the cool things that it can do. I really like VR as well. Maybe I should try doing a VR stream in the future. I've got a few different headsets. And they're all gathering dust at the minute as well, so any excuse to boot them back up again would be good. What are some of your favourite VR games? Maybe there's nothing else I can do here for now. Let's just clear out this marshland so everything's flat. They don't want to work. Maybe we have to go somewhere else. I wonder what that means. Slow stop. Stop because I'm not building anything. Got on your OS and Pico 8. Awesome. A roguelike shooter. 
Uh, is that the, like, really retro one with, like, really, really colourful graphics? I think I might have already played it. Do we move on? Let's move on. Let's try the next area. Here we go. Dun, 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 now it looks like Super Star Wars. It's going to be a giant worm that comes out of the ground. There almost is a giant worm that comes out of the ground. Ah, uh, what is this? Mario 3? Oh, oh, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Ah, let me out! It is Mario 3. A more intense and awkward Mario 3. There we go. We're safe. Haha! <laughs> I was wondering whether I could do that. That was good. And full health as well. That was worth cheating. Good job they're not taking up more damage. Not they're not taking off so much damage, should I say? Do we go in or down? Let's go in. More carnage, higher score. Oh, am I supposed to be killing everything? Yeah, I guess so. If I want the population to grow. Ah! Okay, from now on I'll try and kill everything. Whoa, I didn't even see that. I can't believe I didn't know that the score affects the population. That's something the game should probably tell you up front. Unless it did and I just... Is there something over there? There is. So much opportunity for carnage. I'm gonna die. Where am I supposed to go? Ooh, can I get over there? More souls to feed the keep. I'm not going to risk that. Ah, that makes sense. At least there's some... Where is the platform? Let me go down and measure it. It is... Almost directly underneath it. Uh, how do I get down there? Oh my god. Now what? Oh, I can just go that way. I'm probably missing loads of stuff up here. Oh my god, I just noticed my health. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my, how am I still alive? How the hell am I still alive? There we go. I was just waiting for that to happen. Right, what happens to my score? It is 5,600. Does that go back down when I die? Or is it actually advantageous to die a few times? Ooh, I didn't come all the way up here last time. 
what does the score, what does that thing do? And what did the flag do? Score transfers over between lives. So actually, you want to try and get to the end with one life left then, I guess, if you want to try and max everything out. Not that I'm going to try and do that. But if you want to try and completely 100% everything, that's probably the best way to play, maybe. That would be annoying if you were trying to do a speed run and 100% the game. Two at once, that should give me extra points. Right, I know I can make this jump. Oh my god, you have to be pixel perfect there. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't find out what the jump button, what the uh, magic button was. I might have a look in the instructions, actually. Let's actually make use of them, because I've got them right here. Let's see. Let's do this. Action mode. Selecting this item will determine the magic spell to use during battles. Various spells can be obtained. So before we go in, you actually have to select the magic that you want to use in the action stage. And there's four different types of magic. We've got magical fire, magical dust, magical aura. Um, A or X allows you to use a magic spell. And up on the D-pad at the same time. There you go. And I think that's all there is to know about it. So if I die again, I'll go back and attempt to use some magic. I've been doing okay without it so far. I didn't realise you had to actually select what magic you wanted to use ahead of time. So it is up an X when I do get it. Uh, here we go, time for the boss. Oh my god. Ah, I don't like that. Uh, jump! Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. <sighs> oh. I think I'm going to need to come back with magic. Oh my god. How are you supposed to do anything there? <clears throat> How many lives have I got? Three. How did I forget about you? You could technically just get unlimited points because each level has a one-up station somewhere, so it's a little bit of a weird design oversight. Look at all that magic I've got that I can't use. Why would the game not explain that to you? I'm not even scared anymore doing that jump. Oh, I thought he threw straight ahead. Heal me. Uh, you should be fine on score as long as you get about 10 to 12k per level. Just tank the hits, really? You mean like that? No way, it's not enough. 
I don't know how you're supposed to jump over them because you're constantly falling down. No. There's no way you can just tank the hits and get through that. We have to be methodical, that's what the game wants. Look at all those magic scrolls. That's ridiculous. I suppose I don't need to go up here. That seems like a bad idea. Oh my god, come on! Let me hit him. I never struggled before. Alright, let's do it! Let's tank the hits! Here we go! Oh, maybe that's the safer way to do it. <gasps> maybe we can do this. Uh, if they didn't stay on the floor. Uh, I bet if I kept doing it like that and jumped over to the other side and timed it right, we could do it. Okay, I'm not going to get the one up this time. Let's just do it normally. And then if we do end up dying... Um, that's just a good excuse to go back and get the magic. It's my own stupid fault for not realising that I had to equip the magic in the first place. Okay, leap of faith! Wow, that was better than last time. Ooh, that was a bit... Close. Nice, we're speed running this. Look at me go. Let's do this. Uh, I haven't got this down yet. Oh my god, this is impossible. Yeah, the better you are, the worse the population will be. It doesn't make sense why they made it like that. It should give you a time bonus instead of relying on the score. And then it could just say, you managed to get through it faster, so... Uh, people make more babies. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. We got a whole row of spell slots. Good job I picked that up after I got hit, not before. Whoa, I completely skipped that whole section out. Nice. I don't even need it. I wonder whether I can... No, oh, I can't get back over. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Oh, I was actually doing really well then. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Select magic. Okay. All right, let's try it. Let's see what this does. I can't believe how close I was then. I was doing really well. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's try again. Wow, we've been playing for nearly three hours at this point. We don't get to keep all the spell slots. Uh, I suppose I should try and kill it for the sake of the population. Not you though, you can just stay there. Oh no, I missed my chance to get them then. struggling so much to hit that. Managed to hit him from behind. I haven't seen that happen before. Pick Mitt. Hello, first time chat. How are you doing? And how did you find the stream if this is your first time watching? Where have you come from? Did you find it on Twitch? Or did you come from YouTube? Or somewhere else? Okay. We're back. And this time, I've actually got magic with me, which I never had before, so let's see how this works. Whoa, okay. That's uh, very effective. Although I feel like I should die because I haven't killed that many people yet, so. Even though... Even though, even though I've got the magic, I'm waiting, I'm going back, I'm getting my score up to 10,000 first, because I'm not going to let the population suffer because I'm too good at the game. I'm going to come back. Yeah, I was amazed at just how much was flying out then, that's crazy. And it stunned the boss. I really want to see whether I can do it without magic, though, because I, I think I was getting better at it each time. I'm trying to work out how many points killing a 
enemy gives you a hundred. Is it? Is this where the extra one up is? Yeah, here. Yeah. Right. Let's try and do this jump again. Yeah, <laughs> on the last pixel. That's crazy. Go. Must have a very wide hitbox. Don't let pride hold you back. Uh, uh, Pick, Pick Mitt found me on YouTube. You've already been watching for a long time. That's awesome. If YouTube wasn't so weird about how the algorithm treats live streams, I would probably stream over there as well, but... It's, uh, yeah, it really messes with all the stats in the background and everything goes wrong, so I'm just keeping the two separate. <clears throat> but I upload the gameplay onto my gameplay channel, so I guess it's kind of on YouTube in a way. Whoa, what's happened? We've got a follow. Oh, Filthy Bear, thank you. Hopefully you can join me uh, next week then when we're playing some more Actraiser. Thank you so much. It's been great to talk with you tonight as well. I'm just going to abuse this power. I might still die before I even... I want to kill him with my own hand. Yes. There we go. Da -da -da -da, we did it! I didn't get 10,000 points though. Oh no. You like my content? Thank you. I put a lot of time and effort into it, so it's good to know that it's appreciated. <clears throat> I've got a really interesting video coming out uh, on Friday, hopefully. I can give you a sneak peek in a minute if you want. I've got it on the table behind me. Let's see what these guys have to say first, as we've just arrived in a new area. Sir Nick, Cassandora may have become a land where people can live in peace. All right, my master, let us work towards peace. I know it's unexpected, but our people at Cassandora have something to tell you. I got 13 for the time bonus, yay. Uh, my master, this is Cassandora, a desert town. Please send rain to wash the sands so we may cultivate the fields. Right. Before we do that, let me show you, uh, how do I do it, that one, there we go. Let me show you a sneak peek of Friday's video. I think some of you will find this really interesting. First of all, here's the box for it. It is Nintendo's first ever home video game console, TV Game 6. And the system itself... Here it is. It's basically a Pong clone, but it's a two-player only kind of thing. And I uh, managed to convince my girlfriend to uh, play it with me the other day to capture some footage. Such a cool design though, isn't it? Look at that. And it's got loads of different switches for all the different settings in the game. So like changing the size of the paddle and changing the speed of the ball and the bounce and things. Really, really cool. Oh yeah, also, it's so old as a electronics thing, it doesn't even have a plug socket. Instead, if I open this up, it takes six D batteries. This is crazy. I don't know how long they last, but I should probably take them out. Did I let her win? Um, no, actually I won, so minus some boyfriend points for that. Didn't get 10,000 on that one, did I? But it was fun, and it has a really weird connector. Look, look how old it is. Look at that. Look at this cable. It won't focus, but... Yeah. Look at that. Look at the end of it. If I can hide my face. There you go. And then the uh, the wire is just like 
a mess of wire at the end that you have to try and roll up into it. It's crazy. And there's a really interesting history behind it as well. It was actually developed by Mitsubishi and not actually Nintendo. So I'm going to go into that in the video as well and a bit about how they came to develop things. So I hope you're looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, I'll go into that in the video as well. The life before coaxial, which is already a really bad input, but whatever. It's fun, and it's a really cool piece of history. <clears throat> you recently convinced your daughter to play Outlaw with, the, with you on the Atari 2600. Awesome. Goes to show that some games, you know, are still fun to play. They still hold up. Uh, right, what do I need to do here? I need to send rain. Yeah, let's send some rain. They can already start growing this way, though. Let's go into the desert. It's like we've just discovered Australia. There's a, a lair just down there. We can go over there. And it looks like there's one right there in the middle of the desert, actually, so maybe we should focus on that one first. Let's send some more rain. Let's go up here. Oh yeah, the only problem with this thing that I'm showing on Friday is the fact that because of our weird PAL TV signals being different to the Japanese standard, although it's supposed to be in colour, I could only get it to display in black and white, so... Not that it really matters for Pong anyway, but it's just a shame I couldn't really show how it was properly designed to look. But never mind. Uh, I know it's unexpected, but our people have something to say. What do they have to say to me? My master, some of our people ventured into the vast desert and lost their way. Please lead them to us. Okay. I can see him. He's over there. And he's collapsed. Oh no. Let's go up here into the sand. I need to make it start raining again. Come on, let's go. I wish it didn't give you the entire explanation every time. Alright, we can seal off the first portal. There we go. And then we can send another group down here, I guess. Gonna go for a smoke break. No worries. Thanks for sticking around. I know this bit's not the most exciting part of the game. They didn't design this game with streamers in mind. What was that explosion? Was that the thing being sailed away? They got something to tell me. It appears someone has found something in the monster's lair. We have found a strange bow and some arrows. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. I will gladly accept the strange bow. Maybe I should use it now, I guess. While there's more things around. Oh. Do I need to... Uh, ask them to give it me first? Strength of the Angel. This one's the most repetitive. Yeah, there's a lot of just drying up the sand, I guess. Or wetting up the sand. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, 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 I want to send rain. That's the most annoying thing, is having to read that over and over and over. Sends more rain.
Finally, they're getting to work. I wonder why that one's grayed out. Does it need rain? I'm going to take out this other thing down here first. Then we can worry about the guys lost in the desert. They can wait. Oh, maybe I shouldn't take them out because we need the uh, SP in order to create the rain. So I guess we have to go and rescue these guys first. Oh my god, there's so much. Why isn't there an option just to make a flash flood and wash it all away in one go? Should put it on them first in case they're like dehydrating or something. Nope, they're still dead. Go, little guys. The angel's power is no more. No, it takes four hits again. That's a lot. the angel's power. Let's keep going over. We've got to go and rescue those people. I like the red one though, you can just stand in a line and just keep firing up at it. Here we go, finally they're getting rescued. Sir Nick! I know it's unexpected. It's really not unexpected. I went there on purpose to hear what you have to say. Thank you for leading us to them. Sadly, life has already left the missing man when we arrived. We planned to bury him near the shrine. The missing man was found holding a strange scroll in his hand. My master, we present this to you as an offering. And... Something else is happening too. We've got some gloomy music playing. Ba, 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 ba. Cassandra. Cassandora is the birthplace of the marvellous art form music. Wow! Music has been discovered! I composed this music for the man who lost his life in the desert. Music has mysterious powers. By listening, people can calm their hearts and soothe their pains. My master, we present to you we present you with the music as this year's offering. Thank you. Now we have something else to listen to. It took that long to discover music. I'm pretty sure that music was discovered before bridges were invented. What is this game's weird timeline?
And where do we want to rain? Let's go here, then we can go and take that one out at the top. Ah! No! My musical town! see how happy they are. Can you just leave them alone for a minute? I know you're there. No, stop! Let's go. That's going to seal them off. That's one more down. Are you going to find something for me? Right, let's see what they found. My masters, we found a strange statue. We present to you an offering. Please accept it. A strange statue. Let's see. Which of our offerings will you accept? The source of magic? Uh, harmonious music or a bomb? Let's accept everything! We got another magic point. We've discovered the art of music. And a bomb as well. Why not? Music and bombs go hand in hand, obviously. Hold this aloft and all the monsters will be destroyed. There we go. We've accepted all of their very generous gifts. I wish you didn't have to watch that every time. That's one of the most frustrating things. Let's find out where the lair is and work down from there. Look at that. It's like the Nazca lines from Illusion of Time. And the real world. Mass Gask, hello. You thought that Actraiser was a side-scroller? I thought it was most well known for this town building stuff. Maybe you're thinking of Actraiser 2, because that one is just a side scroller. Alright, we can take this one out if we just put some rain on this section in a second, let them grow their village there. This is probably the least interesting of the town building areas so far though. It's just a lot of getting rid of sand. So, the idea with these town sections... Oh, they want to give me something. The tremendous A tremendous rain fell on the northern desert, revealing a pyramid. We sense an evil presence exuding from it. We will be investigating the matter. We will let you know when our investigation uncovers. Oh, it's right there. Okay. How did I not see that? Sir Nick, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Cassandora have something to tell you. Ruins have a mysterious attraction. One of our people was attracted by the mysterious powers of the pyramid. However, there is something wrong with the pyramid. Those who went in to investigate the pyramid have not come back. Oh no. Do you want me to go there? Can we build onto it? Let's see what happens. They're still happily singing down here, completely oblivious to the dangers of the pyramid of death just on the other side of the desert. Are they coming round? They're going to go- Oh my god, what's that? They're all going to die. Uh, do they not care? Apparently they just don't care. Oh, I just completely hit that one off the top of the screen. There we go, now he's sealed away. What are we going to get for this one? Civilization's improved. Yay. Uh, let's go up to the Sky Palace then. And, um, see whether... No more monsters exist. Okay, we can't go into the pyramid just yet then. 1,500, we go to the next level. Yeah. 
Oh, actually, before that, if we go back to Bloodpool, we can um, go and teach them about music. They'll be happy about that. We can... Uh, here we go. Can't you tell what the man was feeling when he wrote this music? Sir Nick, this music will calm people's hearts and help eliminate quarrels. There we go, it stopped him from fighting. Let's see what they have to say about that. My master, Bloodpool has extended its borders to the far reaches of the ocean. With the man's invention of a device known as a compass, our navigational ability have imp has improved tremendously. We present this compass to you as an offering. Please accept it. Cool. Congratulations, you're improving. We have the following to offer you this year. We have a compass and we have some more weight. This great invention will always tell you the direction of your travels. This also enables people to navigate the open seas for fishing. Will you take another offering? Uh, no, you can keep that. So... Who do I give the compass to? Are these guys happy now? Will they continue building? Under construction, again. What time is it? I'm only going to play for like another 10 minutes because then it'll be 11 o'clock here. And unfortunately I have work tomorrow morning so I need to get up early. But I've, I've really, really enjoyed playing this. I'm so happy that I finally found the time to play it. I've been having such a great time. Let's see if we can get this over 1,500. Almost. Let's keep going a little bit more. There's the space. Let's build over the river. Put that bridge technique to good use. Let's see what that gets it up to. Maybe 1,500. Have we done it? Yeah, congratulations, levels increased. Now we need to get to 1,700. I should probably go back and finish off the desert area. Let's leave them to build. Oh, wrong button. Sky Palace movement. Shall we see what's going on here? Shall we introduce them to the world of music as well? Oh, I know what else I need to do here. I feel so bad for doing this. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wow. There's a oh my god! I didn't expect it to destroy that much. Oh no. I'm so sorry, everyone! People definitely died there. Ugh. Oh man, I didn't know that would happen. That's painful. Oh, you're back to see me commit genocide. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. I mean, you ran out of room, so, you know. Can't be helped. Oh. That's so sad. <laughs> Bomberman cluster bomb. Pretty much. Now they get to build these nice fancy purple roofs. I bet they wanted to do that for a while. Now we've killed everyone, shall we introduce them to the joys of music? Oh, we can't. We can, uh, we can tell them about a compass, though. I have changed my mind. Let's see if they have anything to offer me after I just destroyed most of their population. Magical fire. The lightning bolt you just sent smashed a huge rock. We found a magical fire spell underneath. Oh, I didn't pick this up earlier. The spell must belong to you, my master. Please accept it as an offering. 
I'm not sure what the point of taking their wheat is. Uh, there we go, we got a bomb as well. I could set off a bomb after I'd already set off uh, an earthquake. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, they cleaned up fast at least. Actually, is that some space at the top that I haven't built in? Let's see. They haven't made many fields, have they? Oh, I guess it was just empty land. Although they basically need to build everywhere. I kind of wanted to find the other Quintet games to show you guys before this stream ends, but I don't know where I've put them. Mm, never mind, I'll find them for next time. Should we leave them? Loads of purple roofs everywhere, though. No? Let's go back here and get rid of the rest of the sand. I should go and take that out now, I guess. Where am I starting from? Oh, all the way up here. Oh yeah, that pyramid, I don't think I can do anything with that pyramid just yet. Hey, I didn't get far enough. There's nothing to do there. Let's see what happens if they go to a space that's already been built on. Where are they going? Oh, I guess they just go anywhere. Fair enough. They built some tents around the pyramid. Let's send them the right way. They want to live beside the pyramids, but the pyramids are evil. They already told me that. They're sending themselves to their own doom. What's going to happen first? Am I allowed to move or is an enemy going to come out? They come out at the same time. for them to go there first. Let's see how Pyramid Land's coming on. Is there no other bases? I guess not. That guy wants to go and live by the pyramids. Almost. That's probably a safer distance. Oh, he's building a farm. Now we can go. Why are they building tents over here as well? Okay, let's see all the way. What about if I accidentally shot the guy doing the ritual now? Yay! Let's see what they're going to give me this time. Our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Okay, what do they want to tell me? That pyramid has been enticing us. Those who went to investigate the pyramids have not returned. When we sealed the final monster's lair, the pyramid revealed its true purpose. The pyramid is the main monster's lair! Oh my god. Surprise. Oh master, please come down and seal the evil pyramid. Oh no, they're so upset. Look at their bouncing, upset purple faces. But the pyramid hasn't done anything yet. But they know it's evil. Oh, these are new houses. They're like Greek style house cottage things. I'm not actually going to attempt the action stage today because I've only got like five minutes left. So I guess uh, for the rest of that time, we can just use the rain clouds to clear out all the rest of this area. Oh, 
Oh, I suppose I'm also supposed to use the rain codes on the fields. Yeah. But he's still unhappy. How ungrateful. They're just dancing. Get to work. <clears throat> Let's make them busy. We can go here. Still interested in the pyramids. Yeah, you were right about this one being really slow paced. Hey, there's a dog over there, look. And that's really interesting but we get to go over there let's go in the back are they just upset because uh oh sorry i didn't get there yet maybe they're just upset because the pyramid's been stealing people I'm surprised I haven't run out of SP. This is uh, lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. We know he's done. We've only got four squares left. No one wants to build anything. They're all upset. Oh, if I run out. Oh no. How do I get SP if there's no more monsters to kill? Okay, I get some for the town being built as well, that makes sense. Else you would completely lock yourself out from being able to do anything. It is 11 o'clock now, but I'm going to keep going for a little bit just to clear the rest of this area up so I don't have to do it next time. I'm just skipping the same bit of text over and over again. Uh, I need 20 SP, I know. Do you like the new song or do you prefer the old one? This one's very somber. Try and see what happens when you get to the dog. <clears throat> oh, I've only got eight. Oh no. Gotta read this again. I like this song. Kind of feels like Middle Ages, kind of medieval vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, go and find the dog. Hopefully we can introduce you to the concept of having pets. That'll be fun. Come on, stop standing there, there's a dog waiting for you. Come on, go pet him. Whoa, where are they going? What the? Where's that guy going? I'm following this guy, he's very confused. Is he drunk? Come on, where's the dog? He's moved! Don't run away. I will develop on you. There we go, he's on the path now. Are they going to discover the dog? They're all back there again. Where's the drunk guy? He's gone. Why are they upset? They're still upset because their friends got eaten by the pyramid monster. Where's the dog? Maybe you can't keep the dog until the whole place is filled up. Congratulations, levels increased. Yay. Oh, he's over there now. I'm determined to see this dog before we end the stream. We can fill this place up, and then we can destroy it with an earthquake, if needs be. There's literally nothing else to do at this point. I can fill out the bottom bit, and the sides. They're growing some tomatoes or something around here. I haven't introduced them to the joys of wheat, have I? Let's see if I've got any that I can show you. Whoops, wrong button. Have some wheat, you'll love it. I don't know what benefit it has, but have some weight, it might show you up. I really don't know what it does. But hey, weight exists, though. No? Cool. Are you going to find the dog this time? Guys, come on. There's a pet waiting for you right there. Again, someone was drunk, wandering off into nowhere. Hey guys, he was over here. Oh. Now he's there. He's gonna get trapped soon. There's no escape. I hope you can actually get the dog and this isn't just a fool's errand. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Come on. He's gonna end up in one of these two squares next. There was trapped. And <laughs> it might end up building a house around him or something. Town under construction. Come on. Where is he going to pop up next? There he is. You know where we're going next. There's no escape. What do these guys do? They just stand there looking busy. Oh. One guy got sent out on his own to build an entire field. That's not fair. We're so close. We can do it. I wish there was a way to fast forward this bit. Come on! Oh, they just don't want to work anymore. Okay. Well, I guess we'll leave it there for tonight. Maybe we can get the dog next time. 
Finished recording. You've worked so hard today, let us rest now. It's been an exhausting day. It actually has. A short rest will result in a splendid world tomorrow. That's a nice note to go to bed on, isn't it? Hello everyone, welcome back to more Axe Razor. There we go, hopefully you can all see me and hear me okay. Hopefully everyone's doing well today. And most importantly, welcome back, Sir Nick. Did you get sufficient rest? I did, it's been an entire week. I am rested, well rested, and ready for more Act Razor. I'll just put my phone over there out of the way so I don't get distracted. With each new day, we must renew our effort to create a peaceful world for our people and their master. Here we go! I'm excited to get back into this. Where are we going? What have we been up to since last time? Are we going back here? I probably should have watched the last stream before we carried on playing, because I do not remember uh, what we're actually doing. The people in Cassandora have something to tell us. Maybe that will point us in the right direction. Skittles is fast asleep on the floor down there. Just want to see him before we start playing. Everyone say hi to Skittles. That's not him. That's his toy. Ugh, the chair's in the way. There he is. There he is, fast asleep. And he's even got his little rucksack on because he was out posting things with us earlier. How cute. Say hi to Skittles, everyone. And I'm going to try and connect that back. And, uh, oh no, it's happened again. Let me just restart. I think I lost signal there. Well, it's alright. No one's joined anyway yet. So, all is good. And I'm not even sure whether it's working over on YouTube. Is anyone there on the uh, YouTube side because the dashboard won't load for some reason? But I think it's fine on Twitch. Yeah, YouTube is just spinning around in circles. So who knows what's actually going on with that. Anyway, let's start playing, shall we? And we are recording gameplay as well. Good. Right, let's see what the people of Casadora had to say to us. That pyramid does. Oh, that's right, yeah, they were losing people to the pyramids, weren't they? That pyramid has been enticing us. Those who went to investigate the pyramid have not returned. When we sealed the final monster's lair, the pyramid revealed its true purpose. The pyramid is the main monster's lair. Oh, master, please come down and seal the evil pyramid. Oh no, everyone's so sad. So, actually, to seal the pyramid, I have to first go back up into the sky, which is a bit unintuitive. But yeah, first of all, I have to go back up into the sky, and then we have to go and fight monsters. Let's do it! So the people of Casadora are no longer afraid. Here we go. Into the first action stage of the evening. I'm excited and a little bit scared. Dun 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 dun! Here we go. Cassandora, Act 2. And, uh... From this point on in the game, I really don't have much of a recollection as to what uh, what to expect. It kind of reminds me of the uh, pyramid level in Sparkster. The enemies seem quite weak, which is nice. Oh, and you can actually get rid of the arrows as well. That's good to know. And... I need to remember that I've also got magic, which I completely forgot about on the first uh, time playing through in the in the first part of the desert levels. Whoa! Okay, calm down. I don't want to waste all the magic straight away. There we go. Feel 
feels like uh, a kind of really basic Sonic level. Whoa, what a weird scorpion slash robot monster. Ooh, items. Give me items. I don't know what it is. What does that do? I forgot what that does. Can anyone remind me what that item does? Where are we going? Ah, no! Is that a dead end? Yes, I thought it might be. I'm very much dead. I saw that thing moving up the side of the screen on the stream and I thought it was an emoji for a second. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! Such weird, weird music. Oh my god! I'm doing horribly. I hate the fact that you can't steer in the air either. Is this gonna come down to me? Yep. Is he gonna come down as well? Yes, there we go. We have officially got slightly further and I can't get back up there. Ah, oh, and I missed a one-up as well. That sucks. I really thought there'd be a secret behind that wall for some reason. Maybe because the floor keeps going. Uh, why is the jumping so awkward? Why is there no double jump? Uh, I'm too used to modern conveniences like that. Am I supposed... Whoa, I didn't even know there was anything there. Yes, give me the apple. This is a checkpoint because we've gone through into a new screen. Oh, I hate these enemies. Uh, oh no, the explosions cause damage too. I've got to time it to jump like that then, I guess. Oh, oh I didn't think that one was going to drop. Sorry, I'm making some weird noises tonight. More Labyrinth Zone style. What came out first, actually? I think maybe Actraiser came out before Sonic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this came out before Sonic. Can anyone confirm that? Oh, have I not got any magic spells? I thought I accidentally used one then, and uh, and then nothing happened, but it... Oh no, I have. Maybe I just pressed the wrong button. Oh. Where is everyone today? Ah! How did that kill me? Can I just keep running? Okay, I can't get past this guy. Oh, we lost signal for a second. Good job it didn't happen at a bad mo moment. to jump on that straight away, that's better. Where are we going? Oh no.
Whoa, okay. They've evolved. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ah. Oh my god, how are you supposed to get out of the way? Whoa, 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 that nearly killed him all in one go? Oh my god, I just need to do that again. What the hell, this magic makes the game way too easy. Let's try again. I couldn't believe how easy that was. Oh, we have to start all the way from the beginning, even though I was only one point off killing the boss. Oh well. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe we can find out how to dodge those annoying long range enemies better. And it's kind of weird that there's only one of that other red enemy that shot the energy beams. You'd think they would want to use it more than just once. There we go. You just have to wiggle around a little bit. I'm just going to check that it's actually working on YouTube, because I really can't see anything on the dashboard. And I kind of want it to work in the future. Like Even if no one watches for now, I'll still do it every single week. And eventually I hope that people will um, come over to YouTube, so bear with me one second. Yeah, it does say it does say that I'm live. But I guess no one really knows about the gameplay channel. I'll check that it's working on Twitch as well. Uh, yeah, seems good. Maybe everyone's watching GDQ. Missed it again. There was another platform that goes down there. Shall we see where it goes? What? It was a trick! I can't believe I fell for it. God damn it. Whoa, that was a good jump. Wow, I've made it all the way there without even taking any damage. I didn't even need that apple. Managed to dodge him. It's a shame you can't really use a shield at all. 
That might made it made the combat a little bit more interesting. Oh, I'm sure that happened last time as well. Are we nearly back at the boss? Oh no, I jumped too soon again. Ah, uh, I hate that. That was a nice dodge. That's the first time I've managed to do that properly. Oh, that was close. There we go. I got the timing down on them now. Perfect. to time the jump properly. Where is it? There it is. Wait for it to come back up. Yay, that's much better. Okay, now we're nearly back at the boss. Oh my god, don't make me fall down there. How do oh, oh, okay. Can I just ignore him? Ha! Huh. I can! Now watch this. Oh no, that didn't work! The first time I did that I only had to use one and it took me all the way to the end of that fight. Alright then, let's go back again. May luck be with me. Here we go. Oh yeah, I need to remember that you are... The more enemies that you kill, the higher the population can be. I don't know whether that's true for the end and the start levels. But I was told in the last stream that it's a good idea to kill as many enemies as you can. So we'll... Oh, I was going to say we'll try doing that, but I just ignored a whole bunch of them. I wonder whether there's a shortcut there as well. Come closer. There we go. Nice backwards jump down the wall. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, now he made all that in one go. Come on, I can't move! Ah. I hate this area. This definitely is the worst section of this level. Luckily, there's health. I could probably do all that in one go. Back again. Don't fall on the spikes. <sighs> nice jump. Ah, almost got it. At least we get to refill our health. And then wait for this guy to jump over us. If he's going to, there we go. Then we can just ignore him again. Let's go! Now, what is the best course of action with this? Maybe it's better to do that, just keep jumping backwards at the end. And now, now use it. Come on! That seems good. Just do that a few times. Wow, and I jumped over that without even noticing it. Excellent. That is how you're supposed to do the fight. Yes! Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to celebrate with a mini egg. That's what I get for finishing the level. They have something to tell me. What could it be? Thank you, my master, for sealing the Evil Pyramid. The man who was lost and died in the desert was probably enticed by the pyramid's magic power. Thank you so much for taking care of us. We can now look after ourselves. Please help other lands become as peaceful as Casadora. Excuse me, crunching for a second. Oh no. They were living nice, peaceful, prosperous lives and then that happened. Do I have herbs? No. I could give them a bomb instead. I guess for now, that's it there. Um, where are we going, up or down? Let's go here next. I don't know how many areas there are. Three more, maybe? Oh yeah, we have to go into another battle. I'm ready! I don't know whether this is the right place to go next, but I'm ready! Bring it on! Here we go, next action stage. We've got those weird guys again. And some traps as well. In this Shinobi inspired level. Whoa, that's some nice background. How cool does that look? 
Ah, this is the bit on the back of the box. I'm scared. Okay, I was right just to stay on it. Cool. Ah! Okay. I got a one up. Is it going to come back? Oh no. That was just lucky. Oh my god. I don't know how I managed to get that far. Let me back on. That was scary. Oh. Are we just supposed to... No! Okay, you're not supposed to jump over it either. Despite the controls being kind of clunky, you do actually have a good amount of control over where you actually land. And it might not look like that because of the way the physics are, but it's actually not that bad. I suppose there isn't time to jump back on. Oh, now I can get on. Let me on. Let me on. Ah, that was close. Oh my god. Do I just stay up here? That weird devil's trying to summon tornadoes after me. Now, I'm not sure what to do with these skulls. Because they're going to explode. Let's try that. It did nothing. Okay. You can just get rid of them if you stand close enough. Five hundred points. I didn't used to care about the points, but now I know what they're for. I feel like there's more of a reason to to want them. Ah! What is this, Donkey Kong? It's basically Donkey Kong. I can't see. Good job the bottom of the screen's not being cut off. Ooh, what did we find? Some more points. Is this the boss? Are we getting closer? Where's my watch going off? Alright. Do we go down here? That was a, a leap of faith. Now we have to scale a waterfall. Oh my god. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Whoa, okay, full heal, nice. I want to see a speedrun of Actraiser. I'm sure it's been at GDQ one year, right? That would be really interesting. Oh my god, no. Can I try using the... Oh my god, that barely did anything. Come on, it's not even hitting him. Yeah, oh my god, you can only hit the head. Whoa, slow down. Ah! This fight's going to be impossible. Now I've lost all my magic.
I feel like that might be something more important in this one. Ooh. Oh, nice. That will help a lot. Let's see if this is any better. Oh my god. I feel like I've hardly got any control over where I go on these platforms. Right, I'm definitely going to aim for that again. Lost a little bit of health, but let's do this. Let's take him on again. Here we go. Uh. It takes so long to turn around as well. It's hard. Okay, we got a few hits. Good, good, good. And another two. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Ah! This is really intense. Hey, thank you for the follow. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't do it by mistake. Oh no! Oh my god, we're still on the platform. Oh no! Oh, come on, I didn't see that coming. Uh, okay, we're gonna try again. I've got no magic or anything. We're gonna have to do this without anything. Otherwise, I think the level will reset after this. I don't think there's any point going down there because I can't actually get back up again. Fire sword it is. Let's go! I don't know if this is the best place to be. Probably not because it's quite open. As long as he doesn't do that too much though. Oh my god, I don't know how to avoid that. No, I got no idea how to do this. <sighs> that was too bad. Never give up though. Oh, 
Ow, ow, ow! Stop hitting me. Oh, no. Uh, trying to remember where this is in the game. This is about halfway through. I'm on my fourth area, I think. And I have got the shooting stars thing, but I want to save it for the boss. Maybe it's best just to stay on this the whole time. Look how cool that parallax sky background is, though. And this came out in, what, 89? This would have been super impressive to see back then. I'm just staying on this. Oh, come on! You took me straight into them. Three at a time. Really? Uh, you have to hit them twice. Okay, I'm gonna use it. I've only got three more though. All right, we made it. We've only got three hot, three bits of life left, and then we have to do the Donkey Kong section. Two hits. Ah, I thought that was gonna be health then. No! Oh, come on! I didn't even see that coming. Ah, uh, that's not fair. Okay, at least it started me from here. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just going for it. Stay on the left, because I know there's something down there. It wasn't health, though, unfortunately. Alright, we're back here again. The boss is just around the corner. And I've got three magic spells to use against him. We have to do the waterfall bit first. So. Uh, what do I do? I really want that. Can I come back for it, I wonder? If we stay at the top now. I can to throw that. Can I now go down here? And go across. To pick up the health. Yes, we can. Alright, we are prepared for the boss. Fully prepared. Maxed out. Got the awesome sword power. And three magic spells. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh. That's horrible. I really want to see how pros play this. This game is so difficult. I nearly fell off then. Have I missed my chance to go back up? I need to get up there. Can I reach it? Oh, nice, you can. I thought I wasn't able to get that. <sighs> All right. Whatever happens, don't fall off. Should I go back in the middle? Is it safer? No! 
It didn't hit him at all! That's it, that's all the- <laughs> that's all the magic used up! No! Ah! Now I've got to do it all without magic. Jump! No! Ah! Oh, now we've got to do it all again. Oh, this is impossible. We do have fire magic as well. I don't know whether that's any good. Uh, I couldn't believe that. Should we try the fire magic instead? Let's try again. We're going to go through all the start of the level again. Oh, I'm grumpy now. This is too much. And it doesn't seem like there's any area to get any extra magic in this level at all. Just staying on here. Oh, health. Give me, give me, give me. No, really. All right, so we see what the fire spell does. Maybe that's better, actually, for that boss. Screw you guys. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. I thought it was making a shortcut then. I don't think I could jump that far. Oh my god. I'm not going to get anywhere this whole stream, am I? I really don't care anymore. Can we make it? Oh wow, you actually can. Oh, for God's sake. Make it into a pit of despair. My speedrunning techniques. Ah, <laughs> oh, same pit again. <laughs> How do people play this game? I can't get anywhere. Oh, that worked at the wrong time. 
What? Now he's just not even going to bother me. I still have to wait here, though. Okay, we've reached the halfway point. Oh, I managed to get through this bit pretty easy. Whatever, 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 just stay on the left. Ready for the waterfall bit again? I don't know why they just fly away from you. Whoa, 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 that went a bit far. No, we learnt that you can actually just drop down here. And... Uh, not do that. Oh, I forgot about the guy up there too. Well, I think we were still slightly better off. Alright, now we have the flame sword. Alright. <sighs> do we go? Oh, and the dogs farted in here. My god, it stinks. Oh, oh man. I'm not going to move the camera again because I had to reset the system last time, but... Oh, I shouldn't have let him stay with me. Uh, okay, go on this platform. Yeah, the new fire attack's pretty good. I've only got one more use. No. Oh my god, I can't face the right direction here. Oh, doing too bad. Ooh. Oh, I nearly got another hit in there. Oh my god, I've got no idea where to expect him from. Oh, now I've got no magic left again. I really have no idea how you're supposed to get past this boss. This is insane. Hey, Retro Jim Tendo, you haven't missed much. I've literally been on this stage the whole time. I can't get past this boss fight. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, we can stay at the top this time because we've got full health at least. Get the flame sword power. Ready for the boss again. I don't know where the best place to stand is. I think it's here. Because you've got a few different places that you can... ...try and dodge from, maybe? Ah! Oh no! This, uh, it just moves too fast. Hey, thank you. I need it. Oh, damn it. I'm really, really struggling on this boss. Oh, how are you doing? You haven't died yet, have you? No. Okay. It's just me that's doing all the dying. Anyone who's watching, please, please give me some help. Any tips? Oh, I'm oh, literally just going to be stuck on this level all night. Am I missing a way to get magic? Because I haven't got any magic spells at all. Is it better to stay on this first platform instead? Maybe jump between these two? There must be a safe spot somewhere.
Ow, ow, ow. That's not it. There's nowhere to go! Uh... Alright, and we're back to the start again. Oh my god! I really don't know what to do. I'm just getting frustrated now. Shall we look up how to do it? What's this area called? This place is called Itos. This is getting to the point where I don't even know if I want to keep playing. Let's see. Someone's uh, from 15 years ago. Going to show how to do it. How do I capture a window? Here we go. Here's how someone did it. Let's just put that there. Really low quality, but let's see. Okay, stand on the bottom platform. So it's just about knowing which edge of the platform to stand on. What? Really? Just stand on the edge of that platform the whole time? Hmm, how do you know when to swap from one side to the other though? Oh. That's because it's the American version. The PAL version as I'm shooting laser beams. It does have him shooting laser beams, why can't... Why doesn't America have that? Let's see. Okay, they just let him hit them. They're following him around, okay. Oh my god, that's... Like, up close, fighting. I don't know whether I can do that. What? They're just showing off. Let's see this one. Oh wow, in the Japanese one, you can't even destroy those skulls, apparently. Hmm. They're just staying on one platform the whole time. Made it look easy. Okay, we can try again then. Maybe. Let's just remove that. There we go. Alright, let's try again. Now we know how easy it can be. Let's go back in. Make sure we've... Uh... Oh, maybe I should save, because we did make a little bit of progress at least. Yeah, we got the fireballs. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go. Let's go, gang. There we go. Skittles has left me. I want to lean back a bit. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> wow, great start. That takes off three bits of damage. What? Just from one hit. Uh... Yes, that was close. First section down. No, I did this bit really easy last time. Is it going to come back up? Ah, why now? God damn it. That's not fair. Nothing's ever fair. No! Ah! Ready for the waterfall. Nice, we made it all the way in one piece. Now, none of the videos that I watched actually had this fight on the PAL version, so no one actually fought the boss that's as hard as I'm about to face right now, so... Off to a great start. No one had those to dodge. I wish there was a healing, a way to heal. Oh my god, he takes off so much damage in one hit as well! <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Remember, we've got full magic. Let's try again. Ah! 
I have no idea to know where he's gonna come from or how to dodge him or okay okay maybe if we stay ducked that might give us a little bit more of a chance it doesn't seem to help at all okay let's <gasps> there's less platforms as well oh I don't know how to do this I really don't know what to do oh my god I'm gonna go crazy doing this this is like the tenth time that I've attempted it now and you only really get three tries before you get reset all the way back to the start of the level again anyway, so... I might just have to give up and not get to the end of this game. Honestly, this is infuriating. Okay, deep breaths. We got a new chat there from someone over on YouTube. Hello, Ellie the IDK. How are you? Hopefully you're doing better than I am tonight. This game is killing me. I really don't know how to do this. Uh, okay. I don't even know what to attempt to do. I can't stand anywhere. I don't know what to do. For God's sake. Maybe... Keep... Oh, for God's sake, I can't even see where it's coming from! Keep trying to use the magic. Oh, screw it. That's all the magic used up. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. The only videos on the internet are just people who are like experts at it. <sighs> I can't use the star power because that just completely misses him the whole time. I managed to get through it. At uni, because I got I got it all the way up to the end of the game, somehow. Do I just suck at games now? I mean, it has been a while since I played it last. I don't think I'm that bad, am I? I don't know what the point of giving you a one-up so early on is. Ah! There's no way of dodging all that. Well, at least I've memorised all of this by now. I 
don't care if I get hit here, honestly. We're going to make it all the way back there without dying. I don't know what the point of that is. Why can't that be at the boss fight? Ow. No! Ah, uh, screw it. I'm going in. Okay, we're back. Right, I'm going to stand up for this. This is... This is... This is serious. Let's do this. There we go. You can see me. All right. Ready? Let's do this. God damn it, the first thing missed. The second one missed. That's it, all my magic's gone. I didn't get to use any of it. We're going back! We're going back! I thought I could get an early hit in then. What was he doing in the video? He was standing right on the side for some reason. Thank <laughs> you. 
How are you supposed to know where he's going to come from? There's literally not enough time to react. I'm beginning to hate Quintet. Are we even going to get past this game? <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to be so negative. We can do this. No, even if it takes us all night, we can do this. Let's grab the one up. Give us a fighting chance. Ah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid any of them. Okay, stay positive. Stay positive. It's not like I'm bad at the game. I can do most of the levels and the challenges fairly easily, I would say, at this point. We meet again. I wish I could, like, take that with me and use it against the boss. Right, we need health. <clears throat> right, now. What is the plan? I haven't got any save states, I'm playing it on the SNES. I have no choice but to go through this properly. I'm going to play everything on the original cartridges. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do! I'm running out of time. So I know I can get a few hits in here. Maybe I come back up here now? Where's he going? Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe if I jump over him there. <sighs> maybe if I jump over him there. I'm going to feel so elated when I finally beat him. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't need to come down there, did I? I wonder if there's anything else on that side. There's some extra black bombs. Is there anything there? Oh, it's just a different path. Really? Is it? Hmm, there's nothing there. I thought I'd found some extra secret area. That's a shame. Uh. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. And remember to jump again. At least it's only his head that hurt that can hurt you. If I just stay up here and play it really slow. Maybe we found a pattern that works! <laughs> I think we may have found it. scary. Ah, so close! So close, so close. This time we can do it. Oh my god, my hands are sweating. Let's try this new path. I never thought of coming down here. Works. Um, can't get up there in time though. Oh, uh, screw it. What attempt number is this, chat? Oh my god. Attempt 500, here we go. Just ignore that one. We can just ignore that one. It's going to be a slow fight, but... It works. As long as I don't overstep my boundaries there and fall off. Right, ignore this one. I suppose I could try and use the fire magic there. Hey, that actually worked as well. Wow, that actually worked quite well. Okay. Don't get carried away. Ooh, why am I taking damage? I thought I was safe. <gasps> oh, 
Only one hit left. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ah, uh, how many attempts did that take? That must have been like 20. Dun -dun 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 -dun! <laughs> the relief! Ah! Uh... Well, we did it! Oh, we did it! Ah, oh, that music! I've never felt the relief so much. That was intense. Wow. Yes! Oh my god, I feel so good now! Ah. Here we go, let's see what the people have to tell me. This great plateau, plateau, Itos, has laid uncultivated for many years. Please use the mighty power of lightning to destroy these rocks so we can begin to build our cult and cultivate the land. Alright, now we get to use lightning then. Oh, this is like the breather between the action stages. I'm so glad that's over. Whoa, what is that? Oh yeah, still need to tell them what to do. Let's go this way. I'm so glad to hear this Carmen music. Why aren't the enemies moving? That's weird. Wait, nothing's trying to attack me. What do you do? Where are you going now? Oh, oh that was scary. Now they're all coming alive. Congratulations, level up. I could have done with that before the fight. Hey Tom, did you see me attempting to kill the boss just now? Let's just say we've been streaming for an hour and a half and Basically, an hour of that was just the one boss fight. I'm so glad to be out of that now. That was hell. Literally. Although, I ended up finding a really good way of killing the boss. But, um, maybe I could have composed myself a lot better, because I was getting quite angry. Yay, there we go. We can seal off the first demon... Demon's Lair, whatever you want to call them. Ooh, what did they find? We found a strange statue we present it to you as an offering. I know it's unexpected, but our people in Itos have something to tell you. Oh, Master, my husband suffered serious injuries while sealing the monster's lair, so I alone must continue building the uh, continue the building of Itos for a while. What? Was it literally just the two of you building the entire town? That doesn't sound right. I think they're coming from there. Let's see what's underneath these rocks. <gasps> what a surprise! I actually like the sound, that the the music that the uh, village that discovered music made better than this one. I mean, I like I like both of them. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's something all the way over there. 
I forgot I can get rid of the trees as well. Whoa, we got some more people talking to us. Let's see what they have to say. My master, this year our ranch has some horses. Okay. I'm glad. Kofi Bot, I forgot you existed. If anyone enjoys my streams or videos, feel free to donate on Kofi. Uh, just a one-off payment, you don't have to pay monthly or anything for that. That'd be really cool. I've never actually received anything on there before, so I don't even know if it works. Hopefully it does. Right, one more, then we can seal off the lair. Here we go. <sighs> what? Yeah, they still have the lair. Woo, did they find anything? Civilization level seems to have improved. There we go. What are we going to get for that? One of our people wants to seal the monster's lair, even though he was also seriously injured. After sealing the monster's lair, he was fatally injured. He is now standing before the shrine with his last ounce of strength. His last request is to pass away while being covered by my master's tears. Please grant his request and send the rain. Whoa, okay. Alright. Let's send the rain. Do I have to send it over the main area? Big delay on the YouTube comments. You watched 10 attempts. Oh no. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I think there might be something wrong with it because whenever I try and look on the live streaming dashboard it tells me that I'm not live even though people are coming in from YouTube so I have no idea what's going on with that hmm I wonder if I if I load it up on the computer where I'm actually streaming from uh, never mind I'll try it next time but at least you can see it I suppose I know it's unexpected but our people in ITOS have something to tell you I cried all over her husband. That his face was showered with his master's tears was peace enough. Oh, master, thank you for showing compassion on him in his great hour of need. My pleasure, I guess. Do I get anything for it? Is that rude to ask? Let's start rounding up here, though. Nothing's coming out of that one. Or nothing out of there is doing anything. Where are they going? I didn't ask you to go over there. Well, maybe I can get rid of those rocks while we're here. Now they're going up there. Okay. The horses are up here. Don't eat the horses. Are they going to go the right way now? Where are you guys all going? They just want to put some random houses down in random places. I told you to come up here. Oh no, why is everyone sad? The wind is gone, and without it, our windmills won't work. Would you cause the wind to blow, please? Okay, I can do that. Your powerful wind will blow away flying creatures. Do you want to make the wind blow? Whoa! Okay. That should be strong enough to turn a windmill. Yay! Are you happy now, guys? Can I burn some more trees down? Am I allowed to burn some trees down now? Let's go there.
let's do it again. I'm not sure what the benefit of having horses is. They just seem to follow wherever the path goes. Tell me this time. My master, we have learned to make clothes from the fleece of our sheep. This fleece is very warm and could be very useful to any land as cold as Itos. This year we present this fleece as an offering. Thank you. I don't know whether I need to wear clothes, so... But I guess I should... Accept the gift. If you use its wool to make clothes, even people in cold climates can live comfortably. And I'll take a bomb as well, I guess. I never really seem to have a reason to use the bomb, so... Bam, 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 bam. Nearly there. Someone found something in the monster's lair. We found a strange bow and some arrows. We present this to you as an offering. Oh, do I finally get the powered up bow? Strength of Angel. This appears to be an angel's arrow. This is all we have for you. Thank you for accepting our humble offering. Was it just a one-off? I'm sure I remember being able to charge up the arrow. I found another one. Why aren't you actually attacking anyone? We've now refined our mountaineering skills. The mountains hold many unseen mysteries. We inform you if anything is discovered. Oh! They're on the mountain! Look at them go. Right, we should start going this way. <laughs> they took a bit of a roundabout route just to go up there anyway. Ooh, population increased. Level 11 and HP is 18. Or well, HP are 18. Show us where to use the lightning. Tell me something else. We've discovered a volcano, everyone. My master, we found a scroll in the mountains northeast of here. Cool. Let's see. Are you going to give me the scroll? We have the following to offer you this year. Which would you like to accept? A source of magic. Another magic point. Cool. I will accept that. I thought it was going to be a new magic spell, but never mind. As Deep Silver says, it's better than nothing. 
That was a deep cut there. Man, what a disappointment right number nine was. Oh, I didn't know you could build diagonally. Let's see what happens. Oh, it actually does two squares at once. Cool. That'll speed things up a little bit. I didn't even know that was possible. That's cool. Is he not going to come back? Sealing away the monsters in the lair. Alright, let's see what they have to say this time. That should be all the lairs sealed now. Master, please save us. The old dormant volcano has suddenly erupted. We can hear monsters' footsteps. Our town, Itos, will not only be destroyed by the eruption, but also by the monsters. Please come down and fight for us. And the men who have given their lives in sealing the monsters' lair. Ah! Okay. Okay, stop building! Stop building! We need to... We need to, for some reason, go inside the volcano, and that's going to stop it from blowing up. Stop! Let me, let me go, let me go. You're all going to die. Let's return back up to the sky. I'm going to swap back to the star power. Magical stardust. Because that one is better for the most part. Let's save again. And then we can head down into this area. I'm ready! Best of luck! Here we go, another action stage. Dun dun dun! Hmm. Camera's a bit weird. I got a new lens today and it seems a bit darker than usual. Oh well. Right, what's going on here? First of all, we're going left instead of right. Oh my god. Okay, there is no just ignoring that. Wow. Okay, we can't do that. How'd you even... Like that, I guess. Why are there creepy statues holding E-tanks in the background? What is that? It's still alive and it's following me. I don't like it. Have some stars. Probably shouldn't have wasted it, but never mind. Ow! Ah! Ah! Let me out! Let me out! Okay, it does still exist. Oh my god. Wow, the floor disappears. Okay, have some stars. 
That's the only way you can get through this. Cool, I can actually get rid of that. Are we out? Not oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, they only take two hits, that's not too bad. There we go, we got a new magic scroll. Okay, those clouds actually die from one hit. Oh no! That could have been a one-up. I think if you just duck when the clouds go into that single eyeball. Uh, where do I go? Let's just spam this magic. It's probably not the best idea. But it might help. It might actually kill him. No way. It did! Haha! <laughs> yes! That feels kind of like cheating, but we did it anyway. Hmm. What do we think about that chat? Is that cheating? Or is that legit? The game lets you play like that, so I don't see why not. And we have to fight them again later on anyway. Yay! Full health again. Playing this has kind of one made me want to play the original Castlevania games again. I know it's unexpected, but our people have something to tell you. Oh, Master, all the monsters in Itos have been destroyed. Thank you for taking care of us. We can now take care of ourselves. So please, help other lands enjoy the peace we have here in Itos. That was surprisingly easy, wasn't it? But, uh, we can do more. Let's level up a bit more. I think after this, there's only two more areas left. And maybe we can play for about another hour. So maybe we can get towards the end of the game and then in the next stream we can actually finish it. Well, if we can finish it. I've never actually completed this game before because it's just too difficult. For my puny gaming skills, anyway. Some background colours. Let's try that. There we go, we've got some colour in the background. celebrate that win of that boss fight with another mini egg. Sorry for all the crunching. Polymega just tweeted. Does anyone care about the Polymega anymore? Mm -hmm. 
Hey, level up. That's what I wanted. I think there's only two more squares left. Then we can move on. one. They gave us a fleece, didn't they? We can go and move around somewhere else. So now Itos is done. I think there was another area down here. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. Should we try and defeat the big bad on this area? Let's see what this one's like. Here we go. This one you can actually see in the distance from another level, which I always think is really cool. Found a swamp. Where are we going? I keep thinking they're doors. I keep wanting to go inside them. Ah! Some good reflexes! Oh, -ho. where do we get down there? I'm just going to ignore that one. Ah, no, I went too far. Can we see what what was going to be in there at least? No, we can't even check. Okay, well, I'm sure I'm going to die anyway, so. We'll find out in a minute. Oh my god, this enemy's horrible. Really, you can't dodge onto that? Come out, weird stone blob. There's a snake on the floor as well. Ah! There's so much scary stuff going on in this level. Well, I can I can take that out before anything happens. Hey, and we refilled our health. Awesome. Hey, we got a uh, new YouTuber viewer from Brian. Hey, Brian, how are you doing tonight? You love my content. Thank you. I love making it, so I'm glad that people love watching it. That's the main thing, isn't it? I don't know how to fight these guys. Let's try sending a a shower of stars at them. That worked. Why are they throwing snakes at me? Do you think we'll be able to cheese the boss with the stars again? Whoa, what the hell is that? It looks like something out of our type. Let's just keep doing that. I don't even know which bit of the boss is even taking damage. But at least it's doing something. That's it, we're out. Oh my god. Do I have to try and lure it away somehow? And then... 
come over here and hopefully I've got a chance to fight it. Okay, it's a pretty cool idea. We can do this. Easy. I don't know what that does, but I'm scared to touch it. Oh. Is that going to cause explosions or something? <clears throat> Where did it go? It didn't go anywhere. Oh, okay, it's got tentacles. Two, one. One more hit, one more hit. Come on! Yeah, we did it! Oh no. Oh, that was close. I thought that was going to kill me then. Yeah, first try. Marana. Act one clear. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. That was a cool fight. Probably one of my favourite ones so far. Here we go. We got a nice tropical paradise island this time. Very nice. That was a lot of explosions. Here we go. We have created life on another island. Yay. Marana may become a land where people can live in peace. All right, Master, let's walk, work towards peace. Let's see what they have to tell me first. Oh, Master, although a beautiful island, Mar Marana? Is that how you say it? I think so. Marana is covered with palm trees and seems so small. Would you destroy some of the palm trees? I feel bad doing that. They look nice. Okay. Where should we get rid of them? Here, I guess. Take this one out first. Oh, we got those weird bats again. That's new. We haven't seen them for a while. Our first field. seal off another one of the demon's lairs, or monster's lairs. That's the first one down. Yay! Did they find anything? They did indeed! A strange bow and some arrows. I suppose I should use it. And they've got something else to tell us too. What else do they have to tell us? We would like to extend our town in the island northwest. Is there a way to make the channel and the island into part of the continent? I don't know. What could we try? We could try... I don't think that will help. I don't know! What can I do to help extend the island? I thought maybe use the sun to dry up the water, but I don't know whether that's possible at that scale. I did it before on a bit of a marshland, like this area down here. Let's tell them to come down this way.
Hey, I said come down there. What are you doing up here? Go away. Right, let's see. Have they figured out a way of making the channel? I missed what the first bit then said then. People are saying they built it to worship you, but I sense something is wrong. The temple is the only building the monsters have not tried to destroy. That makes me very uneasy. I hope nothing happens. Hmm. What's going on? <gasps> he didn't pick people up, did he? Hey, I hit him with lightning. I didn't mean to do that, but... Ah, there it is. A weird, creepy temple that the monsters ignore. Looks perfectly natural to me, although we're going the wrong way to get to it. I didn't even realise it went down that far. Let's use the sun to dry this part of the land up, at least. There we go, and then we can go down to that layer, and in the meantime we can get rid of the palm trees to go down to where that creepy temple is. Let's use it right here. the sun right there after they want to tell me something at least many of our people are already turned against our eternal master I believe the shrine may be the cause of this change of heart this is a problem we must solve on our own I just thought you should know okay well, thank you for telling me hope you sort out your differences if that's what they were worried about Wanna go this way? Let's go down. This level's going to take ages to get through. Yay! Did they find anything in this one? A strange statue. I can't remember what they're for. Should we find out? Oh yeah. Got these special arrows as well. Oh, that's all the statue is. I guess we can use the arrows. Oh my god, we've got so much stuff! Oh yeah, can take them out with one hit. Oh 
I wish there was a fast forward button. Our people have something to tell you. Because of the many plagues here in Murano, we should never be without medical herbs. May we present this as an offering to you this year. Ah, nice. I know somewhere else that has the plague. We can give them them herbs. Woohoo! Cure them of the plague. Is that how it worked in real life? We went to a tropical island and found a herb. Hey, Beta Mark, how are you doing today? You caught me at a good time. I was really grumpy earlier and you wouldn't want that on in the studio. The angel's power is no more. I was really struggling with one of the boss fights like an hour ago. It was impossible. It literally took me about 20 attempts to kill it. What are you up to in the studio? Are you working on anything interesting that you're allowed to share? Minus 11? Oh my god. That's horrible. What is it here? It is it is 1 degrees right here. I mean, with the heating on it, it feels more like 20. But... Minus 11, oh my god. Oh yeah, can we move over here? We have to go all the way around. Can I even get rid of those trees? Or are they like big thick ones that I can't do anything about? How do I get to that temple? Where are they coming from? There must be another lair up here somewhere. <clears throat> Yay, civilization's getting better. I don't know. You keep asking me, how do we get over here? I don't have the ability to raise the land out of the sea. I don't think. Yay! Level increased. Let's see if we can do anything. Mm, is it going to do anything? No. Unfortunately, nothing happened. Uh, can I blow the water away? Am I supposed to be using the sun? stuck. Maybe... Maybe we go back up to the sky? No more monsters lurk here. Well, what we can do if we go to the sky palace movement 
if we go back to Itos, I think. Hmm, or maybe not, they seem happy. Where was it that people were suffering from the plague? Cassandora? Yeah, here. So if we... Oops, I want to give them the herb. Okay! Are they healed? They've got a load of open land here. I think I've fixed them. Okay, are you going to do anything? Is anyone still alive after they all got inflicted with the plague? Maybe they're actually not alive because uh, nothing happened. Uh, let's listen. Thank you very much for giving such a beautiful land. Because of this, we can work and be happy. Okay, they are still alive. Maybe they're just so happy they feel like they don't need to do anything. Uh, are you okay? There we go. There's one person. Maybe they're just getting back into work mode. <clears throat> They've all just been dying of the plague, so I can't blame them. I didn't even know I had the angel's power. Oh, there's a guy playing with his dog up there. That's cute. Let's see what else we can do to cheer them up. No, nothing really. Alright, let's leave them to it. We have something for a fish in town. I'm guessing the blood pools classed as the fish in town. They're quite advanced as well. Maybe? I don't see any fishing boats or anything though. Let's see if they'll accept it. The compass. This land already understands how to use a compass. Oh, okay. I already did it here then. Let's see, what do we need? We're almost on the next area. We've only got three levels left. By the way. Oh, can I get rid of them trees? I thought they were just decoration, but I can actually remove them. Hmm. May as well fill up this area while I'm here. Why are these towns so sleepy? Like, where is everyone? Sorry, just had a pop up on the laptop. Where is everyone? It's so quiet. There we go, we've got a bunch of people now. Thank you. 
See, where else can we go? Thelmar, do they need to learn how to fish? This area is now able to navigate the open seas. Yay! Okay, they needed to learn how to fish. Let's see what they have to say about that. We learned the skills of deep sea fishing. Our deep sea fishing is bound to yield curious finds other than fish. If something is found, I will inform you. Okay. What are you going to find? There's literally nothing else I can do here. I don't think. Are they going to find anything? Let's leave them to it for now. So, I wonder whether we're actually supposed to go here next. We haven't fought any monsters in this area yet. Let's try it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we got some new music. And some slope physics going on. I didn't know when to expect that. Ow! You can't stop on the slopes. Got some more magic. Ah! Okay, you can't stand on the spikes either. Oh dear. Oh, my neck's aching. Why am I up here? Let me down. Why are you not like the birds in Mega Man 2? You won't drop me any goodies. I'm actually going to try this. That's safer. Reminds me of, um, I'm just going to get through there using the iframes. It worked. Ooh, we got a load of bonus points too for being clever. Now, which way do we want to go? This way, I guess. Okay, we'll wait. <laughs> Health! Yes, it was the right choice to go left. Is there one here? Yes, there is! Oh god, no. Oh, it's okay. I thought it was going to drown. We're safe. Uh, do I have to stand here instead? Yeah, that's better. That's more like it. I was wondering when something would try and 
fly at me. What's down there? I didn't even see what it was. Was it an extra life? Hey, I can breathe underwater. Come on. Stop spamming. He's just going to stay there. I'm surprised the game's so lenient on allowing you to breathe underwater. After how horrible the game is at every other possible opportunity. Although, in comparison to what's coming up with ActRaiser 2, this is uh, a walk in the park. I'm kind of looking forward to actually properly playing ActRaiser 2 because... Uh, because of its famous difficulty. I never actually gave it a proper attempt, really. Whee! I think I was missing something there. I like that power-up, but they give it you at the worst moment possible, where it just doesn't matter. Where did that shield come from? You didn't have that a second ago. Maybe I don't want to know where it came from. Ow! I thought I managed to get under that. Oh, do I want what's down there? I think so. Oh my god. There's so much here. Trying to kill me. Ooh, yeah, that was useful. We can use that on the boss. Always go left when you have the choice. Yes, always go left. Uh, oh no! Always go left, but don't jump up. Don't jump up. I didn't know those spikes would kill me. Will we get another magic scroll? I can really just spam the magic on this boss. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get another one. Nice. And, oh my god. Won't even get to the boss at this rate. Although, remember, at the top there is uh, some health. It's not too bad. Let's go get it. I remembered not to jump. Is this the boss? We've made it. Am I supposed to be down here? I guess so. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. He's a bit angry. Let's use some magic on him. Honestly, I've got enough that I could just keep spamming this. It's not going to help for later on though. But why not? The game lets you do it. If we do get to the end tonight, I'm actually going to save the boss rush for next time, I think. Because I'm pretty sure we'll need a few hours to get through that, and I don't want to stay up super late, because I have a busy day at work tomorrow. 
Anyway, we got through the regular act at least. All in one piece. Yay. The one patch of warmth in this frozen wasteland. Hello. North, North Wall may become a land where people can live in peace. Please use the warmth of the sun to melt the snow. I never would have guessed. Yeah, just use the sun wherever. Do I have to do every single patch? Really? Beta mark, is this what it's like for you where you are? It's just white everywhere. Oh no, that horrible skull's here again. I suppose I literally do have to just sunbeam every single part of the level. You need to ask a little naked baby in the sky to heat the land up for you. Look up. Is there a naked baby in the sky? Can they control the weather? You need to go to your nearest temple and pray for the naked baby to bring sun to the land. It's the only way. Ah, why does it keep coming down here? Oh my god, it's angry. Ah! It wants me dead. Ha! Huh, that works. Good job I saved all them bombs. I'll probably... I'll probably need them here. Uh, I want to get rid of him first. It's horrible. It reminds me of Sinistar. Just without the horrible voice lines. I hunger! They absolutely terrified me as a kid. Is he going to charge at me? Right. I'm going to use another bomb. I think this is a good place to use it. forget you can move more than one square. I've been doing this the slow way. Oh no, everyone's upset. They should be happy that I'm making the land less angry. The cold here is so harsh that people are unable to live with ordinary clothing. I'm going to take my headphones off for a second. Oh, my ears are sweaty. Unable to live with ordinary clothing. Oh, Master, do you have any material with which you could make warmer clothing? I do! You can have some of the fleece. Sheep's fleece. The people of North Wall are now able to keep themselves much warmer. Have you tried that as well, Beta Marks and fleece? That's the solution, according to this game. 
Yay! Someone has found something in the lair. My master, we've found a strange bow and some arrows. Excellent, I need them. Your hoodie has battery heat. Ooh, that must be nice. We've got an electric blanket for the bed and that's always really nice to get into. So I imagine a, a hoodie with that is very cosy. Unfortunately, nothing happened. Did I use it in the wrong place? Nothing happened. Hmm, am I supposed to be going over there instead? Let's see what they have to say to me. The people want to talk. Did you know that there's a large new tree growing northeast of here? The other day, two of us went to the mighty tree. At the trunk of the tree, we found something very interesting. There were two initials carved in the tree. Those initials proved that people inhabited this land a few thousand years ago. We also discovered a scroll hidden near the trunk of the tree. Please accept it. Is that going to be magic increase? Yeah. And we also get some new arrows. Do we have to go this way first? Is that the giant tree they were on about? Oi, leave their field alone. Okay, we can't go that way. I don't know why I can't use the sun on that bit. Hey, the guy and his dog's back. There seems to be 131 red demons. I don't know. Nothing happened. Ah. Okay. I'm going to use the stronger arrows because these guys are annoying me. That was lucky. He was about to hit me as well. I don't actually know what die what happens when you die in this top down section. Thankfully it hasn't happened yet. Oh, that only takes two hits now. Where are you all going? wonder whether I can teach them how to build a bridge. Do I need to teach them first? Or can they just do it? 
I don't know how. The sunlight isn't working anymore. Hmm. Do I, oh, do I need to unfreeze this bit so that the water flows again? Maybe. Time's being destroyed. See if that does anything. I think when the ground's coloured like that, nothing happens. I need like stronger sunlight or something. Probably clear. Yay, that worked. I know it's unexpected, but our people in Northwall have something to tell you. <clears throat> My master, I think I see the semblance of a lake underneath all the ice. We plan to operate a fishery here in Northwall. Thank you, master. My people can now live here in peace. Well, slightly more peace. Oh my god. Still doesn't help me with these bits. Can I just send it everywhere? What are they doing on the lake? I'm hoping that when I've cleared out all of the floor, then the, the other bits will just fix themselves. increased.
A scroll was found in the cold lake. Okay, is that gonna help? It's probably just extra magic, isn't it? They love giving me extra magic. Let's see. Ooh, a magical light. That's new. What does that do? That's it, I just have to float around now, I can't do anything. Hey, Rissu Raid! Hi! Did she die? Did Dean kill her? What happened? Oh, finally I'm getting some health back! Oh my god, I nearly lost it all straight away again. Didn't die. Did you just get to a good point to end it? What time is it anyway? It's only 10 o'clock. Everyone, follow Risu Chu if you want some fun VTuber streams. Hope the stream's going fun. It's uh, it's going. I've been struggling through this, and now I don't know how to get any further. Really, I need to. Uh, I need to teach him how to make bridges, but I don't know how anymore. You guys could hear me screaming. No way. What do I need to do? Maybe I can send the rain to the spot up here. Oh, I hate those skulls. Nothing happened. I don't know what that fishing boat's doing either. They haven't come back to me with anything for a long time. Where else can I use the sun? Here. There's only four squares left and then there's nothing else I can actually do. I just hope that fishing boat has found something useful. Uh, that's not fair. The loading caused me to die then. Do I need to go back to one of the other places and uh, ask them to give me the thing to build the bridges? I nearly died again. Two more bits of land. And the skull's back. And I don't think any of the mountains can be affected by the sun. Unfortunately. Ah, stop it! Go away, please! 
I don't really know what the skull does, but I don't like the look of it. Right, if nothing happens after this, then I'm going to try a different area, I guess. Nothing happened. Wonder whether I can build straight down. Let's try that. I'm gonna go this way. Do they know how to build bridges already? Come on. See, he's taking a weird route. Where's he going? Maybe he went to fix one of the houses that the uh, monsters destroyed. Have I got any other bombs or anything? I got one. I guess I'll use it. Come on, it won't let me move. I just want to get rid of that, please. Where is everyone? Ah, uh, now I'm out of power again. Come on, you're gonna go down here this time? Where are you going? Oh, the houses keep getting destroyed. I don't have enough time to fix all the houses. I don't really know what the skulls do, but I'm guessing there's something bad. Come on, someone's got to go down there. Come on! There's no more houses to fix. Well, there might be in a second. Get rid of that red demon. Right. Okay, it's free. Come on. Maybe they can't build bridges yet. Maybe they can't build anything. Where are they? There's just one guy up there walking around with his dog. Oh, I forget you can do that. That works. I don't know what's going on. No one's there. Thank you very much for giving us such a beautiful land. Just to fight. I suppose we should save while we're here. Is there anywhere else to go? Oh, I didn't know I could zoom out like that. Or zoom in like that. Whoa! That's extreme. Let's see what's going on here.
Oh yeah, what's missing here? I need to... I need to find a way of clearing this gap. Earthquake, maybe? Let's try it. Whoa. Something strange is about to happen near the northwestern shore. Oh, it did work! Cool! I also destroyed all their houses. Oh no. Everything! Oh no, I didn't know it would destroy everything. I'm so sorry, <laughs> is there anyone still alive? You've got a lot of rebuilding to do. In the meantime, let me cause more destruction. By setting fire to all these palm trees. Um, I feel so bad for destroying everything just to make room for a little bit more land. Until then, I guess I can just stay here. And they actually went off the top of the screen, so that didn't work. What about this way? Will that work? No. Maybe these guys will give me something that will help in the snowy area. Pretty sure this is the only place left that I haven't uncovered uh, all the helpful items that they give you. Are they going to give me something to help? They got something to tell me. Sir Nick, no one seems to be here. Could it be that those two have also had their hearts drawn away by, by evil powers? I hope not. You must enter the shrine and fight to save your people. Uh oh. Okay, back up to the sky. Are we ready to fight some monsters? Let's do it. Let's go fight some monsters. <laughs> Always go left. Oh my god, instant death. Great start. Let's try that. Oh my god! That's creepy. Let's see what this does. Oh, that's useful. Oh. Alright, I'll just use it again then, fine. 
This stone didn't kill him. Okay, I, I can see this getting extremely difficult. What is that? Uh -huh. Even though I saw what was going to happen. I don't know how I was supposed to... Hey, nice! Full health. Am I going to go up, 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 up into the spikes? No? Can I get under there? That's scary. Let's go! This level seems to be a bit messy. That doesn't seem safe. Uh, it's not. Hey, there's a one-up. I'll bear that in mind. What is this? Mario 3? Oh my god! I thought I would be safe on the top. Why make one you can stand on if that's going to happen? Oh, and I missed the one up that time as well. Okay, right. Stay on the bottom. Stay on the bottom. Oh, good job. I don't know where the hitbox is. Nice. Making progress again. Uh, how do you get to that? <laughs> Not like that. Hope there's something good in there. Too bad, Nick. I know you will never give up. It's true. Let's try again. Let's go again. I know where to go now. Dun, 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 dun. I can't remember why I went left, but it seemed like a good idea, so let's do that again. This must be a really big level, then. Let's try going down this side. Uh, oh, that's what's in this room, I remember. They take five hits. Is he taunting me by going up and down like that? <clears throat> okay, if I stand about here, just go straight past everything. There was a, a health pickup somewhere around here. There. Uh, oh, I thought I had longer than that. Damn it. <clears throat> oh, oh dear. Right, anyway, one ups. Oh, you don't even have that long to stand on them platforms. Okay, let's go to the right. I can't remember what's on the right. Oh, this room. This room is probably easier. I wonder whether you could do both of them in one go. Oh, it's not instant death. Usually spikes like that are instant death. Not so bad then. If I'm careful. Uh, 
I didn't see what it was. What did I get? Oh no. Uh, let me up! Am I trapped? No, not completely. Well, I've got further than I've ever got before. And I'm getting scared. Are we at the boss? I have magic too. I've got two more. Yay. The bosses are kind of trivial when the magic works that well. That's it. I can't remember what that place was called. Marania. Marana. It's saved. Now hopefully we can use that to fix the ice world with whatever problems I've got going on. It's not unexpected at all. I know exactly what's going to happen at this point in the game. Cultivating the land of Marana was a difficult task for us. No matter how many homes we seemed to build, monsters came and destroyed them. In the midst of all our trouble, a man of eloquence appeared. He assured us that by becoming the monster's followers, troubled and trouble and hardship would be eliminated from our lives. Alas, we were deceived by his words. I realised how susceptible human beings are to... All of us learned a very important lesson from this experience. We will never betray you again. We can carry on without your help. Please help other lands find the peace we now have in Murano. Yay. Do I get anything? Did I just need to defeat that? Well, I may as well ask them to fill in the last space anyway. Can't believe I didn't get anything for it. I really thought that was my key to accessing the next area. Is that it? I think they've built everywhere now. They need to rebuild, obviously, after the earthquake. Sorry about that. And that's it, I guess. We should go somewhere else. Let's see what this says. Yep, there's only one level left, and that is the final level of North Wall. So let's try going back over here and see if anything's changed. Still no one here. Why is no one here? Do I need to cause an earthquake? It's extreme, but let's try it. Oh my god, it did nothing but destroy everywhere. At least it won't come up. Well, the guy with his dog's still happy and alive, so that's good. Uh, I might need to look up what to do here. I'm sure it's something to do with that tree. Maybe... Did I use the sun on the wrong side? Maybe I need to use it there instead? I think I already did though. Nothing happened. Any ideas, chat? Anyone? Hmm. 
I would lock it up, but if I leave them alone, they're all just gonna die. Hmm. What else can I do? I have no possessions. Uh. Rain wouldn't make sense. Lightning? No. It really is just sun that I should need to use here. Might look it up. Nothing happened. So it's not about using the sun then. Why would I know to do that? I want to see what it told me to do. Why would I even attempt that? I'm very sorry, my master, but we kept something from you. I found a strange jewel a few days ago, but didn't offer it to you because I was so fond of it. I promised never to do anything like that again. I present this jewel to you now as an offering. Please forgive me. The source of life. You've been given an extra life for fighting monsters. Oh. Still didn't help. I don't understand what to do. None of the walkthroughs are helping. I don't have anywhere left to even attempt it.
Am I allowed to just build there? No way! What? I thought they weren't allowed to stand on that patch. Ah, oh, there we go then. That's all I needed to do. I found a strange statue. Now do they learn how to build bridges? Like proper civilised humans. We understand how to build bridges, yay! Now they can get over the river. Finally. Sorry about destroying your entire village thinking that that's why you couldn't get to the lair, but in fact you just hadn't walked far enough. I can't believe that. How is that floor walkable? Alright, well I guess you've got to come all the way back down to the bottom of the map now. There's no other point in the entire game where you're allowed to do that. Yay! See you in the monster's lair. Our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Well, let's go all the way. Can we do it all in one go? And we can go and take on stage two. Potentially. Unless that is the boss fight. Boss rush fight. Is there enough people left to actually get over there? Yeah, here they come. Keep going. There we go, we're sealing the monster's lair. What are they going to tell me? Something evil's happening. A monster has appeared from the mighty tree. The mighty old tree is a symbol of Northwall. Simply gazing upon it stirs the emotions within us. Oh master, please save our symbol of Northwall. Come down and drive the monsters away. Alright, let's do it. Return to the sky. We're going to save first. Let's be a diligent landlord and go and fight some monsters. People will no longer be scared of evil. That sounds good. Into the snowy tree we go. Bam, 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 bam. I love that bit. Here we go, North Wall, Act 2, and it is another new stage, so let's see where we go with this one. Uh, weird layout so far. Are we inside the tree now? Whoa, cool. Everyone takes so many hits now. In the earlier stages, you can just kill all the enemies in one hit. Am I supposed to be going up? Ah. Oh, wait, what? That's not fair. He's not allowed to throw axes in every direction like that. Where are we supposed to be going? There's an item. Extra points is always good. Hmm, I'm supposed to be going up there. Right. Well, maybe, but not yet. Can we reach there? Yes. 
crossed about. Oh, you have to jump out. Oh, 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 there's too much going on. Okay, we are outside again for a second. Uh, am I allowed to stand on that? I don't want to risk it. I have no recollection of this level at all. I must have played it at some point. I need health really bad. There's too much going on. Okay. Magic time. I wonder if there was magic down the other path. Uh, or health, I mean. Oh, there's a one-up over there. Oh, well, we're too far up now. Ah! Oh, you can't touch the bubbles. Don't touch the bubbles. Well, I know this time to go and get the one-up. Ah, I hate those birds. They're just a little bit too high up. Come on! Get back here. Alright, then. I'll do it the hard way. How far down did it reset me? Some pretty epic music going on. Oh yeah, wrong way. Can I just ignore him? Let me past! That's probably a better idea. I haven't found any health anywhere. The only other one of those item boxes was a, uh, a one-up. Which will still be useful. Uh, uh, uh. Over here, I think. Hmm. Well, it's up there, but apparently that's not the right way to go. Magic time. Try and clear out the area a little bit. Magic again! Before we die. That still wasn't enough. Right. Please be health. Yes! Thank God. And there's the one up. Unfortunately, it's actually sent us all the way back down again. But we're not faring quite as bad. Do I go this way? Yeah, we made it to the top of the tree. And we've got to jump on a bubble. Mega Man 3 style. Or Mega Man 5. Yeah, like Wave Man, isn't it? Mega Man 5. What a strange idea. A bubbly tree. Oh, we've got to jump over to it. Oh, it is very Mega Man. Ah! Stop it! I'm going to use another magic right there. I don't know what that yellow one does, but I'm a bit scared to touch it. There's going to be another green one? Oh, really? It looked like one was coming from over there.
Nope, I'm waiting for that to go past. Right, three, two, one, go! Yes. I presume the green one is the right one to be on. Alright, we made it to the top of the next part of the tree. Oh my god. And I'm dead. <laughs> wow. That was my one second of seeing what the boss looks like. Okay, yeah, don't touch the yellow one. This is almost impossible. There's no health anywhere. Like, sure, I can get to the top, but I'm pretty much dead. What am I supposed to do? Now I've got no magic left. I wonder whether, if you keep jumping, whether that's actually easier. Oh, okay, there's health there. That's good to know. jump too late then. No! Okay, we can just keep jumping on that same bubble then. No health. Maybe we can at least try and learn something about the enemy. Uh, what did we learn? <laughs> that he swoops a lot. Actually, I want to go down a bit more because uh, the health is over there. I'm just going to completely ignore these first few enemies. That's definitely the best way to get up to the top of the tree. I've got nothing to use against the boss. But Maybe I can just dock in the corner. Ah! Okay, that didn't work. Right, it is 11 o'clock. Let's, um, let's have one more attempt. Let's change back to Stardust. And do a save.
uh, let's try one last time for tonight. Hey, you still around, Beta Mark? That's good. Ah, there is a secret up here. Secret one up. Now, I'm going to try and not use any magic until we get to the fight. I don't really know what the best way of killing this guy is. Just duck underneath. Okay. See ya. <laughs> We can actually go... Oh, you can't go down. I thought you might be able to go down more. There's nothing down there. Oh yeah, is the sound a bit delayed in the game? Or is it fine? Because in my headphones it sounds a bit delayed, but I don't know whether that's... Just the capture software being a bit weird. The sound effects don't quite match what's happening on the screen, but they did earlier. Oh, there's not enough room to jump. Oh, maybe it's just me hearing it delayed then. Not sure why that would happen. Oh my god! Let me past! Please! It's not worth going that way. There's so much going on on the screen. Oh my god. Just do everything you can to go up. Ah, damn it. Uh, okay. I'm not using any magic. did a little better that time. Oh my god, there's too much going on. I can't. The eyeballs everywhere as well. Alright, we made it to the top. Now we have all the bubbles to jump on. You have to start with the one on the left. There should be health. Yes. And then just stay on the side. Oh no! I've lost it now. I was lucky. Okay, we've made it to the boss. I'm just gonna rain bullets on him as soon as he appears on the screen. Oh yeah, that worked. Do it again! Oh. 
One more. Yay, didn't even land a hit on me. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of cheating, but yay, we got through it. Act two, complete. That is every level in the game now. And now I think there's one final area and then like a mega boss rush mode, but I'll save that for next week because I think it will take probably the entire three hours to get through. But we get to see what happens next, which is exciting. An earthquake and a mega volcano. When you destroyed the final monster, the demon Tanzra's Island emerged from the depths of the ocean northeast of here. Tanzra is underground, waiting for his final battle with the master. All right, let's go, Sir Nick, to the haunted land, Deathheim. Are we ready to go and see what's in here? No one inhabits the area. Okay, yeah, we can't actually observe it. We just have to dive in. Well, let's go and uh, let's go and have a look. I can't promise I'll actually get through it now, but let's go and have a look at what's down there. I'm ready. Let's go. Are you scared? I'm scared. Oh my god. This is it. The boss rush. What do I... I can't remember how to fight him. What? Is it, what the hell? He's way faster than I remember. Is that what you're supposed to do? Just hope that you can hit him right at the end of the jump. Half the time I'm getting hit instead. What? <laughs> what? That's literally impossible. Is that? Is that what you're supposed to do? He's way too fast. There's not enough time to hit and then move. Am I just supposed to spam this? Maybe. I don't know how you're supposed to get past the next boss if that's how crazy that one is. Let's try one more time. I know I said I wasn't going to do it this stream, but we can at least try. I jump at exactly the time that he lands with enough distance 
And if I slash at just the right time, the timing on that is insane. just do that twice. I want to see whether the magic carries over. Surely it does, I'm guessing. Yeah, we've got four. I'm not looking forward to next week's stream, it's just going to be this. And yeah, they're all a lot faster than their regular versions too. Oh, that was a nice dodge. turns into a wolf thing. Whoa! No way! Actually got through it. Let's see what happens with the health as well. Is it the same health bar for all the fights too? Okay, that's an easy one. Four more to go. This one shouldn't be too difficult. Ow. Ah, oh, that was my fault for not being able to jump backwards properly. the easiest one. Let's see, I didn't pay any attention to the health bar then. No way, there's only three left. I don't see us actually beating them, but let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, the health bar stays the same. Is it just going to do that? Alright. As I've only got one bit of health left, let's take the rest of him out with the magic. Oh my god, we might actually get somewhere on this two left. The snake one I can probably do now that I know the pattern for it. Maybe we'll actually get to the end of it tonight. Uh, this one I have no clue. Okay, that's what not to do. Right. Okay, that's it for the stream tonight. Today we're going to be tackling all of the bosses. And for a uh, little bit of a heads up, in between streams, I did actually come back into the game and actually finish off all of the different areas as much as I possibly could to level up just a little bit more in order to try and fight all of these bosses. So, who knows how long this is going to take. And I did also get some extra magic as well. I got this new one called Aura. So, I'm not sure what that does, but we can check it out. So hopefully you're all doing okay. Hopefully you are all looking forward to seeing me freak out 
when I attempt and undoubtedly fail for three hours straight to try and fight all these bosses. But let's give it a go, I guess. This will be the last battle. All monsters will be completely eliminated from this world. Sir Nick, are you ready? No, but let's try anyway. May luck be with you. I will need it. I will certainly need it. This is intense. So, not only do you have to fight every boss in the game back to back, but they're also a lot faster than normal. And as you can see, they're all up there with those different faces. And then we have to try and take them out one after the other, and I have to try and remember how to fight. It's been a while as well. Uh, not like that. We're off to a great start here. I don't even know how you're meant to jump over that. And I'm dead already. We're off to a great start, guys. Oh yeah, here we go. Somehow, I need to get far enough away to jump forward and hit him at the same time. How is that even possible? Ah, oh, unless I... Try and hit him first and then jump. We're not going to spend three hours on this first fight, I promise. Um, bam, bam, bam. Anyone watching who's got any advice, please, 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 please let me know. I don't seem to have time... You can't turn around in the air either. So you have to sort of jump and face the other direction. But I can't get close to him. And I'm dead again. This is uh, this is definitely going to be a long and slow stream, so... Wish me luck. I really don't see any sort of... What about if I jump from a distance and then jump again? Try and hit him in the air. You can't turn and jump at the same time. Unless you do that, but you can't get close enough. Oh wow, I managed to get one hit. We failed already. There must be, like, one very specific pixel that you can jump on. I'm ready. Let's try again. That was just a warm-up. What do we do? And we have to do seven. Seven bosses with one health bar. <clears throat> when I originally played this game, I actually gave up at this point. Because it was just impossibly difficult. Maybe I can use the sound effect as a time in for it. That was close. <gasps> that worked. So just after the boom, that's when I should turn around. I thought I had it down. If I do that, I can get two hits in. You have no idea how awkward the controls are. If you've never played this before. Hey, we're getting closer. 
Just need to keep practicing that timing. You can get some early hits in then. Hmm, I wonder if... Maybe... If I try and turn around straight away. No. You can't really jump and attack at the same time either. to do this. I was doing okay. That's it. I think it's too fast. This might take a while. We can get one hit in early. We can also get another hit in when he jumps down. Apart from that, I just can't get close to him. Whatever I did then, I managed to get three. Maybe it's like, as soon as he lands on the floor, that's time to turn around. If you're far enough away. Let's try that. Hey, we died again. Let's go back in. <clears throat> I don't even know what this new magic spell does yet. Here we go, we're going back into the volcano of doom dun, 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 dun. right ready focus mode activate uh yeah i found all the magic tablets i believe i've got this this was one that i found earlier seems to be somewhat useful. I don't want to waste it all on one fight though. I mean, obviously you can do that to get through them. But that means I've only got three scrolls left to tackle the next ones. So I want to try and find patterns that make them easier to fight. Yeah. So if you missed the start of the stream, I, uh, I said that before I started streaming I actually went back to all the other areas to uh, unlock everything that I'd missed. Ah, I forgot all the, uh, all the enemies are a lot faster as well than they are the first time round. Maybe I can try and make it so I do, so I use one spell per boss. Ah! ah! That's not fair, go away. Like this one, I could probably <clears throat> probably end up doing without any spells. Ah, if I don't jump into his lightning anyway. Where are we? Oh, okay, at least it restarts from that fight. Ah, sometimes he does lightning on that platform. How are you supposed to know? Oh, nice, I can just stand there. I got a whole bunch of hits in. 
Oh yeah, now he turns into a wolf. I remember. Get some early hits in. Yeah! There you go next. Come back. Are you going to come back? Now he's going to try and jump up here. Ah! Damn it. I'm not sure about that second part. That's going to be difficult. I think once you memorise what what to do when he goes to each of these platforms, it should be easy. The best thing to do here is to stand there and keep slashing. And that one. Stand forward a bit and then go up. Oh, I thought I'd got the timing right on that. Not quite. Best thing to do is the wolf, I think. Two hits, and then jump up. Let's see. Or one. Maybe jumping up's not the best thing to do either. Maybe you should try and duck under that platform. Maybe ducking under it <clears throat> might be better. Mm. Maybe you can't actually stand on the floor when he's there. Ah. Oh no, I missed. I thought it was doing well then. Is that halfway? Is he going to do his wolf thing? Right, I'm going to try. One hit. And then duck under here. Whoa, that didn't help at all. Oh, look how close that was. He had one one bit of HP left. Oh, I just realised I'm not quite in frame. There we go. How's everyone doing this evening? Have you all had a good day at work or wherever you've been? My day was pretty bad today, honestly. We're really struggling to get some projects finished, so I'm glad to just, you know, completely turn my mind off from work and just focus on playing games for a bit. Uh, and more sad news from the game industry with all these uh, people being fired and let go from their companies again. It's not good. <clears throat> Don't know why it's becoming such a bad state at the minute. And then I wonder, like, what are all these talented people going to do after? Are they going to make their own indie companies? Who knows? Is the market there to support that many? Indie developers. Ah. Oh my god, the timing for this is horrible. Ah. One of my dreams in life was to work in the games industry, but every year the industry just seems to be getting worse and worse. There's no signs of slowing down. I'm kind of glad that I just went into IT instead, to be honest. It's really sad. Like, it should be a dream job. You shouldn't need to risk everything because of Stupid CEOs being too greedy or whatever's going on. Com corporate buyouts. Hey, we're doing a lot better this time. All I need to do is just complain about the games industry. Yeah, two hits. Nice. Right, and jump back. Yeah, two more hits. Doing good. Just got to get a full run up on either side. 
And when it's in the corner like that, just don't jump. Oh, I could have done that. Maybe. Okay, this time. Go back. Yes, two more. Only got two hits left. Uh. Oh my god, it's neck and neck. This time. Go! Uh, not quite close enough. Oh no! He takes off two hits as well. Okay. Almost. I think I've nearly got this down. Three hits! Yeah, here we go. Jump too soon then. That was my own fault. We have to jump just after that thunder sound. Oh, can we do it from the left? Yeah, first time doing it that way around. Theoretically, I should be able to get two hits in after every jump, if I was good at the game. This is the best we've done so far. Ah, too soon. Gotta wait for him to land first. Yay, I did it! Without using any magic. Uh, I think using the aura spell on the first one quickly disposed of him without getting hit. The second, if you get the distance right, you can hit multiple times without the lightning strikes hitting you. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and do the first one without any magic. I managed to do it then. Got my health down by half, but that's not so bad. So for this one, avoid the flying balls. They come out so fast, though. And then I have no idea what to do when we get to the wolf section. Ah, see, like, that was just way too fast. But if you get through this section, it's not actually that hard. Especially if he spawns on the floor. Or there. Just do, wait for that first lightning bolt. Now he's going to transform. I don't know the best thing to do here. Let's see. One hit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's when I should use one of my magic spells. Let's try that. If I do it properly, I should get through this first phase. No problem. Oh, oh for some reason, when he's... Uh... Right, what do I do? Maybe I need to get out of the way first. Let's try staying up here. I thought I might have had an idea then. Is that going to work? It might. Okay, you still can't predict where he goes after that, but... <gasps> yes, we did it, okay. So now I know, convince him to go up the corner. Um, on, when he's on the lower platforms, you can actually hit him without that first lightning hitting, but it's pixel perfect. I thought it might be, because I did it once, and I didn't know how I managed to do it. Right, this is the one with the 
weird block that falls out of the sky, isn't it? There it is. This one, I think, is pretty easy. Just do that. Jump backwards and then jump over. Oh my god, the controls are so awkward. Uh, if you time it just right, you can jump backwards. Like that. Screw it, I might just use this. Oh, it didn't work anyway. We're getting better though. We're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We can do this. We can do this. I actually really enjoy this, finding out all the patterns and trying to perfect the gameplay. Oh, that was perfect. Yes. And jump! That was too late. Somehow managed to dodge that arrow. Okay, and run under! Oh, easy. Even if I do get hit, I'm pretty much only going to lose like two bits of life on that one. Alright, we're halfway there. I'm doing better than I thought I would at this point. Uh, I don't remember what to do with this one. Not that. Oh my god. Oh, where is safe to stand? I don't know. Oh my god, that one's just all over the place. Okay. <clears throat> we'll figure that out when we get back there. Let's go. I'm ready. Dun, 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 dun. It's a shame you can't change the order because I would have liked to start with this one. Rather than having to go through these ones one by one again, but oh well. How did that happen already? Screw it. I just want to get back to that third one. We can just skip through. I'm really worried about the snake one above the the waterfall. That was horrible at the end of that level. Ah, I forgot what was going to go on then. Can we do two on one health bar? Ah! Okay. I need to remember, if they're standing on that middle platform, move to the right instead. Or move closer to them. Oh my god, is it just going to keep repeating the same thing? Are you halfway? Right. Uh, did that too late. Oh. Ah, wrong side. Oh my god. Oh my god. Off to a bad start. I'm not going to attempt the pixel precision. Although that's probably the ideal place for him to be to get the most hits in. And if you time it right, you can dodge out. Halfway? Does that mean wolf time? I'm just going to start up here. Ah, I don't know how to avoid them. Yay, we did it. Now this third one's easy, I think. The third one's the easiest one.
then I don't know what to do with the spinning wheel. If I really want to get technical about it, I could probably time how many hits you can actually do. Like one, two, three, four, five, and then jump. Oh! I feel like if you time it right, you don't need to worry about the arrows at all. That one is so easy. Like, was it designed by someone else? Feels really strange compared to all the other ones. Alright, now we're going to face a big spinning wheel of doom. Oh, where can I stand that's safe? Right underneath that platform, maybe. I want to try and find somewhere I can use to my advantage. Like right here. Can't even see it coming. Okay. Have I found a, a cheat? Is it stuck? Oh, no. Right, it works the same on both sides. Good to know. And then, come here. Ah, uh, you don't get much time to move out of the way there. Uh, I think I've got a good pattern down. Now move that way, and then... Uh, you have like one second to jump up. Ah. No, so close. I think I've got it. Let's see. Do I get another go? Okay. Let's try it. If I go fast enough, I can jump up there. I know what I need to do. doing two then. I actually did it. Oh my god. Yeah, we did it! Okay, I've got the pattern for that. Easy. Got it down. Right, next is the snake. Maybe. I'm not forgetting the magic, I'm trying to save the magic. Yeah, GG! And hello everyone. Oh, it's not the magic. It's not the snake. Oh, what the hell do we do on this one? I don't remember this one. How do I actually hit him? Do I hit that back? Do I have to use magic? Oh no, that doesn't do much. Do I have to hit that? That's so fast! Ah! Okay, is that... What the? I don't remember this. Am I stuck? 
Oh my god, it's fast. Are they going to come down? Right. How do I summon that? Ah! They're just all over the saving. Are they not, uh, they're not any on this side? Well, I've got the timing for that down. Okay, you know, whoa. Ah! Come on. Ah, no! Space Age Hero. How the hell did you manage to get through this without taking damage? Are you insane? That's incredible. Wait a minute, that's cheating. I think it, it would be possible. I, I'm I'm able to like understand sixty percent of the moves now. You tricked me. You got me good there. Well done. You got me. Alright, back to square one. But we're making progress. I'm feeling more confident every time. I say that and they won't try to mess up horribly. Ah! I'm not able to get any hits in there. Too soon. Gotta wait for the thunder and then move. Too soon. Think of it like a, a rhythm game, like that's the metronome. I'm sure if I got the timing down for this, I could do this one without getting hit now. And I don't know how, but sometimes in the last attempt, I managed to get two hits in. If I could figure out how to do that again, that'd be good. I guess it's just... Maybe I should try going this way a bit more. As soon as you hear that sound. No! Oh, I thought I was doing better. I'm really not. Not yet! You can actually get a hit in there as well if you're really good. Yes. Oh, what's going on on my phone? One second. Uh, turn off notifications. Okay. I'm going to put my phone over there, put it on charge. Ah, uh, don't have time to jump twice. Uh, yes, halfway. Too soon. Get out of the way a bit. I want to bring him over here. Oh my god, not that close. I know I said I wanted him over here, but not like that. <sighs> 
three more hits. Honestly, this one's probably the hardest out of the bosses that I've done so far. And it's the first one. You can see why I was so put off trying to get past this. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Betamarks here. How are you doing this evening? One down. Let's see whether we can do this one with just two HP. Let's see. We can do it. I know the pattern off by heart now. Uh, apart from when he becomes a wolf, I'm still not completely sure what to do then. Can I get three? Not quite. Ooh, got four! Got five! That's the best so far. That's a record. Whoa! Okay, that works too. Ah! Okay, it doesn't work in reverse! Don't sneak up on me like that! This is a good one. That's the ideal position. You need to get ready to jump there as well. There we go. If he appears behind you, quickly. Get like half a second to turn around. Where? Okay, wolf time. This is the best that I know what to do for wolf time. So one, two, and then go down here. And up up there. And then... Go up there, maybe? I don't know what to do then. Just keep hitting him. That works. <laughs> I don't know what to do when he goes on floor. I guess the best idea is to just go straight back up to the top. Anyway, time for a nice easy one. Think of this one as a little break in between. In between the harder fights. Although... The uh, circular one, I think I can get past that one easily as well, but this one's no problem. Should be able to do this without getting hit. One more. Oh, it was too risky then. One, two, three, jump. Oh, no. I never found out the timing for those arrows. I was always just really lucky. Oh, no. What did I say about... What the hell is going on? I thought I would have done that one no problem. <sighs> well, we got through it anyway. Alright, now it's the rolling ball from hell. Or is it... Yeah, it is that. And then it's the one that shoots the lightning out of the sky that you've got to go on the weird thump things. If I go on a thump thing, maybe I can... Right, stay here, duck. Ah! No. It's okay, we've got one more life. Got a good way of getting two hits in there. Maybe more. Ah, jumped too soon. Well, it's okay. We're going to get past this anyway. Yay! That one's not too bad now. That one was pretty ter terrifying to begin with. Now. I think what I'm planning to do on this one... Get the middle elevator up to the ceiling and then use the magic. So, stand about here. And use it there. It kind of worked. Oh, that's not fair. It wouldn't let me go on there. Like that. Ah, you really don't get long. Oh. 
so scary. Jump! Come on, where's the platform? There it is. Two hits. And he's nearly gone. I don't know when the platforms decide to come down. At least I've got the timing for that down pretty easily. Come on! There it is. One more hit! Whoa! Ah, and don't get stuck on the signal in there. God, that was scary. Alright, this is as far as we've got so far. Pretty sure the next one is the snake, which I really, really, really struggled on. And I can't remember what my plan was. It was something to do with standing... Oh, this ice monster. I didn't even attempt to fight this ice monster. I just used my magic the whole time. Maybe I should just do the same, honestly. One hit. Oh no! Oh, I've wasted all my magic. Ah, and we're back to square one. <sighs> I don't know how to fight that normally. I really wish you could practice. I think I can get all the way to that ice monster without using magic now. And then use three on the ice monster and save three for the final boss, maybe. Is the final one the, uh, the snake then? and bring him over this way a bit more. Ah, oh, that was almost perfect. Oh, what's going on? See your chat. I'll reply in a minute when I've when I've killed this guy. Uh, you have to be just the right distance away before before you turn around as well. Three hits, yes. I don't know how I did it, but let's try and do it again. Oh my god, the timing on this is. Literally the second you hear the thunder. Alright, we did pretty... Oh no, I thought I'd got him then. We haven't got him yet. Go! One more hit. So I'll just do that. There we go. Uh, what's your favourite way of playing SNES? Super NT, original hardware. Uh, I'm using the Super NT to play this. So I would say that's my favourite way of playing. You can see, there you go, there's the Super NT menu. I really wish I had the Mega Drive version as well. I really regret not buying that when I had the chance. Oh yeah, and if you want to see something else, staying true to the cartridge that I'm using, if we have a look at the resolution, we are actually playing in 50 hertz. This is the PAL game, and it is PAL optimized. So, there you go, a little bit of uh, behind the scenes as to how we're playing this. And I actually found out after doing my stream last week that the PAL version is actually the hardest version 
of Actraiser as well, so even more punishing than if I was to play the American or the Japanese one. There's some tweaks they made to the levels for some reason. Hey! Okay, that is how you do the wolf section. Nice. Oh yeah, if you want to know what controller I'm using, it's this one here, the ASCII, ASCII pad by ASCIiWare. It's a really nice controller, it basically feels just like the original SNES one, but um, it's got turbo buttons, and it's a little nicer to hold because the shape's a bit bigger as well. I really like it. I always used to use the SN Pro Pad, which was the uh, the see-through one with the turbo buttons, with really nice buttons, but for some reason over the years they've all become really temperamental. So unfortunately I had to stop using that controller, even though it was my favourite for the SNES. Yay! Okay, that was easy. I don't know whether I've got them to show you. I haven't got one. I thought I had it in the drawer down there, but no. Okay. It's wheel time. I don't know whether I need to duck there, but it feels safe. Probably get an extra hit there as well. Yeah, if he goes up, I can get an extra one. Got four? No way. I'm getting risky. Uh, I don't know what to do! I haven't been stuck on that side before. Oh no, I'm messing up now. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan! Ah! Okay. The best thing to do would just be to... Oh! I didn't know he come, comes down as well. There's something else I can try and do. Oh no, I got too close. Uh, I want to try and do this without using any magic. If I stand right here every time, will I just be able to keep doing that? Oh, I see! He actually triggers the platforms to come down. So if he stops moving and decides to throw that at me... I think I've got this one. If I time it right as well, I can get two. Did I move too soon? There we go. Why do you decide to sometimes do that? Oh, 
Ah, I didn't time that very well. Uh, you gonna shoot again? Come on, platform time. Here we go, last hit, and then get out of the way. I would hate it if I died there. Died right then. <clears throat> time for the ice giant thing, ice bird. And I think I'm just going to do this. So if I time it well. Don't know how to avoid that. Oh, one more hit. Yeah! Oh my god, look how close that was. Okay, we did it with three magic. Uh, now we're on to the last one. Or maybe there's one more after this. Please at least be a checkpoint. Please, 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 please. Please! Oh, we don't need to fight the... Uh, uh, uh. Why is he laughing at me? Cool, at least I've got a fully powered up sword. I'm scared. Not of this, but what's coming next? Ah! Ah, damn it. All right, one life left. <sighs> I wonder whether they can hurt you in the air as well as on the floor? Actually, it doesn't look like it does. That's good. So you only have to worry about where they land. And then if you just stay in the right position here, those... Energy balls won't go around you instead. So, this actually doesn't seem so bad. Just the music in the background is making it more scary than it than it needs to be. Life. Oh, I thought I might have been too far away then. Ah. Ah. Back there. That was close. Four hits. I wonder if there's a way of hitting him when this section starts, because he lights up. One, two, three, four! Okay, that's that phase down. Is there more? Of course. Oh my god, what's going on? Bear in mind, guys, I've never actually got this far. Let me use the magic. Why is it not doing anything? What's that? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, what's following me? What is it? Go away! Uh, leave me alone! Uh, uh, oh my god, look how big his health bar is! No! Uh, ha <laughs> ha! I've got no chance! What the hell? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that's a lot. That's too much. How the hell am I going to do that? Any ideas? Do I need different magic? <laughs> Alright, here we go again!
Uh, why can't I hit him this time? <sighs> What's going on? The timing's weird. Oh, why do I jump backwards sometimes? That's so annoying. If you would jump in one direction, you should face the same direction that you're moving. Who programmed this? Screw it. Oh, 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 no! I'm not wasting life on the first one. I wonder whether it's actually possible to just do this. No. I'm going to just try and brute force my way through it, see whether I can get past any faster. Seems like if I actually hold the direction, I can get a few extra hits in. Maybe it's actually worth just doing this. It worked! Oh my god! That's how you get first... That's how you get through the first boss then. Super fast. We can just do that! Maybe. I found the perfect spot! Now I'm getting into speedrunning territory. Will it work on this side? I've not been on this side before. Four, five, six! Yeah! Yeah, it still works! Hell yeah! Awesome! So if I brute force my way through the first one, kill the second one without getting hit, third one I can do without getting hit if I'm lucky jumping over the arrows. Way. Okay, we can do three. Three and one health bar. This isn't looking too bad. Now for this one with the balls, I can probably get in five hits on each side. So we can get through that pretty quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, ah! Uh. Oh, what happened there? I think my controller went a bit weird. Did you see me move the other direction then? That wasn't my fault. One, two, three. Okay, that was my fault. I messed up bad then. I'm trying to rush it. Hello, someone on YouTube in Japanese. Uh, two more hits, there we go, one more down. 
Hello from YouTube, how are you doing today? You're Kirby the cute sunflower. Kirby's not a sunflower. One, two. I think I've pretty much got this one down without using magic. As long as I just time it right and move before the floor. Okay, he's gonna shoot something. Oh, got a bit too close then. Ah! You literally get like two seconds, one second to react. Okay, I was trying to risk getting three hits in then. Not possible. Uh, that was close. We are neck and neck! Oh my god. And why are you standing in the wrong spot? Do I need to be a bit closer? Yeah, I think. To get it to trigger properly, you have to be on that pillow. Or right next to it. Why? Do it. I know it's how I'm going to kill you, but do it. You want to see Castlevania Adventure next? That's a strange request, but maybe? I'm not really that fond of the first Game Boy Castlevania. It's a bit slow. Two. Yay, there we go. That one's down. Oh my god. Good job that didn't hurt me. I might be tempted to try Castlevania The Adventure Remix for WiiWare. There was a remake of the Game Boy one. I've never properly played that one before, but I've heard it's good. Kind of like a 16-bit take on... Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do on this fight. This is the first one I've got to where I have no idea how to actually get past him without using magic. Does anyone know how to fight that one? And that final fight is just insane. There's so much going on. Alright, I'm going to try my speedrunning tactic for this one. properly. Oh, no way! Ah! <laughs> I really thought I'd made that jump! Uh, again, I've just wasted a life. Maybe I should do that until it gets down, like, halfway. Watch me do it first time, though. Yeah, easy. Oh, I did lose a bit more health than I was expecting then. Oh well, let's see whether we can get back to that stupid bird again and I'll just spam magic. That's the only way I know how. Anyone else know a better way of fighting that blue ice bird dragon thing? It takes up the entire screen and I don't know what to do. No! I thought I was in the right place.
What? I thought I was supposed to block it. It's only work sometimes. Yay. This one's not so bad now. I might stop and look up a video on how to fight that ice enemy. Dragon's projectiles are destructible. Oh, that helps. Three, two, one. Okay, I'll let it land on my head for that. I'm going crazy. I took a few unnecessary hits and three, one, yeah, just before he hit me. Alright, Ice Dragon, bring it on! Let's see what I need to do. I'm gonna actually try and fight him properly now because I wanna try and save all my magic and all my lives, if possible. Oh, not yet. I'm gonna face this one. This one's pretty boring now. How does it decide what what to do? It's probably a better way of fighting as well, because there is a way to go right underneath. And then it'll sort of land on the floor. Whoa, that was close. Oh my god, the timing for that is insane. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gonna do the platform? No. Ah! Oh, I don't know how to get it to make that platform up here. Right, I'm gonna try a different technique. Because we're just practicing here. Probably better. How do I make it decide to do that instead? The hitbox is really big. Alright, just so that we can attempt... Oh my god, that didn't do anything. Just so we can attempt to fight the Ice Dragon. We got there anyway. Okay, we have one life and three bits of health. Let's see whether we can get rid of any of the Ice Dragon's projectiles at least. Oh, 
I am determined to do this, no matter how long it takes. Oh, and I'm dead. Ha! Okay, we can't try the Ice Dragon yet. Ha! I can't believe that. I wonder whether a different kind of magic will be more useful. Anyone know which one's best? I'm guessing that one's kind of useful because it takes up the entire screen. Let's try it instead. Back to square one. Again. How long we've we been going? Hour and twenty minutes. Oh my god, this is this is insane. I remember why I gave up trying to complete Act Razor now. Oh, I know the final boss is uh, destructible. I already did that. Video and strategy employed against the ice dragon. Stay near the edges to avoid the flying attack. Okay, and then when do I actually need to hit the ice dragon itself? As it's flying past or when it's in the air above the corner? Have I still got time? No. Hit him immediately out of the gate. Okay. Can't remember what side I come down on. There. Yeah, I've got that perfect now. Um, okay. You can hit him immediately out of the gate. It looks vulnerable when stationary, I think. I'll try. I haven't lost a life yet, which is better than usual. <laughs> Try and time this a little better so I don't keep getting hit by the arrows. Ow! I thought I was doing well with all those backwards jumps on this one. Okay, we've got two slithers of health. We can get past this rolling flame ball. Easy peasy. <clears throat> Alright, boss number four. Dun 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 Easy peasy. Ah. One more. I don't even care if I'm going to get hit. <laughs> Let's get him out of the way. My hands are sweaty. Alright. 
stupid Buddha next. Just trying to know the best way of attacking him. I still think calling the platforms is the easiest way. Why does he shake his head though? It's like, what have I done wrong? I can get a hit when he's on there. No way. I'm experimenting again now. Maybe not. Sure, I got a hit. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's try this just to get past because I'm going to practice fighting. Oh no! just wanted to get this out of the way so I can practice fighting the ice dragon. Right, we have two attempts at the ice dragon. Okay, two attempts, here we go. Down here. I'm scared to jump. Oh my god, so big. Okay, that's not working. God, I can't get anywhere against that. I'm going to look up a video. Its official name was the Arctic Wyvern. I'm watching it on my laptop over here. Okay, stand in the middle. Okay, they just kind of brute force their way through it as well, and just stand in the middle. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 
Oh, why are some of the hits not registering? Annoyed now. Screw this. That hardly does any damage. I'm gonna pick the wrong magic too. Can I restart? Yeah, everything on this is like pixel perfect and you have to do it at exactly the right time as well. And you have to be facing the right direction and press attack at the right time as well, else nothing works. And if you uh, if you try and move too soon before you jump, you end up jumping backwards and you can't attack either. It's impossible. Well, almost impossible. Sometimes I can get two hits in. And some uh, and sometimes if you try and attack, it's going too far the other way. Jumping backwards. I don't know how to do this. I really can't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. We've been streaming for an hour and a half. I haven't made any progress at all. That's the best way to do this fight.
Oh, I thought I was doing okay. Okay, we restarted. Right, I'm gonna pick a different magic spell, because that one's no good. Let's try fire. I've never tried that one before. Throw fireballs. Let's try it. You've been catching Elliot's streams playing Link's Awakening. That's cool. Is he enjoying it? Is it the uh, is it the original or the remake? Uh, no, I've never played Dead Cells. Would you recommend it? I've been tempted since the Castlevania add-on came out. That's all I'm going to do for this first fight. I'm not going to bother trying to fight him properly. It's not worth the hassle. And if I can get past the next two without losing damage... Maybe we can get back to the Ice Dragon. I'm going to try and concentrate again now. he was going to transform so soon. Hmm, that works. That's not my intended strategy. Um... Using an inside gadget's cartridge for controller? What do you mean by that? I'm glad that as soon as they're dead, you can't take any damage from anything. Da -da -da -da. There we go. If I zoom out a bit, I can sort of slouch like this. timing to be able to jump up then is really awkward.
Okay. If I'm really careful, I can do this next one without getting hit. <sighs> that is scary, though. I know it is. And you have to be careful not to get too close as well. God, that was close. There has to be an easier, a faster way of doing this fight. Why does he keep shaking his head? Right, three hits left. One more. Apparently that's not good enough. Shake his head and fire. All right, last hit. We're good. All right, here we go. Time to face the Ice Dragon. I've got three attempts this time, so... <sighs> I'm going to take a minute to think about what to do here. I'm going to watch a video. Right. Not that. What not to do? Hey, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, something's happened. I can't look. Whoa, what's going on? Yeah, new subscriber. Thank you. Stan... 8110. I don't know why I can't see it on this screen. 
Amazing, thank you. Alright, we are back! On the final boss, I didn't expect to get back here. Honestly. This first phase is easy. We've got two attempts as well. There is a chance. But this is the end. Potentially, I'm getting excited now. I was feeling completely dejected earlier, but now I actually feel like I have a slight chance. I pretty much understand how to beat all the bosses now, which is a really great feeling. That ice dragon is just so intimidating. Okay, phase one. <sighs> okay, take a minute to compose myself. Phase one's complete. Phase two is insane. Wait until you see this health bar. Look at that, it's off the screen. So the idea... is to, well, try and get rid of these things. Probably duck under that. These ones you can get rid of. These ones you need to try and stay in the middle of. So, fire. Oh no. I might actually have figured out how to beat this. Oh, okay, okay, we're, get we're getting close. I've got another attempt. God, he's too close. anything I could have done to dodge that one. It got me while I was in the air. Alright, phase one down. to work out how how to get rid of them orange ones at the bottom that's If I can figure out the right place to stand, I can get four hits there each time. 
don't know. Oh, I don't think that fire's doing much. Oh, that was good. Oh, so close, so close. Oh my god, we're so close! I'm gonna try a different spell. I don't know if it'll make much difference, honestly. Let's try this one. I managed to only get seven hits in one. Okay. First half of this, I'm just going to attack him head on until my health goes to about halfway. And then we can move on. Yeah, not quite halfway like I was hoping, but we got there. Okay, phase two. I can do this one without getting hit. I can do this one. I can do it. I can do it. Or if I'm scared of getting hit, I'll use one magic. Oh! That was lucky. I never trust that. Oh no, I messed up. I did that wrong, I was supposed to go back down. That was my own fault.
Yes! Did it without getting hit. Look at that. That shows I'm getting better. Let's see if we can do it again without getting hit. I wonder if I go under fast enough, can I actually stop it from dropping down like that? Ooh, that was a bit of a fail. Ah! The stupid arrow. That's the one thing I don't know how to time. Well, we've only lost one bit of health. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Okay, time for the ball. Is it? Where does it go? Ball, then weird floaty guy. risk it even though there's only one left there we go that was almost perfect i think i got hit once i'm getting better i'm gonna try and remember what to do with the ice dragon this one's not too bad it's just slow that's the scariest thing but honestly the Timing's pretty easy. I've seen them both come down before. Oh! Come on, just let me hit him. Please. There must be a faster way of doing this. This is taking forever. And it's not even that difficult. <sighs> One more hit. Go that way. Okay. I get how this works now. Ah! Oh, 
Am I getting the timing wrong or something? I'm sure it was easier to hit last time. Ah! Uh, at least I can kind of understand um, what direction it's going to come from. No! D Karma 12 recently came across your YouTube videos and love them. Yay! Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for watching them. And I guess I should say uh, thank you YouTube for finally starting to actually show my videos to people. I'm going to use some magic, I think. Couldn't run fast enough. My trip to Japan. Oh wow, you went back quite a way, quite a way then. That was a few years ago now. Yay! Okay, next time we fight the dragon, if I get stuck in the middle, just use the magic straight away. Here we are again. Got the final boss. I don't know what to do this time. Let's see how far we can get, and I've got three pieces of magic to use if I need them, which is pretty good. Classic binge watch. Awesome! I'm glad it's bingeable content. What's been your favourite kind of videos? Because uh, I do have a big range of different styles on my channel, I guess. A lot of people told me that I shouldn't have a range of different types of videos and that they should all just be the same, but I think having variety makes it more fun for me to make things and more interesting for people who find the channel. What do you think? Do you like channels that always do the same thing or do you like channels that do a variety of different styles of video? Ah, oh, you guys are being too nice. Ah! You like the variety. I knew the channel was something special right away. I'm absolutely certain that it is still in the early days. I, for Retro Break, I think a lot of folks would be happy to know about it next week. Oh, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Hopefully people will find me over time. I'm in no rush to make it big. And you know, the longer it takes, the better I'll be at making videos. So, I'm happy to take things slow. I know it may sound a bit weird, because people are always on about grow as fast as possible and all this stuff. Save my magic. Ah, I knew I couldn't get past there. I think if I do this first bit, I can get through this first bit easy. I'm struggling to get rid of the orange, like energy orb at the end. Ah. 
Nearly landed on my head. Right, any tips or tricks for this next section? Any, uh, any thoughts for how I can get rid of those energy orbs that come down off the bottom? I understand standing in the, in the middle of the yellow ones to let them pass through me, but... That one that comes up from underneath is just getting me every time. Oh, that was that was good. So I can get rid of that green one, and I can get rid of that orange one as well. Rubbish. Oh my god, he's got less health than me. Come on, come on, come on. This is so close. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so scared. Genuinely scared. Yeah, we've done it, we've done it. Yes, we've done it. Maybe. Is there going to be more? Please don't be any more. Have we done it? That's it, his crystal's gone. What does that mean? Death home clear! Yeah! It only took two and a half hours. Yes! Act Razor complete. Oh. oh my god. Now what? What an amazing game, by the way. 1989. That's insane. 1989. What an incredible achievement. Just. Wow. That's some seriously difficult gameplay, though. Sir Nick, you have been a tireless master. With this, our current duties are complete. We have laboured long and hard to help our people become free. I do feel a bit of regret that they will no longer need our help. Let's take one last look at each of the thriving towns we have helped develop. We have helped developed. That's a little bit of a weird grammar though. Never mind. Anyway, now we get a little tour of all the villages that we've built over this, over the course of this game. Do we get to go down and see them all happily living their lives? Ah. Oh. What a great ending. This is Fillmore. Look how the people cleared and cultivated the land. And constructed a prospering town. Yay! Something you guys didn't see was before this stream I went back and tidied up all these villages. To try and make the most out of everything. Um... Oh yes, one of the men of Fillmore had the ability to predict the future. His ability helped save Fillmore. He finally gave his life for his town. Oh no. I'm sure he expected that final fate. What did he have to do? From birth, all people are guided by a force called destiny. 
because people are unaware of their destiny, they may not understand all that life has to offer. The man who quietly accepts his destiny is also the one who becomes a great leader. And person. Very wise wisdom. Words of advice here. I wish the text was a little bit faster though. I don't know where I've put the box. I had the box out somewhere because I wanted to show it at the end of this, but I don't know where it's gone. Anyway. This is Bloodpool. The lake has already returned to its beautiful blue colour. Oh yes. There was an energetic boy named Teddy. Sir Nick and I are supposed to treat all people equally. But since he, but since he was a, such a likeable young boy, he received much of our attention. I remember Teddy. Do you guys remember Teddy? Oh, do you remember the people of Bloodpool? Had to draw lots to decide who was to be sacrificed. Who was to be sacrificed. At the time, I didn't tell you, but I know, but I knew whose lot was drawn. It was Teddy. Uh, did he die to restore the lake of blood. Is that what that's trying to say? D. Karma. I love your collection. Since I'm from Canada, I'm always excited to see the game boxes from Europe. I bet you think our DS cases are weird. This is the desert, so the desert town, Cassandora. Now there is very little evidence of the once massive desert. People said they were drawn into the pyramid by its magical powers. It's true, they were. But should we believe this? The monsters living in the pyramid were nothing more than reincarnates of the human slaves who built the pyramids. Oh. Their spirits remained Drawing people's minds to the pyramid. Now the pyramid is sealed and their souls saved. They will be reborn as human beings. Yay, that's a good ending for that town then. Where are we going next? Can't remember the names of them. Itos. This is the volcanic town, Itos. I was so impressed by these people who tried to build homes in spite of the continuous lava flow. It is, it is difficult to build houses when you've constantly got a threat of lava. Their leader passed by this, their leader passed from this life right before your very eyes. I am certain he dedicated his whole life to informing people of your existence. I hoped Itos would become a beautiful town, representative of his great spirit. It looks like a nice town. Now we are going all the way down to the little islands in the corner, where there's like a eagle shape. There we go. Marania. Marana? This is the jungle town, Marana. My, they've built so many homes on such a small island. I felt very sad when the town's two leaders were tempted by the wicked mirror. But human beings have a tendency to choose the easier way when faced with difficult when faced with difficulties. 
Having seen the people's weakness, I felt obligated to lead them in the right direction. Space Age Hero says, also enjoyed the Game Boy physical game reviews and pickups. Wish there was more modern, unique homebrew SNES games. There's a new SNES homebrew game that just came out, actually. Dotty's Journey or something? Flo floaty Dotty, something like that. And apparently once you complete the demo, then you can actually unlock something to send to the developer to get a physical release or something. So that's pretty cool. I might try and do that soon. Um... This is the last of our lands, Northwall. I felt a little guilty about letting people live in such a cold climate. What's your favourite monetary collectible in gaming? Rupees, rings, coins. Um, maybe... Zenny from Mega Man Battle Network? I always remember that one. But they successfully overcame many problems. Their two leaders were telling us that when they found the two initials on the mighty tree. They felt a certain affection towards what or who had left the initials. I think those two leaders were sweethearts who had lived here long ago. But were killed by monsters. Perhaps you could make a channel point after them, such as RB Coins or Zenny. That'd be fun. I want to try and do more interesting, like, stuff like that for Twitch so that people can play games and things. Uh, their spirits have since come to dwell in these bodies. If my story is correct, the sweethearts have finally reunited after a long separation. Even though they don't remember, isn't it a beautiful story? This being so, it seems your people as well as yourself, have had hard times, Sir Nick. Why don't we take a look inside the shrine? Okay. Let's have a look inside. Was this the last area, Northwall? There's no one here. In former times, people would call for you. And asked for your help. As cultures and lands became more advanced. Do people tend to forget those who helped them? I suppose they do. It's getting quite philosophical now, isn't it? But then, people may be most happy when not in need of help from their master. Or when they have forgotten him. Should we yearn for a time when people will no longer need to ask for our help? Is this like talking about the downfall of religion in modern society? That's kind of what I'm getting for this. This is very forward thinking for 1989 if that's the case. That's crazy. That's actually giving me a lot to think about. Wow. Here we go. Now it's time for the credits. The staff of Actraiser. Tomiyoshi Miyazaki, the man himself. The mysterious man himself. There we go. Masaya Hashimoto. Yay. I'm trying to get a picture for, t for Twitter. We did it, guys. We finished Actraiser. Yeah. Yuzo Kushiro.
What did everyone think of Actraiser? Never seen that name before. Yasuyuki Sone. Quintet, there it is. Base did it say based on Actraiser? That was your first time seeing it beaten. What did you think about the boss rush at the end? It's pretty insane, isn't it? Uh, anyway, you did ask something up there. What's my favourite sound effect? Uh, your answer would be Rupee Collection. Yeah, Rupee Collection's a good one. Hmm. That's a really tough question. I know it's kind of silly and... I, I like the sound of hitting rocks in Stardew Valley. Or... Hmm. I can't think what else. There's a lot of very satisfying sound effects. That is the end, I guess. We can't do anything. There we go, that was Actraiser. I'm gonna go and find the box. Quickly. It should be here somewhere. Um... Actually, as we are done with the game, I'm going to go on full camera mode because we can have a bit of a chat about Quintet if you want. I've still got about an hour, so I'm going to go and grab some games and I'm going to come here and we can have a just a nice little sit down and a nice chat about Quintet and Actraiser and whatever else we want. We can use this as, as a bit of a Q&A session as well if you want. So, D Karma, keep asking questions. I'll be back in just a second. I'm going to go to that shelf. I'm going to go to that shelf there, and there's a whole bunch of quintet things. So, bear with me. Let me just take it away. Oh. Okay. And, and look what. Look what else was over there too. Everybody say hi to Taito. I woke him up. Well, he woke himself up. So you can go back now. Let's turn it around. Right. There's a bunch of games. I still don't know where Actraiser is though. Um, I do have Actraiser 2 here though, somewhere, there it is, we can check this out, we can check this out at some point, I'm going to go through them all in order, but a lot of people didn't e don't even know that there's a sequel, um, it's quite different to the first one, Actraiser 2 is completely, look how nice, Look at the condition of that box as well, that's amazing. Look at that. That's immaculate. I know I shouldn't be surprised about my own collection, but I haven't actually opened this up for a long time. The legacy continues. Um, let's see if the instructions are in there as well. I think everything's in here. Yeah. There's the game. Got the American one for this. There it is. And it even comes with a, these Nintendo Power things, too. You're not going to believe what's inside. Let's see what's inside. Club Nintendo Super Power Club. And there's some other stuff on the back. I don't know where Actraiser 1's gone. Bear with me another second. It must be here somewhere. Is it up here? Oh, there it is. Go outside. Oh I upset Taito and now he wants to go outside. 
Anyway, there it is. There's the one we've been playing. Actraiser 1. $34.99. I wonder, is it anywhere close to that price these days? I don't think Actraiser is that expensive, really. It was a launch title, after all. Um, let's have a quick look at this. This one's not anywhere near in as good condition as the sequel. But it's not too bad. Trying to figure out how to hold it for the camera. Uh, where do I get these protective sleeves? Uh, there's a great eBay store. Let me see if I can find the name of them for you. Uh, one second. I get all my plastic sleeves from here. Let's see where I got them from. I've probably spent hundreds on their shop over the years. Uh, there it is, it's called, uh, let's go in the store, My Game Vault Game Box Protectors. There you go. Get a screenshot of that and go and check them out on eBay after. Highly recommended, and they've got like boxes for like every, every system you could want, even Jaguar, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NES. Basically, any game that I've got in a plastic protective box came came from them. Highly recommended. Right, anyway, now, now we're done with Actraiser. We can, if I can get it out of the Super NT back there. There we go. Put it back in its box. Oh yeah, if you want to see what the cartridge looks like. It's a bit messy. There you go, that's, that's what we've been playing. Act razor on the SNES. It can go away now. Put it back in there. Also with these with these plastic boxes, I like putting them in that way round. So the uh, flap goes over the front and then you don't get the bit. You don't get that bit at the back. Covering up the front cover. They have different thicknesses as well. Like this one's kind of flimsy. But the one for Act Razor 2 was actually a lot harder. Um, but we're not actually going to be playing Actraiser 2 next, because the next game Quintet made... Let me just put this back. The next game Quintet made was actually Soul Blazer. Which not that many people have heard of, compared to uh, Actraiser at least. And this one's a lot harder to find as well. This one was very expensive. Here it is. This was Quintet's second game. And I believe it's similar to Actraiser, but it's actually a top-down action game rather than a side-scrolling action game. So, let's have a look at this one. I think this one is mint as well. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. I don't know how much this is worth these days. I got it maybe five or six years ago for 200 quid, I think. I'm sure it's worth more than that now. Not that I'm planning to get rid of it, but to have it in this good condition. It's basically brand new. Look at that. And it's got all the leaflets and it's even got a poster in this one which is cool. Do you want to see what's in the poster? I'm kind of scared of opening this. It looks like it's never even been touched. I miss when games would come with extras like this. Look at that. How cool is that? That's awesome. And on the back, we've also got a map as well. And a look at all the different items to collect in the game. So, next Tuesday, I'm going to start streaming this. And this will actually be the first time that I've ever played Soul Blazer. I've never even taken it out of here before, so this is a world first, if you will. It's even got its own little dust cover. There you go. Look at that. I think it might have even been brand new. Look, there's not even a single scratch on it. There's a little... Oh no, it's not even a dent on the back, it's just the number that's embossed on there, it says 10. Don't know whether you can see it or not. Anyway, that is going in the Super NT. And that will be next Tuesday's game. I'm so excited to check this out. Here's the instructions. Again, untouched. Look at that. Completely brand new. I always find it funny in the instruction manuals that the uh, the screenshots were just like photos off the TV. 
Look how blurry and low resolution all the images are. It's quite funny. Wow, you managed to find Golden Sun with a manual for a fiver. That's that's good. Look at that. Clear, empty memo pages. Should I make some notes while I'm playing it? That would be pretty cool. Let's see if there's any artwork in here. No. There's a telltale sign that it's a quintet game, though. Look at that font. Classic quintet font. Oh, nice. There is some artwork. Have a look at that. Never seen that picture before. That looks really nice. So, let's put that to one side. I'm really scared of these boxes. They're, they're like pristine condition, and I'm just leaving them on the desk. Uh, what comes next? Actraiser, Soul Blazer, Illusion of Time. You might have heard of Illusion of Time. This is my favourite game ever, which is the reason that we're going through all of the Quintet games. So I'm really looking forward to playing this one on stream, and I can show everyone why I love it so much as well, so... That's my original copy, and then I've also got, um, and this this is really nice, I've also got the Japanese version, and uh, this is using one of the thicker cases from that eBay store. Look at the box art for this, isn't that amazing? Look at that, it even, it even shines. Just amazing, look at that. And a photo of Tomiyoshi Miyazaki on the back, which is quite rare to see. So, there is that. Uh, does Gaia have a different translation to time because the dialogue in Gaia was very odd? I think it has subtle differences. I don't know whether it was relocalized uh, for the European market. So, I think, I think so, yeah. So, Illusion of Time is slightly different, and I think it's slightly better in terms of the translation. But... Uh, I did find something online and they were saying that it's still kind of confusing compared to how it's supposed to be in Japanese. Um, and I think there was a retranslation project going on, but I don't know whether they ever finished it. I do have something else, Illusion of Time related, uh, on the shelf up there, so I might try and find that and show you. If it's still there. Hmm. No, I can't find it. It must be somewhere else. Um, let's see what Twitch has to say. Is next week's podcast on schedule for the 29th? Yes, it is. And I'm going to try and stick to a schedule of doing one every two weeks. So look forward to that. Hopefully I've got some interesting topics lined up as well. I've got a big... Well, you guys can have a little sneak peek if you want. Seeing as you're joining me at the end of this stream, just, just uh, having a bit of a chat. And don't worry, I'm not out of ideas. I've got my podcast um, thing here. 112 episodes planned. So don't worry, the podcast isn't going anywhere. There you go. Have a little sneak peek as to what's to come. I don't know whether this is going to be the order that I make them or not, but these are just some ideas that I wrote down. How I got into game collecting. Retro Break Radio will be a fun one. That's going to be some more game music. Uh, what can modern games learn from the past? Loose versus CIB, collecting, pros and cons. So much stuff. So, so many ideas. Podcasts not going anywhere. Look at all that. And some guest episodes as well. I want to try and do some more guest episodes. Um, and I also asked a while back for some Q&A questions. So I've also got all these to answer as well. And I might do a podcast episode based on each of them. So look forward to that. <clears throat> you love the Japanese SNES boxes. I've got two other Japanese SNES ones. I need to get Actraiser. I have this one, Slapstick, which is... And you're going to love the difference between this. 
So I di- I brought this up in the podcast as well. So slapstick is the Japanese name, Robotrek is the American name. Have a guess how they changed the cover from this to make it fit the American audience. <laughs> Would you even be able to tell that they were even related in the slightest? Look at the difference there, Robotrek and Slapstick. It's like two completely different games. I actually really like that artwork. It looks really cool, but it is kind of misleading. It looks like some crazy sci-fi epic, but the actual game is just like anime style with characters like that. And this looks extremely Pokemon-esque, don't you think? And it even plays a little bit like Pokemon as well, basically. Basically, instead of, you know, going around catching Pokemon, you're building different robots. So you can see the, some of the different robots there. And even the battle system's kind of similar. Although this actually came out before Pokemon. Hey, fight magic item run. How are you doing? I rock. I do rock. I managed to complete. I managed to complete Act Razor. There it is. We're just wrapping the stream up now and I'm just... Showing off some of the other Quintet games that I've got. So yeah, Slapstick and Robotrek. Really funny, the difference in the in the cover art there. That's hilarious. But the most exciting game, at least for me, to collect was Terranigma. This was so hard to find and it was so expensive. And in the end I had to settle on getting an Australian one because it's slightly cheaper than the UK version. And this is a game that didn't come out in America at all. So, there you go. Condition's okay on this one. It's not, like, super amazing. But the game's amazing. The game's really awesome. And I think I got this complete. Let's have a look. I haven't opened this in a while. We're going to get around to playing this on stream at some point. Yeah, there you go. Instruction manual there. Nice artwork again. In fact, I follow the artist for Terranigma on Twitter, and she's actually posting some new artwork and some, like, behind-the-scenes on how the game was made and stuff, which is really cool. Look at that, though. I love that picture so much. And, in fact, it's kind of cut off on the PAL box, especially on this Australian one. So that's how it looks on ours, but on the Japanese box, they actually get a full cover illustration, and it looks incredible. Don't you think that is just, like, one of the best box arts ever? Look how cool that is. I really want it as, like, a a big poster, but I just don't have the space for it, but... Let's open this up and see what comes in the Japanese one. Stan uh, says, do you remember the Game Master TV show? Well, I didn't watch it while it was on TV, but I do know about it. And uh, one of my friends was involved with the remake that came out. Look at that. That might be my favourite box art ever. Second, Maybe second to that. Like, they're, they're both incredible, don't you think? Maybe I should do a whole episode just on amazing retro box art because that's so good that's like see that in an art gallery and there's another picture on the back that's really cool too look at that one and what else can i show you that i've got here so if you listen to the podcast last i'll put it over there so there's a bit more space If you listen to the podcast, you'll know that they also made a bunch of random games on the PS2. And I really don't have any idea what these are, but I just got them for the collection anyway. So there's this, whatever that is. Who knows? Some sort of RPG. There's this. Some sort of Konami fighting slash baseball game. This one, again, got no idea, but it's got a cool, cool front cover. And then there's, weirdly, this one, which was a launch title for the PS2, which did actually come out in the UK. So, no idea why that one got released and translated, but none of the other ones did. It's, I don't know if it's based off an anime or something. Is Orphan, Skion of Sorcery, something that you guys know about? I don't really know. There is a bunch of other Quintet games, but I haven't, like, organised all of them yet. So... I think I'll... Oh, I do have one other cool thing. I just had a look over there. One second. Yes. I found it. 
so we'll get back to this in a second. This is what I wanted to show you. This is the Japanese strategy guide for Illusion of Gaia. And even though it's called Gaia Gensoki, it's actually in English at the top, even though it's a Japanese guide. And again, amazing artwork. And it's actually um, a little bit longer and larger than what you can actually see on the box art. So if you can compare them side by side, you actually get a si you actually get to see a little bit more of what the original artwork was like for it, which is really cool. And there's like a nice pink version on the back there as well. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't more artwork inside. It's mostly just maps of the different areas and stuff, which is still really cool to see. And obviously it gives you a breakdown of where to find all of the uh, all of the red gems. And it's cool to see all the levels like laid out like that. But there is there is something in the back here somewhere. Let me take that out. Some of the pages are coming a bit loose, which is a little worrying. I'm sure there was some more artwork in here. Yeah, there you go. Some of the stuff that you can't actually see in the manual is these original, like, pencil drawings of the characters. So it's kind of weird to see how they imagined the characters would look compared to how they actually look in the game. So that was cool to see. But the rest of it is just a basic walkthrough guide. And anyway, the final thing, and something else really cool. This is something that the members of Falcom that went on to make Quintet worked on before they went to Quintet. So this was a game called Xanadu for the... Uh, I don't know which version I've actually got here. Let's see. I don't know what... Well, I don't really know what computer it's for, but it, it does have the original floppy disks in here. And when I say floppy disk, I, I mean floppy disk. These aren't, like... It was for the PC8, PC8801. There you go. So that is true retro gaming right there. I don't know if I'll ever be able to actually play this or load them up, but it's a really cool thing to have as part of the collection. So... There's kind of a look of what the game's like. It's a top-down action RPG. Again, whether I'll ever be able to... Oh, this is really cool as well. I love this in the instruction manual. So they actually have, like, a menu for what's in the shop. And if you go on the next page, you can actually see a list of everything that you can buy in the shop. And it says, be inexpensive. And there's a list of all the different armor and weapons and things. It's really cool, like all the different shops in the game have these full page illustrations of what you can buy in there, which I thought was really nice. Like, imagine being a kid and getting this game and then going to a shop and opening this up to see what you can get in there. It's so cool. And there's some interesting artwork in there. So, that's that. There's loads of other stuff that I could get into, but I'm going to save that for the full video. But anyway... I'm going to end the stream there, I think. I wasn't planning to show any of this today, so really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for sticking with me while I was playing through ActRaiser. I had a fantastic time playing it. So I'm going to see if anyone's live, and then maybe we can go and raid someone. Um, you're a stellar content creator. You remind me of Scott the Was or Happy Console Gamer. Wow, I'm nowhere near their level yet, but maybe one day. But thank you so much. I do really enjoy watching both their channels as well. So I'm glad that people can enjoy mine. Maybe not equally as much, but I'm glad that people enjoy mine too. So I really do appreciate all your love and support that you've given me in these streams as well. It's just amazing. Anyway, before I get emotional, because everyone's being so kind today. Um... Well, I thought she was online, but... I don't really follow that many other people, so I guess go and watch uh, Games Done Quick because they're streaming something, and I really enjoyed watching them last week. So, anyway, thank you everyone so much, and I'll see you all next Tuesday when we're going to play. When we're going to play Soul Blazer, and I'm so excited to play this because I've never actually played it before. So, stay tuned. I'm really excited to dive into that next week. All right, see you guys. <laughs>